chat. Chat, it's time. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Hello, hello, hello. My name is Nicholas Diorio, and I'm desperately trying to find the audio so it doesn't start another song. Wow, what's going on? We got about 700 people watching so far. Good stuff. It's no longer Max History Month. Yeah, we're going to need some new new wallpaper chat. We need a nice Minecraft-themed wallpaper. We're going to be playing the block game today. And we're going to be going through mostly George. I think we're going to be doing a lot of George today. There's a lot of other allegations. Smaggle Daggle. Oh, God. Smaggle Daggle. Sent me something. And uh, e even if the other guys don't want to watch it, I'm going to stay late. Because I gotta watch this with you. Okay, this video. I don't know. Have you seen this video? Should I quit Eve Online by Ash Tarothi? Spoiler alert. He's decided that he won't be quitting. <laughs> okay? Um, but there's a reason why. Um, Greetings, fellow. And this is... Who is this? Yeah, okay. Who Megalol? All right. Well, we'll, we'll end the show off with this drama because... Holy fuck. Uh, this 8K YouTuber is making waves, okay? Waves in the, uh, in the space. I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna get on URR, so. It's gonna be a pretty big, pretty big showing. That, that's definitely one I wanna watch. We got a lot of things queued up today. We're gonna take a look at George's responses. Uh, I'm sure you've seen them already, but now there's a new light to look at them in. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the dream space! Um, the underage drinking space, uh, or the crying sp I've heard it called a lot of different things. We're going to watch that too. Um, and then we're going to talk about the truth and, and what the truth actually is. We have a lot of different communities of people who are not quite a fan of, uh, of yours truly, uh, and other people who've been talking about the drama. Actually, real fast, let me just pull this up. Um, <laughs> yo, so... I, I need you to see this. Okay. So there are two different types of, of, of Reddit posts. Um, there's this one, right? Where the Minecraft stands are praising a Cheeto. That's cool. Uh, didn't expect that one. And I believe I saw one recently. Um, let me see. It seems to be quite the opposite. I don't know. Maybe it's been deleted. Oh, it would be upsetting if it was deleted. <laughs> there was one on here about like... Oh, no. No, it hasn't been deleted. Um, <laughs> people are really not happy with this one. Uh, with me. <laughs> or not even necessarily me. More so me uh, co-signing this argument. But, um, holy shit, is there a lot of fun shit in here to talk about tonight? Why can't Twitter just be normal? One side calling George a rapist pedophile, and the other dismissing Katie's trauma. The whole thing is a mess. Let me use this quote as a joke, since we're talking about it on Twitter. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Oh boy. <laughs> this is, uh, this is a great one. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. There's a lot of, uh, listen, our boy, our boy Brainy Biscuit has been having a day, all right? He's been having a tough day, chat. He's been having a tough day. He doesn't, he's been moderating like crazy, okay? If you're looking at this and you're struggling to see what we're looking at here, because it's too much, uh, these are about 40 bans that have all taken place in the last nine hours, all on tweets that are relevant to George, okay? If you go on these subreddits and you're even slightly against Katie's narrative, okay? You're getting completely banned. You can't talk about drama anymore. You are banned from drama. Drama is over. You are not allowed, okay? Um, and this is all one mod. One mod has gone mad with power. But in reality, it's all of them. It's pretty fucking funny. Um, so lots of feathers have been ruffled, chat. Uh, and we are going to investigate. That's what we do best, chat. We investigate unbiasedly, okay? And there's only one show where there's an unbiased investigation every single time.
Hello, Yo! Mr. Logic. Are you guys ready for some rape? <laughs> yeah, mate. I was born ready. I was born to rape. <laughs> dude, 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 are you in the server? Yeah, I'm here. I but got my computer here. computer just crashed and oh, fucked me up, so I don't know what I'm doing. fantastic. I'm in third person right now, trying to figure out why it's nighttime already. So that's fun. I almost died while I was doing my intro, so that's cool. Now I have to deal with the fucking sound effects of, uh... I did a bit the other day about the Minecraft... Oh! You know what I did? I was making fun of Wilbur, alright? With his, like, need to bite people. And whilst I was doing that, I was playing the Minecraft zombie sound. And, like, making Wilbur the zombie. And that was the play. Alright, that's fine, Chud. I'll go fuck myself. Are you here? Chud Logic is not here. I'm talking to myself, chat. Chat, Tom hasn't joined. Chud Logic has left me on red. This is so over. We are so fucking over. But did you guys see that I've got diamonds? I've got fucking diamonds, chat? First time in Ultimate Rape Review history, the host has got diamonds, okay? Which means our ability to Minecraft rape has increased dramatically. The rape diamonds. They're blood diamonds, chat. They're 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 diamonds of the blood of the of the abused. <laughs> Hello, Turkey Tom. Oh. How's it going? I'm I'm it's going fantastic. I've already got diamonds. Why, why are you in the game already? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? It's I, I, I thought we were gonna launch together. You have fucking diamonds? <laughs> What the fuck? You played for three hours? <laughs> no, I just I, I joined. It's on stream. You can see it in the VOD. I just got diamonds. <laughs> well, okay. I didn't get diamonds. I, I covered the Moonzy allegation. I didn't get fucking diamonds already, Nick. Yeah, so fuck off. You're Who the fuck is Moonzy anyway? Who cares about Moonzy? I got diamonds, Dude, that, bro. that's a good question. Who does care about Moonzy? That's actually a, that's actually a very valid question. Who does care about This is Moonzy? a stealth revival of the, the community SMP. Uh, yeah, because that worked briefly. out really well. That worked out so good. <laughs> that whole episode was just Bernie calling himself naked so, baby. A, a, a gay baby. Gay naked baby. That was giant gay, big gay baby or something. Yeah, yeah. that was epic though. Um, all right, are we gonna? Chud's computer crashed. Oh yeah, we're waiting for Chud to come back online. I was I'm, just I'm back. A hard I'm to back. With I'm him. back. Oh, he's back. back. Are Are you live, okay. Chud? I was. I'm not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> This guy had to play a Genius, computer game dude. one time, and his whole fucking computer exploded. <laughs> fucking okay. British technology is fucking exploding, dude. Oh man. Um. Okay. Listen, I'm. I'm go and watch on your guys' stream now. You're not doing it's, it. Okay. You're not going I'm back doing up. It. I, I'm. I'm doing it, but I need to figure it out first. Just, you know, if I get it back up, I get it back up. But I just, I don't know what's going on. Look, I don't want to hold up the show. Just talk, say something. All right. Else well, there's a lot of rape, Chud. So we'll get you back on. Yes, okay? there is. You, you... Okay. I'm gonna boot up Minecraft and see if I can get Minecraft running at least. Yeah. Do you guys want to start off as kind there's of like a lot like of rape? A, do you guys want to start off as kind of like an ad hoc panel, kind of just discussing, I guess, the the space right now and all the stuff that's been happening in the last couple of days? Yeah. Yeah, because me, me and so, Tom, um, we, we had a conversation yesterday. I just want to fill Chud in where uh, I called Tom and I'm like, dude, George apologized. And he was like, what? And I'm like, yeah. I didn't believe you because he just woke up. You could hear him like, like he had had it in his voice. And I'm like, dude, George fucking apologized. And he's like, you're fucking with me, right? Like, there's no way that guy fucking apologized. Your statement sucked. Right. And, and we were just sitting there. We're like, no. No fucking way. And you're like, what, dude, what the fuck? And we just went back and forth for like 20 minutes before we we're like, fuck it. This is still ridiculous. Yeah. It is still ridiculous, but it's, but it's also like, fuck these guys. Cause like, if, if they're not going to defend themselves, like what the, what the fuck I'm supposed to defend them. Yeah. It's absurd. I don't, I don't feel bad for the Minecrafters. And I feel like that's gotta be the major <laughs> takeaway before we even get started here is like, I, these guys have beyond done this to themselves. I, I'm not even, yeah. I'm not sweating this yeah. at all. I felt bad for them until, until that. And yeah. also I haven't even heard the dream crying thing yet, but I understand he cried on a, uh, community thing. There was some time, like people asking questions about like the relation to, um, well, they were asking questions about like when the timing was, if they had spoken about it. These guys live together, right? They've obviously spoken about it. 
if I am guessing, they probably didn't sleep all night. And they probably just sat there being like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? That George message that we're going to look at did not look like it was something that was prepared. It didn't look like something that any of them were like looking at. Like they, this was something that they did very much on a whim. And then Dream fired up a fucking panic stream <laughs> or whatever on to talk about. But I don't understand story. why he's panicking. Because it didn't ult it didn't fix his situation. So he ulted. Well, it's not going to fix it when the people that are acting against you are bad faith, dishonest, lot like losers. I don't want to get too serious so straight away, okay? But you guys don't understand the uh, Rape of Thrones theory on this whole drama. The Rape of Tho Thrones theory. Is yeah. this like coined like, where are by you? philosophers? I'm by the snow. I think this, is, this whole okay. thing is better interpreted not as actual genuine allegations, defense, etc., but it's all about the kind of beef and the drama between the UK and the US Minecraft communities, or like the Dream SMP community and whoever the fucking AMZ Tubbo freaks are associated with, whatever their server is. I think that's what this is all about fundamentally. Nick, I'm stuck in the fucking snow already. I think I just exploded. Yeah, there was a creeper. Oh, oh man. Creeper? Oh man. Wait, okay. you can get stuck in the snow? Yeah, there is a there is a beef I understand between them. It's sort of like uh it's also like Tommy in it is like not cool with dream anymore. And like quackity is not yes. cool with dream anymore. So there's kind of like exactly. that kind of war there. Exactly. And I think that like, so for example, everyone was like, why did dream jump on the Wilbur Soot train to shit on Wilbur Soot? I think it's cause it was like a shot across the bow to that community of British Minecraft creators Do you to be think... like, Oh, unlucky. I, I think so. Yeah. I think that there's a lot of that sort of thing happening. Um, yeah, that makes well, a lot more sense. Notice how this been, time, like, leveraging literally, that the entire time since like Dream was responding, they were like, "Oh yeah, this community." Notice how none hates. of them are like defending each other at all. Like, well, do you no, find that weird? No, I don't because I think they're more worried about their own their own shit. They're worried about their their own like uh, how the, how they're portrayed. The little, the little maggots, they're desperate yeah. little maggots that don't want you know. That it's all self preservation, isn't it? You know. Well, we had to deal with three insufferable years of these people saying stand culture was good, that there's nothing wrong with being a super fan of something and all that stuff, and now like that's come home to roost or whatever. But like all of them are aware of it. They're just deathly afraid they're the next one to go. Well, it's, it's yeah. biting them in the fucking ass because for years they would apologize and pander to everything that these people made them do, right? Literally, how many... Yeah. Okay, do you remember like 2021? How many times did Dream apologize that year? Well, it, Probably it took Dream getting smeared as a pedophile to come around and say like, hey, I just fucked this whole thing up. I think Stan It took Goldster three sucks. years of him being smeared as a pedophile. And now they they clearly didn't learn their lesson because with this shit where he... where Okay, George, to be clear, what he did was he cuddled with an adult who was drunk while well, he was also drunk and he touched her stomach. This is being spun as like fucking Jeffrey Epstein. Right? Yeah. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is not sexual yeah. assault. And that I is not sexual abuse. And they're they're cowering to these fucking 14 year olds and the fucking like British kid with acne on his face who screams, you fucking sexually assault my friend. <laughs> Like yeah, but they have talk. to. That's the fucking audience. They're all parasocially attached to these creators. But, but the thing is, like, Dream, like, Dream, like, pushed. He, like, beat it for, like, a month. Like, he beat them. Like, he got them. The video is positively received. Everyone from, like, normal YouTube, like, Critical covers it and was like, okay, base video. Like, you're right. You know, you fucking, you know, the, the, the allegations are dumb or whatever. Like, he, he fucking, he fucking got them. And then no matter what. But, but he's, like, the without fail. Creator. He is, but, like... George not found's response. I mean, obviously, like there were some people who didn't like it, but it's not like his career was in jeopardy. It's not like right. he was losing like a ton of subscribers over. Really? It. I think there's stuff behind the scenes, Rape of Thrones stuff we didn't see that contributed to what happened, but I can't. Speak not to interject, exactly. but I'm building a it's Minecraft fine. house on on tipsters and revenue income right now. I'm building a dirt house, <laughs> so if you guys want to. <laughs> okay, uh, right. Can we just agree how many tipster references this stream? We need to start having like a little tipster counter that like goes off or whatever, and it's like, beow, 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 and it's like new tipster. I get an oh shit dropped. real quick. Oh god, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, can I hold on? Let me see. Uh, There's no way you don't have it ready to go. Who the fuck is this? This really is zero percent. Oh, that was not the right button. That was not the right button. Um, I meant to hit. <laughs> that was not oh, the right shit. one. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to get too off track, but I actually did watch the uh, commentary aids supercut of the Augie stream about tipsters, about tipster. So, yeah, I think I've got a bit more. How was that? Was what good? are your thoughts? I mean, yeah, he's, well, my thought on tipster was he's a bumbling retard constantly stepping into rakes. And my, my belief was confirmed <laughs> by that. Um, if, he's also like know, a liar, though. He's also like he's, oh, he's yeah, more yeah, evil yeah. than that. 
Uh, yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, he definitely lies to get himself out of trouble, right? And post hoc changes the story, so that's very cringe. Yeah. But, but e evil? We call him evil? I think just desperate, um, desperate loser. No, I, mean, I don't okay, think he's I think, intelligent okay, okay. to be evil. Is, is he evil personally? No. Is Keffel's evil and is he defending that person? Yes, so yes. Right, okay. Yeah. Wait, so you I mean, think I mean, I mean, if you're if you're friends with someone who sends hormones to children and constantly defend them for their lolly takes, like, what do you think? Well, oh, you, I, I, referred well to him, Hello? I referred to him as a concentration camp guard for a while, and I really think that's a pretty accurate description of him. <laughs> oh, Could fuck, I'm in the, in the fucking snow! Wait, what the fuck? How did Smaggle get in here? I don't know, dude. He hacked. What the fuck? You let Smaggle in here? Yo, he, he, just, he just spawned in front of me. What, what the, the fuck is wait, he doing? he has powers? <laughs> You know, he just Dude, he's, spawned. He's just looking at me. All right, once he's I have the, the once I have the dirt house built, George is so, weak willed. They're all pussies. Once I have the dirt They're house built and we're like safe for a couple seconds, then I'll start sharing screen and we can start reviewing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For Andrew sure. Riggs in chat says, "Ask Nick if he would rather apologize for tickling allegations or moderate a Keffel's Discord." Um, I think I feel like it's a pretty easy answer. Wouldn't you immediately go for the tickling allegations? I think I would tickle and not apologize. I can't stop tickling. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop tickling and biting women. On on the topic of the George stuff, just to go back to my schizo theory, is I think that that Amesy person is a central linchpin in all of this in terms of pushing these people to make these allegations. I do notice, like, I mean, if, if she was seeing this, she'd be like, well, I'm just doing this because I support victims, but... Actually, does she even talk like... No, she is British, yeah. She if sounds, look she at, sounds if, more autistic, but yeah, okay. If you look at her replies, every single time there's like an allegation, no matter like who it is or what it is, or if it's like true or false, she's there. Yeah. She's always there. She's Are always you, like there wait, to wait, support. Wait, which one is that? Amesy, the girl with the beanie. Yeah, which... Who did she accuse? She didn't accuse anyone. She's just like... She's always there for oh. these things. Because I was going to say, like she's, uh, did you she's find always it in the replies, like, you're the, so uh, strong. She was the one who was, like, fucking spamming out, like, silence is not consent, silence is not consent, silence is not, like, that person. But wait, did you, uh, did you find it a little bit concerning or interesting, at least, that there's, um, the connection between the Wilbur allegations and the, uh, which ones? The fucking George ones, because the person said, like, oh, you need to come out about this? Like, the Wilbur person got involved with Katie? Was she involved? I thought Katie just said she was like inspired or something. I could have sw wait. Did she say inspired? We can go back and look, but I'm pretty. I thought sure she, she said something about that. just being inspired. Oh, I, th I thought they. I, mean, this, I, I mean, thought they like directly I, spoke I, based off of there. I mean, the thing is, you have to understand, like, not to say that this makes their stories more or less valid, but none of the girls coming out have had like big audiences. Like Katie's, Katie. Well, like, no, has no, the audience. first girl had a million subs. She's got. She's a turkey top yes. of the viewership. But she's not averaging very many views. So these are not like big known creators. Like I had, we, we had never heard of any of these people, right? But we, we obviously we knew who Dream and George Not Found were. We had never heard of these girls. I had never heard of them. Ever. No idea who they were. Zero concept of them. And so now they're getting a lot of attention online. And to, and to be honest, if I, had to, if I had to place my bets on who was guilty versus who wasn't, I would probably say Wilbur over George. Um, actually, I would definitely say Wilbur over George, even though, you know, I'm still open to the idea that he's innocent. Um, I think, okay, but I feel like Wilbur's going to sue you're his very, way out. You're, you're too believing of women, I'm afraid to say, Tom. I'm too believing of women? Yes, absolutely. We what do you mean? Before, well, that's you our problem me. here on Ultimate Rape Review. We usually love <laughs> women too much, and that's, that well, kind of, like, messes with our... If, if what you're talking about, Chud, is, um, the super mega thing where I was, uh, I wasn't <laughs> steadfast ready to come out... I guess the thing is, I, I'm 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 one who likes to wait, you know, a little longer. I know you like to fuck around a little bit more, but I I I just like to wait, you know. I like to know. I like really? to have Because according rights. to Twitter, under your tweets about this, people say you don't seem to like to wait. It seems like you're pretty against the idea of consent. Have they been saying that? I've been That's what everyone's saying. Anyone who disagrees with the current narrative is a rapist pedophile. Base, dude. No, Let's sure. Go. I I do see where you're coming from. Like getting to hear the response means you can feel, you know. No, coherent to get her. the benefit of just watching the woman stream and shitting on her is well just i mean because if you if you have if you if you take wilbur's response like he's either the most retarded innocent person ever or guilty right like these are the two options well he sure, but what, okay, massive what, contradiction he of whether he was guilty or not what'd you say nick well so what he said is my my ex-girlfriend's uh thoughts are valid well his ex-girlfriend thinks she was abused by him 
Yeah, so th this is the thing. Like, why would you? Why would you open your response? That's saying the problem. Yeah. That. Now I will say he did. He did in the. He second, says I deny the, the abuse, but her feelings are valid. But her feelings were that she was abused. So that's like either a huge contradiction. <laughs> well, it's a backhanded confession. I don't know what it is, but it's it's hard. Well, it is kind it of a, th one thing. One thing you have to understand about these communities is like, you always if you're gonna win, you always have to like say like feelings are always valid people's experiences are always valid and you also have to say like and also support victims like that's why george ended his statement with like support victims because if you don't say that then you're like a piece of shit yeah if you don't say that like every after every breath so you could read it that way but i will i will say like if you feel you're being if i felt i was being falsely accused i would never in a million fucking years openly say your feelings are valid like no if you think you're being falsely accused then her feelings are invalid i think katie's feelings are invalid Right. As for as for shovel, I don't I don't I don't you know, I just feel like I need more, but for no, Katie, I mean her feelings are definitely by that logic. Valid. By that logic then George is also guilty because he conceded to Katie in the end, right? Well, the difference there is like I know all the specific events now and I know outright that Katie lied about a specific detail and have proof for it, right? Which is yeah, the okay, cuddling sure. thing, right? So there it's like it's more cut and dry there. With Wilbur it's like I feel like it's still up to interpretation. I don't know all the details, you know. Well, no, no. What, what is he think he's guilty of exactly? What do I? Oh, do you mean what does she think he's guilty of? No, no, sure. You know, you said you think Will was guilty. What do you think Will was guilty of exactly? I don't think he's necessarily guilty. I said I'm open. I'm open to the idea of it. And as for what that would be, I mean, I guess like repeatedly biting her after she didn't want to be bitten and. You know, going too far. I think Wilbur is a retarded it. freak who well, bites people, and I don't understand <laughs> why people just write. People are like, oh, Nick's real fixated on the biting. Yeah, because it's the most abnormal part of this. It's the most difficult to navigate. It's the reason why the. Well, Nick, you're very. We all know you're it. very vanilla in bed. Okay? Dude, that's what people are writing. They're very <laughs> vanilla in bed because they don't realize this isn't a sexual thing. This guy's mother's like, hey, listen. I mean, it, my it son's is sexual, a biter. It's also, it's also not. My son's a it's biter. Like, oh. It's not on purpose or whatever. Like what? Like fucking what? How did your son get out of the fourth grade being a fucking biter? Like the allegation is, if it stands as is, fucking um, Wilbur turned to her and said, "I'm a biter. That's who I am. I'm not changing." That is the cr if that's even like one percent true. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. So. Yeah, dude, I, when she says, hey, I'm starting to think that, like, this situation with Wilbur, maybe he was lying to me, right? Because he says that, like, the biting wasn't, um, like, it, it was out of his control or whatever, or it was out of love or something like that. But then I noticed he started biting harder, and in times he was hurting me, right? So, given I don't kind of believe his, like, his whole biting mechanics as described, uh, I'm more inclined to believe that her perspective on that might be the correct one because i can't wrap my head around someone who just bites people i think there has to be an ulterior motive because that's an abnormal thing that's going on okay so i think if you want to say he's a, a weirdo biter guy i like i always said i agree with that part of it right it's yeah, a i don't know if he's a domestic abuser yes, but i think he's exactly a freak yeah sure i can break bread with that because i mean again like I fucking had Blues Dank come on and call in, and he's like, yeah, I have seen him, like, walk up to friends of his at the bar and, like, bite them. Wait, he said that? Blues Dank called into my stream and said that he's seen I didn't bite know that. What in the public. F what the F? People thing? he knows, but people Who? he's not dating. Yeah. And it's like, well, I mean, why are all he, he the Minecraft YouTubers, friends? like... Apparently, all the Minecraft YouTubers knew this guy just fucking bites people, and it was only a problem when the girl was like, well, I actually didn't like being bitten like that. Apparently, oh, all the Minecraft oh. YouTubers have fucking rabies. Yeah, that's so, again, I, I hope this guy puts out a better statement, because, again, that's this is based off of his one horrible statement and the girl's statement, and he's been radio silent ever since. So Do you I think hope he, he will actually, say anything? No, I think he's going to sue her into oblivion. We're never actually going to know, but that guy's always going to be known as the weird guy who bites people until he... Really? You think he's going to sue her? I mean, if he hasn't said anything yet, that all all signs point to yes. What do you think he's? Gonna I mean, go either down? that or he's literally just like a he's just like sulking in this fucking room. No, these guys go down. He's doing swinging. a chugger Conroy. He's doing a chugger Conroy, isn't he? He's just fucking off for a bit, probably. I feel like it's possible he's just fucking off for a while. Like, does he seem like a? I mean, does he seem like a fucking vindictive, like strong, like fucking let's get him type, or does he seem like I'm gonna cry in my room? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's every UK well, YouTuber. The, if if someone I'm gonna go bite to... my fucking mom, <laughs> me nan, if, bite me nan. If, if, Okay, these British accents. Come on now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, there's no fucking Yank. Well, I suppose you've got Dream and stuff, but they just sound like kind of Norman American. These people are particularly irritating British accents, aren't they? So, Yeah, they are. Can you right. blame me, dude? I've got our no, thing open now. Um, 
What do you guys want to hit first? Do you guys want to go back through the George thing on like 1.5 uh, to kind of reiterate that? Who here is already cool. seen? Okay. All right, you've been I think... overruled, Tom. <laughs> oh, I just want to see the fucking dream thing. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do dream I agree. Get to the dream thing. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's we don't need this on the screen page. then because it's a space. All right, so what ha the, the order of events was the George, uh, the the girl puts out her stream. We reacted to this live. Uh, me and Chud Logic just happened to be live while we were watching it, and we were all panicking. Uh, nobody wanted to say anything of definitive value immediately because it was happening all in real time. So all of us were like vaguely like, "Yeah, that might be bad, or it could be not as bad. Who knows?" We didn't we even know it was about what women's tears. Yeah, the Please, white woman's tears is. affected us on a personal level. So following that. Uh, the next morning, uh, well, or a couple hours later, George announced he'd be making a stream response. Now, he did a couple hours after. I think it was into the following day. And then after everyone was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. The Katie person put out a Discord update, um, followed by an actual update. And that made George come out and concede. Following Slimey George's concession, fun. we got this dream space. Um... An important talk. How long is this? I'm just uh, it's 40 minutes. When we're done, we'll just go to the end when he cries. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna put it on one, two, five to start, and we'll we'll adjust from there. Letting people join for a minute. Sorry, right, I've got something important to say, guys. You could say that this space was his nightmare. Damn. Can we? Who the fuck is this guy again? Why do we have him here? <laughs> Is this fucking loser? Sorry, sorry, I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. Come on. This is sorry. Fucking, this is British, invite one British, British person. He's just being gay. <laughs> I guess you could call Chris Tyson your worst nightmare, Mr. Beast. <laughs> More like Dream was taken and raped against his will. Um, More yeah. like Dream took his girl. Dude, Dream. Oh, dude, that was another thing. We're going to talk about this at some point tonight, but somebody put out a twit longer. To expose Dream for allegedly fucking his girlfriend, and then was promptly bullied into deleting it, and that was like oh, a yeah. solid twenty minutes of like really funny memes. You feel my shadow donating just to call Chud unfunny? That's crazy. <laughs> well, if you don't want to call Chud unfunny, I'm rough. also streaming. Uh, thank you to my seventeen hundred closest dude. friends and family for uh, all your contributions thus far. Let's get it going. You guys know I'll be talking. I'm just gonna wait a minute, a couple minutes for people to come in before I start speaking. This is what I'm going to be talking about for a second. Um, and then I have a lot to say, so uh, this will probably be a long space. Um, this isn't scripted or planned. Um, so I'm sorry if I... Yeah, we know it's not scripted. Okay, it is very obvious as we progress that this is... Dream uh... wants everyone... He, so he wants everyone to believe everything he does isn't calculated. Um, I think typically he usually thinks, overthinks, and prepares well thought out responses when it comes to like really when his ass is really on the line. Um, but it doesn't he, seem like that. If he wanted to prove that he can do things rashly, this is a very good example of that. Pause or uh, you know stumble over my words or anything. Um, I'm just going to be speaking from my feelings and my thoughts, and so. Uh, you know, I know every, every word will probably be analyzed, uh, but um, just know that this is just me, me and my pure thoughts. And um, uh, it's not, I, I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm going to say. Um, first things first, I just want to, as quickly and as, you know, the very first oh. thing I do, I want to be is. By the uh, way, another allegation is hit the fucking tower. Okay. I'm, I'm learning about this kidding. live right now. It's not one of sexual nature. But supposedly they investigate. Are you familiar with the Quackity Union thing? Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, I saw this. Yeah. So the, Omni put the, out a the tweet French saying the French, the French government might potentially take action now. That's fucking because crazy. it's because they looked it like they looked it over or something, and they deemed that like they can proceed with whatever was going on. Wait, but the thing I don't understand is I thought it was like unpaid moderators. I don't know. I think it was work for like the can, like maybe moderators, but not like channel moderators, like moderators for his other shit. Does he do like Minecraft shit uh -oh. still? Dude, I, I, he has like a, he has like a, he has a server. Holy shit, dude. You got to try Vivance. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> True. Say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Katie. Um, I'm sorry for in any way whatsoever that I contributed to your um, pain. Um, 
Uh, I just would like to make it clear that Can we just until tell, like, these guys were so confident yesterday, what changed? Yes. What changed? Something behind the scenes. Something behind the it scenes. It had to going be something, something behind the scenes. scenes. Something we don't know. Something. Something we don't know about definitely went on but like what the fuck could it be Dude, like this guy's like did i didn't know did... her age here someone had a fucking wristband on uh <laughs> fucking uh, like i dude like fucking I, and then all of a sudden okay, it comes out could it have he, been yeah. like let's theory craft maybe someone else was gonna come forward and was like unless you admit to this i'm gonna come forward about something else like is there another girl like what could possibly be the reason to Maybe? change the tune so quickly? Because like, because like, Dream is Dream has dealt with public pressure before, and he didn't crack, right? Yeah, and they like, they, like, they cracked in like twenty four hours. It makes no sense. Exactly. It, it, so there's there's got to be something yeah. we're missing. Uh, well, the, Let's just add Dream to the be. call. <laughs> Get Dream. Yeah, come on, Nick. Let's send him a message. Uh, I um, believe me. I tried to reach out to him. Um, okay. At first, he sent me. I haven't gotten a response, response but I haven't gotten a response either, which I get, but. Okay, if we're if we're doing Occam, Occam's razor, the simplest explanation is is just the backlash was too bad and he couldn't withstand the pressure. But, but like, I think. the the backlash that Dream got was people reevaluated the Nicholas Cantu thing because you guys remember this crazy kid who was in the car and was like, yeah, I'm yeah. a fucking erect statue erected in gold, you're a grain of sand in this hard desert. People pulled a clip from that that they say Dream like took out where Nicholas Cantu was like, didn't you come up with the sexual assault thing from like. Uh, Tubbo or some shit, and it people are linking that, being like, okay, so this is actually it wasn't about Tubbo or Sapnap, as it was about George not found. People are thinking Dream covered it up somehow, so that seems to be like maybe the impetus. But the Nicholas Cantu guy is like nuts, so I don't know why they're even taking him seriously. Like this is like Nicholas Cantu is a kid who was like having like a manic breakdown in the public, and his friends were like egging him on, supporting him because he was like owning the epic Dream, and then had to like leave the internet due to like mental health reasons, probably. And, like, this is the guy we're supposed to believe now, right? Yeah. Like, someone who just had some random rumor about it. Well, and the idea that Dream would cover up sexual assault is also retarded. Like, do you, do you not think that in his position, he would be scared to I, There's only one person like I know that? who would be in a situation where, like, someone sexually assaulted somebody tangentially near their own group and would just not say anything about or cover up. Okay, and I don't think Tipster's involved in this drama. So. <laughs> Dude, okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> That's number two. She That's can do two. no wrong. She can do no wrong. Wait, no. Okay. All right. In my defense, actually, I can't say that. That that's a leak. I can't leak that. Never mind. Um. But Matt Pitt in chat brought up a really good point. Um. He said it could be an over uh, correction over the bracelet thing, right? Because he did kind of get the bracelet thing wrong. But then I listened yeah, back to it, and it doesn't actually. Say, he said that someone in the group had a twenty-one bracelet. And that he thought, but he showed a photo. But then he said but it he was showed the girl's a photo. Hand. Yeah. And I think that people thought, oh, we're saying that's them, but it wasn't them, right? But, yeah. But the thing that is, even, even, if that that wrong, even if that was wrong, even if that was wrong, it doesn't it doesn't change the cuddling thing, which is the biggest thing, which is she was cuddling with him on the couch for an hour. She got up several times and then went back to cuddling. All with right. Him. This is the hard part. We're all gonna take a stance. Like she on left this. that out of her statement. We're she all left that out of her statement. Taking a hard stance on this, whether you like it or not, we're not beating around it. We're gonna ask the fucking panel. Do you think it is sexual assault to put your hand up a girl's shirt after cuddling with her on the couch for an hour okay no. not touching a of breast of course of course it is not of touching a breast is. touching somewhere between <laughs> the stomach and like the, the the rib cage okay do we think this is a sexual assault chat put put three in the chat if you think that's a sexual okay. assault okay I mean, it, it obviously isn't the... it's a standard like move you might do when you're raising someone up right um, but I do think, and this is something that I think has been missed a bit, is there does seem to be some sort of groupie culture in the Minecraft community, uh, just by roughly looking at it. Do you think it. they're groupies? Oh. Do you think they're awkward losers who don't really know how to interact with women? I, I'm starving in the fucking game. Holy shit. Oh, I have six Well, they're probably not... Do you have food? I need yeah. food like now. I'm gonna die. Here, eat a they're probably not groupies in like you know the sense of like rock bands in the 70s. You know, 14 oh, year olds getting raped by rock stars. But you know, I just use that in the kind of loosest possible sense. In that you know, the people knocking about the community that got smaller channels. That you know, the the older guys, the bigger guys probably feel they've got some. <laughs> I don't know how to put this without sounding bad. They walk into the room, they expect to get their dick sucked. Not that extreme, but you see what well, I'm Well, I mean, at. the allegations, we've heard this from several different women who've said, like, you guys brag about having minors in your DMs. Smaggle, did you just punch me in Minecraft? Do you, do you want to be employed here? Do you want to be the head mod for everyone unpaid? Dude, Smaggle has been fucking with me. He killed me. He hurt me, and then he just, he just like, he's just being gay. That's crazy. Smaggle, Smaggle's the literal groupie that we're going to use later. Yeah. He's fucking bitching at us already. It makes no sense. Um, Young autistic child. 
But yeah, I think that, uh, you know, if you've got like an 18 year old who is trying to get somewhere, as long as there's no rape or Harvey Weinstein esque stuff happening, I mean, they're a fucking adult as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, they make their own decision. And this, this, this fucking freshly 18 thing is so fucking cringe. It's my favorite new phrase. I think it's so funny Bro, when, I, when I see people are freshly 18. It's literally that meme where the guy's like, you sick fuck. She was 18 years old in one day from like Law and Order, like yeah. screaming at the like pedophile. Like, <laughs> dude, it's, it's, it's just like, I think the only reason people are saying this is because everyone involved has convinced themselves that they are in the right and they're not talking to outside influences. Like, are, do you do you think yeah. these people have like a thirty five year old talking to them being like, "I'm not." Retarded? I think they do now, maybe against their will, but there is a thirty five year old saying that all these people are retarded. And I have to say, as much as people say I've been glazing for the last fucking twenty four hours, dude. After me and Tom sat in that call and we were like, "What the fuck." Seeing Destiny fire up a stream and reiterate all the same talking points that we've been saying for two days, fucking literally without seeing any content, without knowing anything about the situation, just an outside person. We didn't even person. tell him uh, to yeah, cover it. With an like... outside person who comes to the same fucking conclusion, I was like, okay, all right, we're good. Okay, I I'm not crazy. I haven't lost my fucking mind. We're not, we haven't become pro rape overnight. Other people are seeing this is fucking crazy. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very normal take for people that have engaged in, you know, sexual relationships and stuff to have is that, you know, this stuff just, just kind of happens. And it's not, you know, the way she was crying on stream, I, I watched the Destiny clip, and yeah, like the way she's crying on stream, it, it's insane. Do you, it's like, you would think he went fucking, you, you would think he went gorilla mode and like ripped a hole in her, in her fucking pants right, and just like, right for the pussy that. was like, like eight years. Stop, wait, who, who invented gorilla? This is the second time in 24 hours that you've said, gone gorilla mode, ripped out his dick. <laughs> Where did well, that I, come I, from? I, I imagine a gorilla would be rather sexually aggressive. Why? Are you drawing, are you drawing some link? No, I'm else, just like, like, wait, is gorilla mode like a thing? Is it like a zoomer thing? Like, do you guys... Just go Dude, gor gorilla mode? You just go fucking, you just go gorilla mode. I, I just, Sometimes you can, you can, you can consensually go gorilla mode too. It happens. Too. <laughs> just, you just some there, girls like, like when you go, some girls mode. like when you go gorilla mode. Is that like the, um, what was the, the old one? Goblin mode. I prefer calling it black mode personally. Oh. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Which way? Which way? Western man, rapist versus pedophile. He means silver back rapist. gorilla. He misspoke. He yeah. Misspoke. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah. 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 That's All right. He means I'm silver gonna, back I'm gonna gorilla. Play the clip. This is the he, clip he that's fucked got up. the internet fucking screaming right now. I put this out, and I have been in the trenches fighting with teenagers for the last 24 hours on all these posts. I had people tell me that they were gonna like. Wait, hold on. Let me read this one. I got like a, a hilarious death threat. They said. You're lucky this is the only thing that happened. I will fuck you with a knife and let that, uh, and tell you that you're lucky it wasn't a machete or something like that, right? Like, I have people sending me insanely hilarious. Is that like a child that's... if you go to their account? It probably is. Is that like a yeah. nine year old? Either Are that, they trans? Are they trans? Probably as well. I don't know. Most likely. Mm. Uh, Let's so, just say the knife. Well, they're the biggest drift from that knife. That's for sure. Well, no, anyway, they're all sorry. fucking stupid teenagers, okay. and they're all they're no. But all these people are like, oh my god, I can't believe two middle-aged men are saying that this girl's fucking trauma. I'm like, oh, okay. So you think 27 and 35 are middle age? Okay, because you're on a cocktail of different antidepressants. You'll fucking kill yourself, but after like shortly after you turn 20, if you're not taking your medication, that's why you think that 35 is middle age. Okay, because that's probably like, farther than you'll ever. Like say. you are lucky. You're oh fuck, I just got. So fucking sidetracked with that sorry flag. Um, okay, 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 but okay, yeah. but honestly, it's fine because the Twitter, the Twitter discourse around this has been fucking cancer. It's been cancerous, like absolutely insane. Yep. I saw people. I saw people. Okay, so obviously, like the way that these cancellations work is when someone gets called out for something, everything they've ever done gets brought up, right? Like what, whether it's whether it's like genuinely a bad thing they did or it's like this is bullshit. So this person on Twitter. Uh, Fuck, what is their name? I know their name, but I can't remember it. They tweeted out being like, don't forget when this sick freak, referring to George Not Found, made fun of Technoblade's passing in front of his dad by making like a sound effect. And then you watch the clip and it's like Tommy in it and him and whatever. And they're all laughing about it and clearly don't care. And so this person's first thought when they see someone in drama is like, well, let's bring up the tragic passing of this guy I did not know to police like whether or not they can Dude, joke George about it. I guess it's literally to, a retread of the Super Mega He walked up to shit. Tommy and it's fucking, not Tommy, it's a uh, Technoblade's dad and just went, dude, that's crazy. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He, he basically did that. And everyone on the stream was like, like they were laughing about it. They were fine. 
And like this person, like people love to get mad on the behalf of other people's fucking suicide and death and like for their yeah. friends and police, how their friends can react to it. Like this is the same shit with Super Mega. You remember when Daniel died or whatever? And then Lex is like, oh, well, they were joking about his death. And it's like, it's not your fucking place to like argue like what they can and can't do. It's not your friend. It's their friend. But this is like something people are obsessed with doing. Yeah. It's sickening. It's like actually sickening. Like, and I hate to, you know, moral F over this stuff. But like, it is actually sickening. Dude, I hate moral No, no, you're, you're absolutely right. It's, it's, it's fucking absurd. Uh, and, and you know, you see it with everyone that's come forward, even with Wilbur, is everything comes out the closet. Like, all these old clips get recontextualized as, well, you probably wanted to rape someone here. And it's like, what are you on about? Like, this clip was fine at the time. And it's all being posted. Oh, I forgot trade. Wilbur got accused of rape, too. Whatever that that didn't go anywhere, did it? It was just like a day. Everyone's like, "Oh, he's a rapist." It got a hundred thousand likes. Yeah, but like yeah. I haven't I haven't heard a single piece of discussion about that. Well, because as soon as that came out, we had a new allegation. Like the well, you have day. to understand so hundred thousand likes on Twitter. I mean, this subject is not doing fucking gangbust. I, I think I still did better last uh, last drama in terms of viewership and stuff like that. Uh, it hasn't really translated super well to YouTube. Maybe it's different for you guys, but I mean, I'm getting like normal numbers, or if anything, just a little bit lower. I mean, it's stream viewers Twitter. have been good. Stream viewers have been good. I've been getting yeah, like five hundred to three k live. Stream viewers have been fine. Yeah, but that's because yeah, exactly. you look like a Minecraft YouTuber, don't you? Yes, that's why. Because they, they think I'm gonna be the next one on the list, so they're not getting invested. Um. <laughs> no, well, but also, I, I think I think part of it is like this shit just it just like is so um. It's so fleeting. Like, it's literally like the fucking... Wait, did I... I got kicked out of the fucking game? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, hello, Smaggle. Am I still on the call? What is Smaggle giving me? Yes. Yep. Oh, okay. A well, like, the... It's, it's, it's the like shuttle. on Twitter, fucking like, Smaggle. one day we're talking about the guy who fucking self-immolated or whatever for Israel or... Oh, Aaron Hernandez, yes. I, and, 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 then, and then the next day, we're talking about fucking Sydney Sweeney's boobs. Like, it's just, like, it's just it's just fast. People don't have a detention span for yeah, this. Yeah, it's like a discourse like, cycle, yeah. No, but, I, but I, yeah. what I'm trying to point out is that, like, on Twitter, though, every tweet is banging. Like, every single one. Yes. Dramatically yeah, yeah. more. Like, we have, like... I mean, I don't usually get, like, 10 k like tweets, and I think I've had, like, three of them this week. That's... But there's no big videos about it. That's the thing, is I feel like most of this drama... You say 100,000 likes on Twitter, I think it's only on Twitter. Like, I don't think it's really translated well to any other form of social media. Maybe TikTok, I'm not viewing it there. But I don't think these people have that much power outside of that, that one specific avenue. No, I would agree. It is kind of like a Keffel's phenomenon. Where well, where, the, where the are powers, the dream the powers stand representation on YouTube? Who's the biggest dream stand channel? Um... None. There are none. There's literally Dream. Me. So if, if Dream wanted to continue uploading as usual, he'd probably be fine right now on YouTube. Yeah, you're right. But he hasn't uploaded in years. It's anyway, Jalen. So I don't, Jalen know, I don't is know the what one. the fuck he's doing. Jalen is the only, oh, base, only Dream star. I love Jalen. Jalen is my goat. I can't believe Smaggle just ran all the way up to me to give me a shovel because I didn't like how I was, I was strip mining. That's embarrassing. Hey, Smaggle is fucking the goat. Okay. I think because these allegations are made so easily, they are very kind of like um, unsubstantial. It's like one gets made, another gets made, another gets made. And yeah, I'd forgotten about the rape allegation against Wilbur. But yeah. 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 You're right. Because like I had even forgotten too, because we immediately went to the biting thing. And that was like. No, the biting the thing, thing, thing was said. first. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the thing that the other girl said is that he like took her clothes off without consent. And she, then she woke up and didn't know what happened. That's way more serious. I forgot that even fucking happened because yeah. it's other shit. Like I'm, 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 I have the same brain as these people. Like just onto the next fucking thing. Yeah, that's the thing. And, people and were writing we'll me about um, about the George situation. They're like, you don't understand. All right, oh, dude, Tom, what the fuck? I got a nice, what? nice strip mine, and you're mining diagonal. What are you doing here? It's, it's, it's in a straight. What, do, what oh, are you man. talking about? You are, you are the most non-neat miner that I know. You are the worst miner in this story. Major miner <laughs> podcast, dude. This is it. Dude, that... Do we want to keep listening to the Twitter space? Yeah. We kind of got pretty sidetracked. Yeah, actually, first I want to play the fucking clip. This is the this is the clip that got everyone freaking out today since we were talking about like our take and, and yeah, involving uh, the actual situation that happened with George. Like, why are we leaking this? Like, you are lucky. You're lucky that that was the only thing that happened. This is like, this is such a lucky lesson learned. Like, okay. I was underage, drinking. I was already pretty dumb. Probably shouldn't go back to the hotel room with the guys alone. Some guy kind of like felt me up a little bit, but nothing happened and then I left. That is a lucky scenario. That's lucky. Nothing happened. You're good. Like, holy shit. What an easy way to learn a lesson without anything fucking insane happening. Wait, what the fuck? It was the first
first time anyone had ever touched me. I, sh I, sh I assured myself that I was just being sensitive about it all, that it wasn't a big deal, but assuring only can you go are. so far. You are. It's not. dirty in a way that I couldn't wash off. Dude, his fucking face is so good right Bro, now. Bro, where, where did she get the, the what, what rape diary was she reading? Like, oh, I felt dirty in a way that could never come. I could never be clean again. Like, who gave her this language? There's no way she's writing. Like, oh, bro, come on. Right. So here, so people are like taking this and they're saying like, oh, Destiny is saying that it's like totally fucking. Um, what, Destiny is basically saying here that uh, just because she was only sexually assaulted a little bit, uh, suddenly it's not bad and we don't have to like we can like. People are also saying like, trauma. oh, so she's lucky because she got assaulted by a big creator. Yeah, no, the, and it didn't well, go further. They're hundred. Destiny's hundred percent saying that she wasn't sexually assaulted. She almost could have been sexually assaulted if there was a room full of different people under dis different circumstances. Yeah, so, there, but so he's not. he's not like dismissing sexual. He, he's not saying he's not downplaying sexual assault. He's dismissing it. There's a huge difference. I was. Um, it's not. I, I, it's I, I, not. I wasn't really woke to how performative her stream was before George's response, but now that if you watch this and you recontextualize it, given what happened and what she's crying about, it's like insane. The poetry is really crazy. Yeah, dude, I like, got literally bro, writing how, a fucking. How do you poem. even rational? I felt dirty in a way that I couldn't be washed off. There are people what who is that? heard that statement thinking she got assaulted in some way, shape, or form. Like, yeah, no, people are thinking that he went gorilla mode. That's a gorilla mode statement. Like, what do you mean you couldn't wash off what his handprint when he tickled your stomach? Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, because if you get about? sprayed down by a gorilla, you need to take a shower. Oh but if God, you don't get bro. sprayed Stop down... Stop with the gorilla if, mode. If, if you don't Dude, get if power washed... gorillas, I'm going to take it somewhere you don't want it to go, okay? <laughs> no, Rachel, no more I'm gonna gorillas. Stay, right? <laughs> Dude, you're British. You're supposed to be, like, progressive or something. <laughs> His name is Dude, Chud we're Logic. we're super racist over here. Yeah. His name is Chud okay. Logic. He knows how they think. The, the, the other thing as well that really undermines her tears here is all of the messages after where she didn't even say anything negative really to him, you know, and even to other people. Even she the messages like, oh, she yeah, released look like she'd already been talking, like she was being talked into it. Yes, yes, that fucking Amesy person. I'm telling you, Amesy is the fucking, you know, the, the rape instigator. I've had a lot of people telling me they think Amesy is like responsible Amesy's like the Heogen, right? What does that mean? Uh, he, uh Slazo okay. reference. Do you, do you know the Slazo thing? I'm gonna look into it at some point, but no, don't worry. Yeah, about we, 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 well, no, we should give you cliff notes. I think it's actually interesting because there, okay, there are on, parallels. Sure. So, like back in the day, like the big first false allegation that like anyone on our side of the internet took note of was Slazo. Nick, this was 2018. Yeah, or it was after Pro Jared, but it was pretty early. I don't think it was the big first one. It was, bu but it was before Pro Jared came back. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It was before Pro Jared came back, and it was before the Bernie video about that yeah. that I narrated. It was um it was like 2018 or 19. Basically this girl came out saying that a 19-year-old commentary YouTuber named Slazo had uh had abused her, had been a bad boyfriend, had like raped her. Um she didn't really have any evidence for it. Um but she had like this one DM which was out of context where over Discord he says when I get home it's rape time. And so that was there. She said that he like assaulted her in a movie theater or something in a park. Like it was all this shit. Um and eventually, uh, people started investigating it and looking into it, and it was pretty clear that, uh, I mean, he was a shitty boyfriend, but that's about all you could say. There was no abuse. Also, people were saying it was grooming when they were two years apart in age, I believe. I think when they started dating, he was 17, she was 15. When they finished, he was 18, she was 16, I believe were the ages, although my memory is kind of foggy. Um, and sort of one of the people behind all of this was uh, Pyrocynical's ex-girlfriend, Hyojin, uh, who um, was basically like just pushing allegations um, and uh, talking to the girl and trying to get her to come out against Slazo and writing a lot of the statements. And uh, we later found out way, way later, which is really funny, that all of that was basically projection from her because she had uh, personally hit her boyfriend and then she left the internet. <laughs> after that. Um, that was, really oh funny. God, so, that was so fucking funny. That was such a fucking down. like giga own when that happened. Yeah. Also, she like, kind of pulled shit. the James Somerton too. Yeah, she said she was gonna. Yeah. She all right. So here's what happened with that. She said that she was gonna kill herself on Twitter. So one of her. This friends, was during the Slazo stuff. Yeah. During during the like the peak. And of obviously it, when my videos were popping. Seventeen year old Turkey Tom calls me in a panic, going, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" 
god no but um <laughs> fucking uh what happened was so like what, wait so her i think i might have been 16 yeah, yeah there were two people down, there were two people one was her close friend one was her boyfriend the close friend is like i just saw her she's in critical condition i don't know if she's gonna make it and the other guy's like yeah i just saw her she's totally fine they got her in time before anything happened um so we never will know what happened in that situation but we've gotten mixed reports depending on what act of how severe that situation actually was um, but we yeah. literally have no idea. We have no yeah. idea. Yeah. But but at the, at the time though, I enlisted my videos because she was like, "I'm getting harassed. I'm getting harassed. Whatever, whatever, whatever." I regret doing that looking back, but you know, I was in I was in high school. It was uh, <laughs> a different time. I was scared. I was scared to have like a body on my record. I th I was like, you know, fucking paranoid. Now, if anything, I welcome it personally. <laughs> it's like a badge of honor. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck! 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 I lived. Fall, dude? I lived, bitch. Is there water down there? Yes, there was one little block of water, bro. I'm kind of nervous because I want to go down there, but I can't tell where the fuck. Uh, the I don't know how is. to get back up, and I'm like gonna die. What the fuck is okay. that? Is there a, is there a monster? I'm going up. There's a lot of I, something growled at me, bro. <laughs> something growled at you. Can we? Can, sorry, can we listen to the call? Uh, uh, <laughs> give me one second. One second. Um, oh <laughs> hold on. It growled at me. Right. Wait, so how do I? <laughs> Ch 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 Chad, how are you doing, buddy? My, I might get my computer's fucked. It's something with my drivers. I can't play. So, sorry, guys. I'm still. Yeah, well, you can you can be in the call. That's fine. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, damn it! How are you doing otherwise? Are you even going gorilla mode? Yeah, no, I can't really complain. To be honest with you, yeah, things are going good. Um, obviously, lots of rapes on the card, so that's always good. Um, just doing my thing. You know how it is. You know how it goes. <laughs> I do. I'm so mad. Nick, are, are um, you going gorilla mode these days, or are you more of a uh, wait, primate type guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's just because it's not because you're Italian, dude. It's not. It's wait, not what, like. Wait, what did you call me, dude? I, it sounded like you said it. I said, I said, are you going gorilla mode? Oh. What did you think I said? <laughs> I don't know, man. I heard. Uh, it sounded like you said you, something. <laughs> Oh my god. Did you All think right. I just called you the N-word point blank? Yeah, dude. That sounded like it. I mean, you've, you've been known to do that. That's what I've heard about you on social media. Okay, well... I've read a lot of things. That's that's just fucking true. <laughs> that's just... I, heard I, that, I appreciate how the thing counts you saying the N-word now, not the false thing. I heard... Well, we're not playing no, but Fortnite, I heard he so. did, like, a hate crime against a guy named D'Angelo Wallace. What is the lore behind that's that true. one? <laughs> He every was walking time we in Chicago drunk, alone at night getting bagels, and I went gorilla mode. Dude, every day I'm like, hey, how you doing, Tom, or whatever, on Twitter, and then someone's like, do you know that he called D'Angelo Wallace the N-word? And I'm just like, that's not even close to what happened, but then I write, yeah, and? <laughs> <laughs> that should be on my Wikipedia or something. Your Wikitubia. Or Wikitubia. Yeah. Yeah. Put All that right. at the top. Let's, let's get this thing back going. I want to hear a dream. Dream in his very measured response. <laughs> James Summers in a measured response. Three days ago, whenever this uh, first happened, I had um, you know no idea whatsoever that anything sexual took place in any way Tom, can whatsoever. Tom, you teleport me where we are? Um, I don't know where we are. Uh, I had I had no yeah. idea of um, Katie's discomfort or any anything at all until um, her her original statement. Um, and uh, I want to try and give some perspective um, for myself um, and on, on everything. Uh, I just want to make it clear that I'm not speaking for George. I'm not speaking about George either. Um, I know he said in his tweet that he has more to say, and I don't know what that's going to be. Um, uh, I just want to All right, pause. speak. Do you really okay, think he, he doesn't He knows know. what it's going to be. Bro, he, he lives with him. Yeah, yeah. And they then, had a conversation. Dude, what, what happened is he made his so fucking weird. statement, and Dream made his statement, and then they saw the shit they were getting, and then for some reason, maybe Amesy talked to them. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But they had some kind of conversation that changed fucking everything. Like some piece of information changed everything that we don't know. We're not privy to. We might not know about. Oh my god! Oh my god! Like some something something weird happened. I I don't know what it could possibly be, but like. To flip okay. in 24 hours from Dream writing one of his classic long Reddit posts about it to apologizing. I mean, it it, it, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. And it's in, who's being so tactical. He went to Dream was taken too to answer this. And then all of a sudden he's like, I got to go on my main Twitter, guys. Uh, about Strange. my own thoughts, my own experience, um, in order to give perspective to things. I think that discussions like this are important to have. 
um, because understanding is very important. He's, um, preventing he's doing the PR thing. Anything yeah. remotely like understanding this, is important. Uh, he's in he's in he's in he's in like he's in 2019 dream mode. Understanding is important. Conversations are important. Like okay, dude, just fucking. What is it with the three minutes of fluff? Yeah, understanding is important. Next, you're gonna tell you me. You say rate three bad. minutes of fluff, but we're on two <laughs> X, so this is like a eternity. Six minutes. Yeah. Great. And why is Belle Delphine in the call? <laughs> oh, she was there the whole time, dude. She was looking for the shade. <laughs> Belle, Belle Delphine is rubbing her hands together watching all these the mainstream time... celebs get fucking owned. Do you remember the time that she t- she DM'd Augie randomly a picture of her licking her monitor while he was on the screen? Yeah, oh, one time she no. one time he had a debate with like some Spurg, and she messaged him and was like, great debate. You did a really <laughs> good job. I remember talking to... God rest his soul, too mad about this. And he was like saying that when he was doing the photo shoot with her or whatever, he like picked her up and threw her on her bed and she giggled and his boyfriend was her boyfriend was like mad as fuck at that. Really? Wait, like really pissed off. Oh my god. Her boyfriend took the fucking pictures of them on the bed. Bro. Jesus Christ. Her boyfriend was facing the BBC allegations that day. (laughs) Well, I don't know if two men's got a BBC. He's a big lad, isn't he? So it's probably a bit much. Well, I hear it shrinks after your post mortem. I thought I thought I thought I almost I almost said something crazy. I thought fat guys had big dicks. I thought this was a meme. Okay. Do they not? Well, if that's true, fat and I black. thought I thought I, I thought I thought I thought I thought I thought fat. It might just you be know, an Italian thing. I thought they could lay pipe. Like, I thought they could go gorilla mode. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it might just be it might just be an Italian. But thing. <laughs> two Mac could definitely go gorilla mode. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, okay dude, 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 come on. dude, dude. I whoa. I try to leave it up to interpretation. You just have to go there. I try to give myself a little plausible. Yeah, you're kind deniability. of flamencoing right now. Hey, what does that yeah, mean? Buddy? Flaman- yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Like, what would we be like? Hmm, what's going on there? Seems like. Uh... And Flamenco would be like, he's black. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, that would literally be Flamenco. Okay. What is this place? Did they do a new cave thing? Yeah, the cave update. All right, well, uh, it gets really dark and scary. I don't like it. I'm in the future. And so nothing that I say is is to invalidate anything. Nothing that I say is to argue with anything. Thanks, game, game. Um, anything I say is purely 100% just to show my perspective and show, uh, try and try and get. You already showed your perspective. Um, with uh, with um, Katie, with uh, anyone who wants to understand me as a human being, as a person. I think that Dude, I'm a reasonable person. That does, what? Um, I'm an original I, I'm person. person. I think that I. Always, we'll try. I think best I'm a to good do person. Good, and do good things. I think I'm a good person. Um, Words that, so when I I'm a good person, I say I'm a good person. Necessary to explain my perspective um, as a person. Um, this will probably be emotional, so I'm sorry for that as well. Um, this will probably we'll talk a little bit about uh, sensitive topics. So if that's sensitive to you, you know, uh, be just be aware, I guess. Um, so yeah, I want to go back to what I said before, which is obviously I had no idea about anything sexual taking place. Um, and I just want to give perspective on uh, for the, the the minor actions at all with with them. Um, so Katie and Ghosty, uh, I you know I met through just a friend of mine, and um, uh, 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 they were everyone was hanging out. They were all hanging out. Um, I actually I, just to be honest, this was a very long time ago, so I, I, not everything will be perfect in terms of what I exactly remember. I actually don't remember my first ever interactions with them um i think it was at a house party if i remember correctly everyone was just you know drinking and having fun um and i hadn't actually been out much around vidcon because uh i was wearing the mask so i hadn't really been out much around there um, i think uh everyone Next. was uh you know just having a good time um and that was it uh my perspective from uh you know on them still up until you know uh, still to now is that uh, they were great people they were very nice and very friendly um and very uh you know fun to be around uh Hey, time out, guys. Do you know what a warden is? Yeah, it's like a boss in the cave. You don't want to fight it. It's going to murder you. I think I see it. I think you should stay the fuck away from it because it's well, going to, like, I, I kind of have you. a problem. I don't... It can make, like, the, it can make the floor move, Nick. It. Yeah, I think it's doing that, but I have water here. I think you should leave. I don't think that's an option. I don't think I can leave. The warden is like, the warden is like, you see Derek Chauvin. You just need to run. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Trud, Trud Logic is like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, my oh, hero, my gorilla! Uh oh, uh oh. Um, right, we're gonna just start going. You're not gonna be able to breathe very soon, so you need to get the <laughs> All the air is sucked out of your oh, lungs when the oh! water is around. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, that's The didn't... skeleton ended up getting you. Damn. Eugenia, shout out. 
Respect. <laughs> it's time to get ripped, Eugene Akone. And that that didn't change. Um, <laughs> when I say I, I knew that nothing, get around I had no idea anything sexual happened. Um, I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea. Um, so someone mentioned about me. Um, you know the the but the um, some there was some screenshot that some that in Katie's uh, post in her second post um, regarding ages, and uh, I wasn't really concerned with anybody's ages because nothing in my from my perspective nothing was happening at all it was we were everyone was just you know playing games and having fun um and uh just to give give some insight into drinking because people were mentioned underage By the way, drinking. does that not sound uh, horrible like is that not the worst way to word that guys i wasn't concerned with age everyone was having fun at all. Well, I mean, all, everyone with... I, I am being. A they dick, seem to. They seem. Like, they seem like, mature I, for their how, age. How are the kids? Yeah, but that's what it sounds like. The kid. How, how are the Minecraft kids going to interpret that? Like what? What? I, what Tom just said, or what Chud's thinking? Katie knew what the fucking unit circle was in pre-calc. Like she was fucking out there. <laughs> dude, like, she's she a genius, was... dude. Well, she well, knew. She, she, she knew advanced trick. Her mom said she was very smart for her age. She had a TI-84 that you can graph on and you can store fucking Doom on it. She so was she able to put. Fucking... She was able to install Super Mario Brothers on her TI-84. <laughs> so she and she she did it herself. So clearly, just like we were all having fun. I think you should say these girls showed up drunk to my apartment. So I think it's retarded that you think that I should ID them and expect to, or, or expect them to be anywhere below the age of twenty-one. Um, yeah, but well, the thing is though is um. You know, it's the Minecraft tax, isn't it? But that you yeah. did, you came up with that, Nicholas, right? That's Minecraft a banging tax. Term. Thank you. Uh, fucking spot on. Exactly right for what this is. Is it worth it though, with all this shit you gotta do? Uh, if you can get out without being deemed a rapist or a pedophile, you're probably set for life after three years of employment. So well, that's yeah, impossible. I mean, it, I, everything's that, rape. Yeah, it's all rape. I mean, now. the question the question is like, is twenty million dollars worth it? I mean, maybe. Maybe. What is this forbidden Chud stream that Queeman is doing? Is he doing a stream on Chud right now? Based. That would be crazy. I think I'm freezing oh, right, right now. I'm trying to unpause, but I'm literally freezing. I'm stuck in the snow. I think, um, I, th I think I've think i always wondered, like, how real are these guys compared to their public persona? Oh, these because... guys all talk about privately, like, yo, I can fuck every single girl in my DMs, dude. They were yeah. Well, like, the thing oh, is, there's, yeah. there's definitely, like, a very, um... There's a very like pub interesting public image they cultivate of like family friends. You know what they are? And it's kind they're of red it's, it's what you have to do to get as big as they are. They're red right? blocked. It's what you have to do. They're the closest thing to a red pillar that a nerd can be. They're red blocked. They're like Well Minecraft speaking of Cleveland, he always says about these Minecraft is you've got to be like a sexless eunuch. And that's yeah. the only way that you can survive. Yep. Like, no sexualization ever, or you're fucked. Yeah, like Dream was literally like people were like calling him out saying he was like thirst trapping. Sorry, thirst trapping. Because he was posting yeah. pictures of himself just like sitting on a couch, people were like, "That's yeah, thirst crazy. trapping." His fucking chin is out. It's like his chin is always out. He can he can't put it away. Like he's been mewing <laughs> since day one. Like he's, he's, he, he can't put it mean? away. I don't. I, I feel like I shouldn't ask. What is okay. mewing? Uh, the fact mewing is mainstream is so funny because mewing is something that me and like Bedhead Bernie were talking about in like 2016. It's like an incel thing where they believe that if you press your tongue to the roof of your mouth enough and like jet out your jaw, you can strengthen your jawline which will then make you like in the optimal position to get pussy because women only like you if you have like predator eyes, uh, strong jawline, 6'4", or whatever. So well, they, they like say, when they, they when say you, you, need, you need to mute. They, girls do like when you go gorilla mode on phonum grave. They do like that. Um, <laughs> People so, yeah. in chat are saying it works, dude. A lot of my chatters know that going gorilla mode works. Several chatters have experienced uh, turkey mode. Turkey mode? What is that? It's when you use the gobbler. Oh, dude, that's crazy. All right, let's keep going. Anybody's ages, because nothing in my, from my perspective, nothing was happening at all. It was we were all, everyone was just you know playing games and having fun, um, and uh, just to give give some insight into drinking, because people were mentioned underage drinking. Uh, they were there. Almost everyone that was there was twenty one or older. Um, obviously, Katie Ghosty was nearly twenty one, and Katie was. Um, you know, not obviously, um, but uh, but just to give uh, insight into that, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what the morally correct thing is to do with you know alcohol in terms of uh, everybody. Obviously, I, I think at conventions it's pretty commonplace for people that you know creators that are eighteen, nineteen, twenty, whatever age to drink. I guess um, I've never. Okay, so. Here's where we play. He's the really game not of, helping himself out. Here's here. the thing. But here's the thing. He's right. 
He's 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 right, but people aren't ready to hear that. Especially the like five year olds in his Sean, audience. How many minors you don't drink did until you you're drink with at, at TwitchCon? Uh, none whatsoever. No one under the age of twenty one. You, you weren't in the room with them drinking at all. Under twenty one, no, not at all. Is that just a VidCon thing? Well, the thing is, the thing is, if he was in fucking England, aren't they all like fucking fourteen? No, when they he drink? went to. Remember when he got like harassed in, by a guy Diego. on the street when he was IRL streaming? You don't remember the clip? I remember the clip. Well, what I will what I will say is that uh, before I was twenty one, unrelated to YouTube stuff, I wasn't drinking at all. I never touched a drop of alcohol. I didn't even know what alcohol yeah, Tom was. Tom got until drunk I literally at one of the fucking parties I was at, or whatever. Not even parties. Yeah. We were just at like the fucking hotel. We were in in, in 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 like fucking my Airbnb. I was drinking. Oh, we With almost got of... you thrown out of your Airbnb because you invited us. I invited us over to drink. Yeah, because I had it. Yeah, true. But also, <laughs> at a, at a, at another another time, I was at someone's Airbnb, and uh, people got very mad at me because apparently there was a no parties rule or something, and I was staying with a bunch of people who were like introverted and didn't like partying. So when they were gone, I immediately invited fifty people over, and we were all drinking when I was like nineteen. And apparently, that was like that was like that's like the biggest thing in the world to these people. When like obviously, people who are not twenty one have means of securing alcohol and drinking, and they and they want to do it. Like I'm not I'm not saying that like you should be explicitly inviting 18 year olds. Hey man, if you're 18, I'll give you alcohol, but like it just kind of happens. Well, the other thing, like there is stuff that I would definitely disavow that happens at VidCon, and the one that everyone knows about that I'll use in this example was um Aiden t likes to tell the story. I think it was 2 years before I went. So it was this VidCon 20 19 or okay, Aiden, in fairness, Aiden Aiden is was 6 feet tall when he was 12. Yeah, but somebody he just cast walks into Aiden parties. When he was fucking they like didn't 15. Know. They, they, they probably didn't know. Well, they probably didn't know, or they were high or drunk or something. But yeah, I mean, that definitely did happen. They passed Aiden a blunt when he was 15 years old. I mean, that's I mean that's that's probably bad, but like, I don't know. Actually, there's a famous I mean, picture of Pyro Cynical kissing Hyojin, and you can see Aiden, with like, Aiden stalker in the background. posting in the background. Have you ever seen that picture? That, was, that, that picture is so fun. That was like years it's ago. It's just six Aiden foot like Aiden staring them down as they kiss in public. He literally looks like he's about to go gorilla. He looks like <laughs> <laughs> he's stalking them like a silverback at the fucking zoo. <laughs> he's stalking his prey because Pyrocynical is like is like is like the the beta in the gorilla hierarchy, and Aiden is like the fucking alpha silverback. He's gonna steal her. Yeah, he screams gorilla mode and just. Comes... You good, buddy? I fucking fell. Oh, you're. Oh, where are you? I don't know, but I think the warden's here. Oh no! Did you see my diamond? Tell him I said hi. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Seen or been around anyone at a party that has gone up to a you know seventeen year old or not seventeen, an eighteen year old or nineteen year old or oh, anybody and God. been like, hey, put that on. Come on, bro! Did you hear the Freudian slip right there? That's like, dude, why didn't you script this? Um, I've never seen or been around anyone at a party that has gone up to a you know 17 year old or not 17 an 18 year old or 19 year old <laughs> or anybody and been like hey put that alcohol down um wait you shouldn't you shouldn't be drinking so when he says he's never seen anyone walk up to an 18 or 19 year old and say hey you shouldn't be drinking but then he goes oh wait not a 17 year old is that unchar uncharitably my question would be does that mean he has seen like that happen with with 17 year olds like is that what he's saying that's a good question no, it's not. That was a horrible question. That's stupid as fuck. But thank you for humoring me. Especially not if good. they're you know, already drunk or they're just around twenty of the other of their friends. Um. So I didn't. I just genuinely. I don't know if that's incorrect of me or that's something that uh, if that's something that I need to, in the future, be um, you know more uh, cautious of. Because uh, it's not something that I was thinking about. I wasn't thinking at all about oh this you know this person is twenty years old and they're drinking alcohol. They shouldn't they shouldn't be doing that. I I didn't have that perspective. That um, I perspective. understand some people do. And the word perspective um, is so I'm awesome. They love to use words like perspective, accountability. Not thinking about that. Uh, I from my perspective of that night, um, you know, I wasn't trying to you know hook up with anybody i wasn't trying to talk to anybody in any way other than you know, why friendly. even okay why even um, say things like that why even say hook they, up with anybody there was never even an allegation that dream was fucking someone there 
So what? Why? Why is it's because he didn't know the like... night had a sexual connotation. He didn't know that anyone was preying on these young impressionable eighteen year olds. He these just young, thought they were playing adults. games together and having fun. You know, <laughs> he didn't know that someone had sinister ideas about how they would how they would so, mutilate. An, uh, uh, what? I'm sorry. Is, I was, I was going to say, so, so this sounds like a pure 100% self-preservation move from Dream, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Yes. That's what this is. How I think, I think honestly, what may have happened is, like, he may have had a conversation with George where George was like, look, look, mate, I'm getting in a lot of controversy right now. I wouldn't want it to hurt your career. Maybe you should make a statement and throw me under, throw me under the bus, you know, that kind of meme. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going. Obviously, you have never claimed anything otherwise, um, and they were drunk, you know, before they came. So I, I didn't have any problem with anybody drinking. I didn't try and intervene in anything whatsoever. And and from my perspective, uh, I had no no problem with anybody at all. Um, that's good to know. So I wasn't worried. I wasn't just. That's just to give perspective on the fact that I wasn't worried about people's ages because I wasn't. I wasn't thinking about anything other than we're having fun. It's VidCon. We're just all. Yeah, everyone's drinking, everyone's just having fun and playing playing games, and that's now, it. Now, of course, this is in stark contrast to how Bo Black's approaches VidCon. Okay, when he's at VidCon, he's trying to sling pussy in any direction. Okay, that's how he's that's how he's thinking. That's all. The that Bo Black, the Bo Black's allegations are crazy. Dude, do you remember when Bo Black's whipped out his toes? Unfortunately, I remember the smell because he's constantly whipping out his toes anywhere he gets. That he thinks he's is like he's is like, like Toph from fucking, Avatar: The Last Airbender. He can only see where he's, he's always going to take him out. <laughs> yeah, he he can only feel comfortable when his fucking toes are out for everyone to smell. <laughs> this is a true allegation. Um, okay, I have smelled Bobax's feet. Oh my god! My <laughs> really? Jesus Christ, man! What? Bobax literally went gorilla gather. mode with the feet. <laughs> I chill with the fucking. Oh God! Stop. Gather my gorillas are, always have their he's feet out. Um, you notice? gather gather my my thoughts um uh later on whenever uh um you know after that night um i stayed in contact with uh katie and ghosty and bro um, isn't it funny uh, that the guy's I, I name is ghosty thought they were really cool people i thought that they were fun to fun to what hang mean, out with like ghosty like a, I, probably... I thought ghosty was a was a woman um well yeah but the person's name is ghosty and ghosty just happens to also be the name of the person from the commentary community i say that very loosely by the way who lied about his dead mother oh, i forgot about ghosty yeah he I lied even saying his mother died for sympathy and then had to concede Based. that his mother was in fact still alive that was one of was the cool. craziest uh, i prefer to say you got cancer personally i think that's a better life for sympathy <laughs> Yeah, I mean, then you like you, you can elicit oh, donations. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, <clears throat> hang out in the future, um, you know, as friends, obviously, and um, uh, you know, none, none of those conversations were, you know, with George or in, or anything involving George. And again, I'm not here to speak about George or for George. This is completely independent of that. This is just purely um, for perspective. Um. Uh, I had I had no idea. Again, I just I'm gonna be repeating myself a lot, but I had absolutely no idea of any uncomfortable getting sugar coated until well. many months later. Um, and even then, uh, what had happened was Harry That's made. That's the other thing. You know, uh, I didn't know that there was any allegation until many months later. Did like, did George just find out that he like fucking uh, allegedly sexually ass assaulted somebody yesterday? Like, did he just? Are we supposed to believe he just figured it out? The thing he said in his video was that he had never heard there was anything uncomfortable until he saw Katie's stream, and then he watched it, and he was like, oh, what's this about? Who's this about? But then about? why did and Dream say until many months him. later just now? Did Dream not inform him that some maybe, people were feeling uncomfortable? Uh, maybe when he said many months later, they mean like <gasps> oh. like yesterday. Oh, boy. Um, maybe they literally I, mean I, yesterday. I mean, the other thing I think we've not really got to is, is Katie's response. Was there something in Katie's response that triggered Dream to say this, except for the 21-year-old wristband thing? Yeah, we should... Re we should it's, it, well, Katie's response had the... Uh, she was saying she never had a wristband. It was someone else that they confused as her. Yeah, right? the wristband mm -hmm. thing was a fuck-up. They shouldn't have mentioned the wristband. Yeah, yeah. But I feel, but I feel, I feel like they should. he should have just left that out entirely because it doesn't really matter because she was 18. 
Yeah, well, well, no, it, it no, 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 it but it does matter. matter. To us, if it, but, to them, but to them, it matters. No, I, it matters to me. If I found out that she was going around to 21 plus parties all weekend, and now we're supposed to just like, oh, no, I wasn't 21. Right. How could he have known? Well, if she was lying about her I age agree, all but I, weekend I, I, long, then the fucking, like, at, w at what point would I be like, oh, okay, I don't really care about this anymore. I agree, but I feel like they had the slam dunk anyway with the, the fact that she was cuddling with him all night, which she never said in the fucking initial statement she made. He never said they were cuddling. Yeah. Uh, All right, let's keep going. Average, this is something that people know about, but Average Harry made a tweet in my replies uh, saying, I don't have it, so, but saying something along the lines of that, you know, I, I implying that I, I somehow miss, misused like alcohol and an 18 year old, invited, a, there's something like I invited an 18 year old to my hotel room to drink. Um, at the time, that was about Katie. And of course, when it first was tweeted, I was like, what, what is happening? What is this, you know, of course, what is this about? Um, but then I thought about it and I, I, you know, I, I realized, oh, wait, this is probably about Katie. And I was like, wow, it's, it's nothing like that. I, that implication is terrible. I, I didn't, I didn't, you know, really invite her. She was like a plus one for one of my friends. Um, uh, you know, plus one and, and, uh, you know, I, it was not, I was like, it wasn't, I don't think they would think that it's, you know, nefarious at all. Right. And so I, um, I reached out. To when that happened, I reached out to like everyone, and um, I was again at that point. I was at I had no impression whatsoever of any any sexual thing happening, anything, any problem, anyone having any anything, nothing. I had no no idea. I thought that uh, he was implying that I did something wrong with um, with Katie, and so I I messaged um, Katie, I messaged Ghosty, I messaged uh, everyone else that was there, um, pretty much, and was like what is happening what is this you know what is this about essentially um and uh i tied someone died by a waterfall i found a bunch with, of stuff um, um katie is are you in okay. the floor yeah i can well no 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 uh somewhere else like just away from all the shit oh oh fuck oh fuck 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 as well no, and no, 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 no. other people and um uh essentially my perspective what my, my thought process was you know this guy hates me or this they're, they're you know the uk people in the uk or, or that's the, you know, that's this the, creator actually the funniest. And it was, i was gonna say it's the worst part but it's really it's really the funniest where after talking so much shit about the uk people in this confession he has to concede all the yardage he just tried to get yesterday and he's like well yes. you know i just uh i mean the uk people i mean they were riding me for a while but i guess um i guess their feelings were valid um <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. He tried to make like a power play against them. Like they, I'm telling you, Rape of Thrones made some power play. It didn't pan out for some reason, and now he's got to be like a fucking tail between his legs. I mean, Send the thing is, like, I, I, think it, I think if they had stuck it out, if they had stuck it out, I think it would have played out like pretty decently. Like if they had just stuck the with with their woman. story, which was which was the true story. I think it would have been fine. For some reason, though, they decided to cower, and I don't know why. Like, I still don't understand this. <laughs> Like yeah, they were okay from George's too. response. I think anybody who's reasonable and is not in the fucking cancer Minecraft community would have assumed yeah. like nothing bad happened. The, the tide was turning. Even people from within the Minecraft community were coming more on George's side, and you know, yeah, like stand the, the, accounts, the, the, stand accounts. Yeah, were like, yeah, Why yeah. Was Katie there. I mean, this, yeah. the whole subreddit yeah. dream was taken too. It was pro. I mean, they're still kind of pro George. They've flipped a lot ever since Twitter started being nicer again a little bit. But I mean, I I'm I'm not pro George. I, fuck George, dude. That guy sucks. He's, he's such a spineless I mean, he sucks. He freak. sucks. He sucks. He sucks yeah. now. But I, I didn't think he sucked. I thought he was fine. I think he needs to go down. I don't care, dude. I think. I, I tell you what, you guys would be lawyers in the fucking Jim Crow era, selling blacks down the river, right? Because you wouldn't stand to your principles of defending someone when they think they're guilty, even though they're not. No, it's not even fuck. that they think they're guilty. I'm disgusted that they would even fucking concede. Like, I don't think he thinks he's guilty. I think he's trying to. I think he's submitting to the mob. Okay. I, no, I, clear, if clearly. If you want, if you want to bring happening. it into yeah. that, all right. I think he's doing the jogger thing that <laughs> Destiny and Vosh were debating on. And when Vosh said submit to the mob, I think George was listening, and he just did it. Because the because the irrational position is the one that is the one that came after. The irrational one was on George's stream where he laid it all out. The irrational one is now that I've seen Katie's perspective, it's all changed. Katie's perspective. Like she had to backtrack. She had to reveal the yeah. fact that she lied by omission about the cuddling thing, which is a game changer. Like the initial story she told was she was just sitting on the couch playing games on her phone and he starts touching her. So she starts trying to distract herself with being on her phone. And he keeps going. He puts his hand up her shirt. And then it turned out she was cuddling with him for a fucking hour, nope, which nope, changes nope, li nope, literally nope, everything. Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> no, no, absolutely. 
Correct. I mean, it was like completely absurd, like the amount she had to walk back on. She had to like almost completely change her story to, well, no, actually, I, I, I was there, but I didn't want to get up because I was worried I might get raped, more or less, right? Like, it's absurd. Yeah. Everything, everything around her story had to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would have been, like, literally all the people they hate probably would have been destroyed within a matter of a week if they had just stuck it out and stuck with their story, which was true. Their story was fucking real. It was valid. They had fucking screenshots for it. Katie had to admit to it. She had to kowtow. And so, like, literally all, all they could have done is stuck it out, and people would have quickly realized how retarded these people were, but instead they decided to bow down. Bro, everything because, changed when the child nation I don't know. attacked. Literally, dude. <laughs> I think they all got vaccinated last night, and just everything fell apart. They got. They took the vaccination. That was a deep reference. You, 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 you can't help these people. Like it's literally no, over. I don't I want agree. to. It's not that I can't. I don't want to help these people. I, I, no I wanted to. I, I wanted, wanted to a little to. bit. Yeah. When I read Wilbur's first statement, when he was like conceding and then also denying, I was like, all right, there's no way I can help that guy. And then I saw George. And I'm like, I guess we. Could... Oh my god, what the fuck? What did I just step on? Okay. Uh, when I saw George, I'm like, I guess we could try to like work this one. This one looks. This seems pretty like doable. And then I'm reading this shit, and I'm like, okay, okay. And then he puts out a statement. It's like, okay, that guy's not salvageable anymore. There's nothing I can do to help them. No. They gave it. Yeah, you, you, you can only stand up for someone else so much. Like People have to stand up for themselves in these yeah, situations. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still fighting, fighting this argument because I'm defending my arguments I've made in the last 48 hours. All right? Because like that's yeah. where I'm standing. It's not about them me. anymore. It's not about no, them exactly. at all, no. You read what you, you, you have, so. You, you have a principle of what you believe about evidence, etc. But if someone's not going to stand up for themselves, there comes a point where it's like, well, I can't fucking hold you up. Like, good luck to you. No, like, fuck. I think, I think honestly, I think they realize that admitting it or like bowing down would make it go away faster, and that was it. And because they just want to move on with their shit, you know. There's a spider. They just want to move there. on with their career. Yeah, and 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 also that plays well. Oh, I'm taking accountability, guys. Right, that's what they like to hear. It's like, fucking... but the thing they think you're taking accountability for is fucking sexual assault. If you found out your friend was sexually assaulting girls all the time, you wouldn't want to be friends with that guy anymore, right? Sure. Like, obviously. You wouldn't want to do content with him. You wouldn't want to be That's around him. That's why Augie's not around anymore. Okay, <laughs> dude. Base. But, 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 but getting but, sexually assaulted, it's Augie. <laughs> yeah, true. Fucking Bolak's going to keep his feet away from him. It's horrible. Or gorilla feet. mode. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> gorilla going. after hours. Still, um... You know, like the grooming allegations that were the, the that were going on at the time, and so my perspective: oh, these these people don't like me because of this, and therefore uh, he's you know making Wait, trying to make something. Can somebody send me that. Tweet me. that at me. One of the Twitter freaks are asking their followers to brig brigade community notes for pointing out an eighteen-year-old grooming an eighteen-year-old oh, is nonsensical. Boy. Please, can you find that tweet? I want to harass. I mean, uh, I want to be a uh, very. Yo. Uh, I want to be. Um, Want to go gorilla mode on them? Yeah. <laughs> um, Hang out with friends. Moon, Moonzy cat. You're talking about the Moonzy cat allegation. Is that what you want? Yeah. I think yeah, so. yeah. That girl is okay. crazy. The girl's nuts. Yeah. Friends I've not read it in detail. Like something. Wait, people are spamming the gorilla emoji and the number three, like in unison. Does that mean anything to you? That means so the number me. three is you. You ask people not to say three, to say three if you didn't think it was assault, right? Ah, uh, yeah, that's the only no, thing. Can, can we no, get no, no. three gorilla emojis in a row, guys, please? <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry to break it to you, but this is the kick drama. Basically, some of the kick streamers are saying, put three in chat if you want to rape the woman on screen. They're oh! Okay, thank okay. you, Flamenco. Thank you, Flamenco, okay? <laughs> thank you, Flamenco. I didn't, dude, I didn't understand bullshit? that. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was the dude, joke! The that was the joke, Sean! Yeah, but obviously didn't... Tom didn't understand that, you fucking moron. Did Tom... Wait, you didn't know Tom? No! Oh shit! Okay, never mind. You're good. You're good. I thought. John Wait, was so going. gorilla mode is an actual fucking thing? No, I'm the not gorillas the were not associated. You added but the, the three. The three. Check your mentions. I'm now getting like seven gorillas in chat. What happens to you if you if you get gorilla moded to to level seven? Like if you're level seven gorilla, Ooh. and oh, you fucking boy. get your claws in someone, what happens? <laughs> Told to shreds. Let's put it that way. You don't want to know. Blown out pussy disorder. <laughs> Yeah, drop lasagna. Yep. Dude. Lasagna? Dude. How will lasagna? this affect Tipster's legacy? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right, no more flamenco references, no more Tipster references from you, please. <laughs> yeah. Nicholas, okay, I'm sick of it. So then I'm, operate, I'm operating under that assumption. I'm reaching out to people to talk about it. Um, and uh, uh, at the time, Katie's reply to me, I, I, I found odd. 
Um, and I mentioned that to Ghosty and also to another person that was there. Um, uh, I, I told them, I said, Oh, her reply to me is kind of odd. She, you know, she didn't, she didn't, she implied that what he was saying wasn't true, but also didn't like, didn't say, Hey, you did nothing wrong or didn't, you know, didn't like, wasn't being super overly friendly when this happened. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, everyone that I talked to at the time speculated that that was because the, the group doesn't particularly like me. Um, that was not, it wasn't necessarily, um, uh, uh, there, there was no, no implication of any sexual wrongdoing. There was no implication of George having done anything. There was no nothing at all. And um, obviously, in hindsight now, you know, knowing what I know, um, I'm under the assumption now that that was because people didn't want to share her feelings, and she wasn't ready yet to share her feelings. Um, Which means, and but I, 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 just, I she wasn't convinced yet that she was abused. Yeah, uh, it's a such yeah. cope, man. The messages at the time where she was like, oh, yeah, it was a bit whatever. You know, it was clear she wasn't that fucking bothered about it, right? And this fucking Amesy freak, I'm sure of it, fucking yas, yas lighted her into making these. Dude, she got you're, 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 into you're really on the, uh, the, the, you're really on the TAD shit. You hate Amesy, huh? Well, why I mean, wouldn't Amesy's I? Good. Well, she's, the thing is, I, just, I, I don't know that she's the one. Um. Okay. I think I think she's a linchpin, but I think there's others. Oh, as what? Well. I think. Bro, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on now. I don't even fucking mean it like that, dude. <laughs> I think that like there's she's, a sort, she's sort of a baby silverback. <laughs> Bro, what does that? The fuck does that mean? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chad. Please continue your point. <laughs> No, no, it's for, it's for, you know, she, she is the linchpin because she is the one at the center <laughs> of it amongst all of those fucking creators, you know, and, and she was talking, bear in mind, I'm pretty sure that's just between her and Katie before, where Katie was going like, oh, it was a bit weird or something like that, right? So I can only imagine what happened from there. And I guarantee that she was putting the fucking, you know, the sh whispering in her ear how bad it was and shit like that. Obviously, I can't prove it, but I think that's what happened. I mean, have you seen her? She jumps on every fucking allegation. Like, she is the one. And every post, you know, She's validating it. Yeah, she right? is him. It's crazy. Yes. I agree. Yeah, and she's agree. ugly, too. She's sort of the reverse Gishlane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. She's yeah. always there. Dude. <laughs> Time, I had no... She's trying to take over the seas, the Terramar project. No idea at all. I had no implication of that at all. And so I was under the impression, oh, well, oh, she's responded. She responded weirdly to me about this. Oh, it's, she's probably feeling pressure to, you know, from her friends that don't like me um, uh, to not talk to me, essentially, is what I was thinking. And I shared that thought with Ghosty. I said, I said to Ghosty, I said, oh, it's, you know, I, I don't know why she responded. It's probably because that. And Ghosty was like, yeah, you know, Ghosty, uh, of course, you know, nothing, uh, you know, Ghosty said then matters to how she feels, how she, how she thinks or feels now and doesn't impact you know, Katie's experience whatsoever. That's not, I'm only, again, everything I'm saying is for pure perspective. That's it. It's from my perspective as a human being and as a person um, to bring understanding to, this, how to bring understanding. Yeah, how brave could one man I hate the phrasing around this shit. To bring understanding, perspective, That's how you know he's talking in like Minecraft politics. That's how you know he's talking to children. Wait. Bazinga. Situation. Um, so when that happened, of course, I reached out to everybody and I, I was trying to figure out what, you know, what exactly was, was going on. Um, and this was the first time ever that there was any mention of any problem. Someone just said this in the chat, but could you imagine the games they were playing was John Swan's fully finished Minecraft sex mod and they were all just sitting around playing the Minecraft sex mod with each other. If you guys are wondering where John went, that's where he is. He got hired by the dream team. He lives at the house now with fucking working puns. For Microsoft. To make the Minecraft sex mod from Dream's basement, that was his podcast. Base, game. dude, and uh, reward uh, that that I that I knew of whatsoever from my perspective. Um, and uh, when uh, talking to somebody that was there, uh, this was the first time ever that somebody mentioned ages. Um, and they mentioned that um, they said, "Oh, well, I, I'm not sure what any of this is about, but maybe Harry's saying that because um, you know George is, uh, you know George is 20." 26 or whatever and katie's 18 okay katie was 18 um and i was like whoa like what 
I replied, and I was like, what did, but nothing, like, nothing happened, right? Like, nothing, there was nothing that happened. And, of course, they replied, and were like, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know what, they would probably just, you know, uh, whatever. And, of course, still at that point, uh, there was no, there was no mention of, like, sexual assault. There was no mention of any uncomfortability, any, any, anything at all. And just to be clear, um, there still uh, has been no mention of sexual assault to be seen at all, like for this entire situation. No, there's no, no, there's no sexual assault that's happened. What's been mentioned is like an, not even awkward at the time, something that retrospectively was somewhat awkward. That is clearly not sexual assault. Clearly Wait, do you not. think that the who's that person that you keep saying you think is the kingpin? Amesy. Ames do you know if Amesy was there? No, it, she well, was not. Ames, well, no, she wasn't in the room, but um, Amesy mentioned. That Katie passed her in the lobby, and Amesy is now saying that she was a bit worried about her because she was drunk. So she claims now. So, like, is Amesy by any chance any? I'm trying to find out because I don't know who this is, and I feel like this is the main thing that we need to be figuring out: is who the fuck is the person that was supplying this girl alcohol all weekend, getting her fucking drunk, sending her off to like famous YouTubers' hotel rooms and leaving her there until the wee hour is like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning the next day. Because I want to know, because those people are probably the ones I would like to ask questions to. Maybe if, if those are names we questions. those are names we'll never get now. We are we only not allowed those... to know who the fuck is like we, we, deploying this the, we, minor into like famous YouTube hotel rooms. The only way we would have gotten those names is if the allegations had panned out differently. Like if, if George stuck to his story. Then the question would have been that, and then maybe eventually one of Katie's friends would have buckled and would have told the story. Now we're never getting it. Yeah, because I mean that's the big one, right? Like it's one thing to like, I mean you're you hear stories like this all the time, like oh I went out with my friend and then she ran off with a guy or something and fucking left me there or whatever and I didn't know any of these people. But like this is an 18 year old girl, right? If they're gonna weaponize it, I'll weaponize it back. There's an 18 year old girl who's in a strange place. She doesn't know. She's in Anaheim, California. Okay, Chud Logic almost got beaten on the streets because he was IRL streaming, and someone started. To I mean, it's a dangerous fucking neighborhood. Okay, Disneyland's over there, and you know, like only the hardest gangsters go to. Yeah, dude, Disneyland is in that area. There's, let's just say there's a lot of crack addicts racing on display. Well, that's Lots the thing. Crack addicts I mean, it's about. fucking LA, bro. There's a fucking homeless guy on every corner. It's the only place like New York that it made me feel like home. You know. It made me feel it's like crawling with silverbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the oh, fucking oh, Anaheim Zoo is crazy. Oh. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> um, oh, well, sorry, just to say as well, you're talking about getting accosted. Every single person that accosted me in LA was a certain race. But, you know, I don't want to dwell on it too much, but that is just factual. I'm just speaking facts right now. Yeah, we really it was do. white. We do the white race. We have the Aryan race. Uh, we have to start talking uh, about those damn those Sicilians. It was the Aryan race. It was the Sicilians <laughs> specifically. Um, let's keep going. These fucking Maltesians are disgusting uh, to me, or or that I that I knew of remotely at all. Um, and so, from my perspective, this was a still a a matter of at, up until that first comment of anything, I was under the impression that way, I was being accused of something by someone. Like, oh, Nick's hanging out with all these racist people. I'm, I'm going to say I'm horrified. I, I, I have literally I, not made a when, single when comment Chud about Logic race. made a would have made a race comment. I froze and I didn't know what to do in that moment in time. Dude, I'm turning it down for your streams now. Like, come on. And that's why. That's that's why you got up and went back to cuddling him, Nick. Right? Yeah, that's I got I got up and then I went back and started cuddling <laughs> Chud Logic again. You went back to cuddling Chud Logic. I didn't want him. I didn't oh, want him, No, I didn't want him to feel embarrassed or insufficient next to Tom. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> while, while he fucking, okay, while he played fucking, well, he's Angry playing Gorillas games on his phone because he can't play on his fucking PC. He was playing a version of Angry Birds, but you, it's all you got fucking... Minecraft on your phone. You got games on your phone. Oh, it's like dude, Angry she was Birds, trying to beat the Ender Dragon. Women. I don't know. What, dude, that something? dude, he was. She was trying to beat the Ender Dragon, and then the fucking dude, George, George not found she's... Minecraft YouTuber just started patting her on the tummy. George not found she's an eighteen year old. He says, "Can I pet that dog?" Dude, I'm freshly 27, guys. This is super fucked up. All right, let's keep let's keep going. Understand what was going on, of course. In at me talking. Oh, to I'm sorry. One more um, thing. Do you know this bitch's birthday is in January? Yeah, yeah. And this was in mid. So she was. Year, so, right? so she was 18 and a half. Yeah, freshly 18. <laughs> Bitch was fucking 18 for six months. That's just another part of the story that blows my fucking mind. That's just called being 18. Yeah. Yeah.
It's literally. At what, yeah. at, 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 at what point are you like ripely eighteen? Like, at what point have you fully matured and like been seasoned by the fucking weather? Is it like eighteen and nine months is when you're ripe? Like, how does it work? Dude, ripe. What, Anytime what anyone ever are? says end a half, it's usually for a, 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 like a bad reason. Dude, yeah. end a half. Like, are we in the fourth grade? Like, I'm nine. Exactly. And a half. That's what kids talk about their age. But yeah. that's what they're trying to do. Obviously, I mean, it's obvious to say, but they're, they're trying to invoke childhood, right? It's very clear. That's the whole point of this whole fucking yeah. discussion. When it's not relevant. And, uh, of course, again, like I said, it was speculated. Oh, well, I think this is because of the fact that they don't like you because of the, you know, the fucking allegations. Right allegations. Of, uh, the, other, the other stuff that was <laughs> going on. Um, now, I will say uh, that I think that um, my perspective due to... Uh, my experience with my video and and um before my video my experience with um you know false allegations being wait hold on me can we do that i uh, need to do something quickly chat if someone can help me with this that would be so awesome because i don't want to try to figure it out midstream um can somebody transcribe katie's statement please i don't know if you have like an application that can scrape someone has off. transcribed it on twitter or someone can find someone it, it please transcribe it into text for me because i ain't reading all that i'm gonna make tipster do it okay let's keep going i i was inclined to just assume with pretty much everybody and i've assumed that with a lot of like friendships that i lost or with a lot of people that i don't talk to anymore or people that just don't like me i've just kind of blanketly made the assumption that that person oh they don't talk to me because i have you know, there, there's these allegations. That's why. Um, so when the whole, you know, UK group started being extra, you know, mean online and saying, and saying, criticizing way, stuff and saying, all and about being, the, I didn't saying, realize how much of this was about the UK group. It's really playing in the show. Who, who specifically is yes. the UK group? Like, obviously, right. Ames is one of them, but like, like he's Tommy addressing the like, part that people understand the least. I don't even know. I have no idea. Wilbur? Is Wilbur one of them? Why not anymore? I think I think Wilbur, Wilbur wasn't really in one. the community. Well, he no, wasn't really he doing Minecraft. Associated... He was doing music. Well, no, but he was came from that community, right? So attacking Wilbur was an attack on them, right? In some way, I think. I guess so. But in fairness, don't they want Wilbur gone because they think he's like a raper? Well, well, yeah, at that point they did, but that's why Dream attacked him so hard because he knew that he couldn't be criticized for making that attack when it was a very craven political move from him. I think. Dude, Wilbur was out here being like. Fucking crazy. Make him suck your dick the first date. You scared to bite a bitch? Well, I can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> scared to go silverback on a bitch? Oh my that god. That bitch was ripe. <laughs> she was ripely 18. <laughs> and he was craving oh, to silverbackily ripe her in the in the fucking Minecraft. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I just got a deep. Oh, oh okay. I saw a comment cop DM me and I thought I did something gravely wrong on stream. All right, let's keep going. <sighs> things about me being evil or saying things about, you know, whatever online. Of course, I'm, I'm just going to assume that's what that's, that's what that, that's about. Um, I had no, I, I wasn't, I had no idea at all that this was even a possibility. Um, and even when I went and, you know, talked to everybody uh, that was there, um, no one said anything. No, no one said anything at all. And that's, that's completely understandable. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, Again, this is just to share my perspective. I'm not saying that, oh, they, they should have. That's not what I'm saying. Um, I'm just saying that I I had no idea. I had no idea. And even when I made an effort to try and figure out what was going on, I still had no idea. Um, so anyway, from, from that point on, of course, uh, we're under that, um, that assumption. Uh, move forward, of course. And then, um, you know, later on, uh, this this happened. Um, of course, when I saw Katie's uh, original um, post and her original stream that she did, um, I was shocked. I was incredibly shocked. I was confused. Um, uh, my, you know, I was I was sad. Genuinely, I, I I I didn't know like what to think. I didn't know what to do. Um, and of course. Uh, I, I watched it multiple times. I and then I went and talked to George about it and was, um, you know, talking about, <clears throat> uh, you know, many of the things that happened. Going through, I went through every text message that I sent about. He sounds very event. nervous. I went through every 
conversation Whoa. that I had ever had about everything. Tom, um, can you to teleport and, us back to where we're you know, supposed to be? Understand what? Uh, Only if Smaggles, Smaggle, are you in the house? Uh, under, give, Smaggle, understand. go to the house and then type in chat. I'm sorry, we're good. Uh, that wasn't me pausing. That how was stream not talking? I could have no oh. overlooked something. If that makes any sense at all. Why does he keep saying um, if that makes any sense? Because if that makes uh, any sense, I was just confused. I was what you know what I would never this was this is out of nowhere. This is something that to me came absolutely out of nowhere. Um, and of course, in talking to um, George about it, and again, just to clarify, I'm repeating myself, but I'm not speaking for Stop George. Stop saying I'm that I'm speaking. bad at Minecraft. That just also means I'm not a good groomer. Okay. Base about George, other than this very specific instance, because it's important. The legend um, of the Long Island uh, Silverback. The perspective um, from uh, what George shared in his stream, of course, is from uh, his. It was from his uh, perspective and is very similar to what he, you know, explained to me. Um, and uh, of course, uh, having the perspective that hey, these people, you know, hate me for. But what in my mind is no reason us. and i even when I, I had a conversation with harry whenever that happened and i asked i said i said well what what is there why why do you not like me so much like what what did i what did i do essentially i i literally asked him that um and uh he was he he after i i also after i explained the whole um situation i cleared up the you know katie situation with him this was again a while ago before uh, this new information um and uh and i thought Things back then, I that's all he didn't share anything, he didn't, he didn't say anything that I could, uh, you know, know. Um, and so, first of all, I, I, I guess on, on that point, uh, I want to mention something that um, Katie said in her, her tweet. Uh -oh. Um, and it's that she mentioned near the end of her tweet, she said something along the lines of like, uh, you know, other people have had experiences with them, and she said them, um, and uh, I just want to say that if anyone, anyone whatsoever has had fuck any fuck negative experience, any, any, you know, especially anything remotely like this with, with, with any of, I lost connection. Sorry. Um, <laughs> if anyone has had, dude, he was really building to something there. I just got fucking robbed. You guys want to cut ahead to when he cries? I want to hear the whole thing, okay. honestly. Yeah, yeah. Just keep, you know, keep any, it moving. Any negative experience with any of my friends or you know, any anybody that I know or that I'm friends with or close with or anything, um, if anybody has had any negative experience, please tell me. Please. Please. I will not go straight to them and tell them. I will not. I will. I will first and foremost under, try and understand and try and hear try and hear what you have to say. Fuck. Um, I understand there, there's some people, especially from her friend group and from people, uh, you know, after this point that probably even, you know, at this point will not want to believe or hear anything that I have to say. Um, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not this horrible person that will bite your head off. I, I would love, I would love to talk about anything, anything at all, any under, misunderstanding, any disagreement. If you have anything. any problems, not, DM again, me privately not instead of blowing it up on Twitter. Specifically. This is just in general. Um, because I, I had no idea, and it's horrible of me to think that people thought for, there was a lot of people for almost eight months that were sitting there thinking that, in and, 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 you know, uh, you know being what it sounds like? very hypercritical of me. Someone just brought it up me. in chat of a reference that I made a couple of streams ago for something else. But it literally feels like the fucking chicanery scene from Better Call Saul. It's like, it, like he, it's, he just wants to turn around and start yelling. It's like, it was them! It, it was, was the George. UK YouTubers! It was George! They defecated through a sunroof! Like, just start screaming about how the UK YouTubers are at fault for the It was Amesy, but no, not my Amesy. <laughs> not our Amesy. <laughs> it could never be Amesy. <laughs> Dude, AMZ defecated through a sunroof. That's what happened, dude. That's what happened. Based. Um, without me having any idea what, what, uh, what for, essentially. And I would, I would, I, of course I would have wanted to hear any of this or anything at all at the, the moment. What the fuck? That I, that I could have at all. Um, and I know, and, and that, He's asking uh, for blackmail on his friends. Them, Based. Um, 
It's like, please, please, please. If you have had a negative experience with any of my friends, or if you have had, or if you have some of that, please, please don't, don't let me get blindsided again. I'm, like, it, I have this like, <laughs> I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but it, it is. I'm they, they tweet like I'm this like evil, manipulative mastermind, essentially. And I understand if you have that opinion. I understand that that that's that, that's, <sighs> but I'm a human being. I am a human being that I, I will listen to you. I will talk to you. I don't know where I don't know where I'm I sure this like is going to convince them, dude. I'm sure now they're going to be cool with you. They're totally not going to go right back to fucking shitting down your me. throat. Right, if, right after you just shit on them too. You're like, oh god, I finally have yeah. a way to fuck these people up the way they deserve. And he's like, oh fuck, I was wrong. Okay guys, so if you have any problems with me, I just kind of want to hear it. I'm, I'm a really understanding human guy. This is just my perspective. I'm taking accountability. Fucking dude, just go silverback mode and own these people. Like holy shit. There's, there's literally no reason. There's no reason to bow down to them. They will never like you. You will, no matter how many times you apologize, you will always be waiting with bated breath for the next time they get a chance to cancel you and try to ruin your career. And they will. They will fucking take it. Every time you apologize, you are one step closer to when they get to fucking ruin you. Like, it already is already happening to George or something that isn't sexual assault. The next allegation is going to be Dream consensually kissed a girl and she didn't like it after the fact because his breath Destiny smelled like fucking said. poop because he was busy eating out of the fucking toilet. Destiny so said we're, the next we're allegation getting... is going to be that. We're, we're dangerously close to a situation where someone has consensual sex and regrets it, but says, I'm I'm an 18-year-old. He knew he was It basically already happened, away. dude. This fucking, this fucking meowsy whatever No, but this person didn't person. even have sex. Yeah. Like, there, there's going to be a person who goes live and goes, look, I consented at the time. I really thought I wanted to do it, but he used his power over me and the fact that I was just 18 to sexually abuse me or something like that. The fact that I was that just 23. But that's... But I, I was I, freshly I, 23. Like, I don't think it's a joke. I think it's really going to happen to somebody. Yeah. No, I, it will. In the next week. Yes. I think that's and, really going to And they're going to apologize. Like, I thought the sex was consensual at the same time. I wasn't drinking. I, I literally, uh, he just convinced me that I wanted to fuck him and I did it. And now like I, I regret it or something like that. And they're going to use that. They're going to go, you fucking rape that woman. And it's going to happen. Ginger Coon in chat says, I saw Nick go Italian gorilla mode on 10 pizza pies. I saw him go Italian gorilla mode on an IHOP order from Uber Eats two years ago. And I haven't recovered mentally. So. <laughs> Dude, when Oggy was underage and drunk, when he was like 20 years old at VidCon, he was harassing like an Uber employee. What did he say? He was like, I want my Beaner Blast or whatever from Taco Bell. He was talking about Baja Blast. Yeah. <laughs> I think he just didn't pay them or something. He'll say, I talk. I will message you. I will reply. I will have a conversation openly about anything, anything at all, whatsoever. Um... And it, it 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 hurt it hurts me to even think about the fact that oh uh, chat uh, that's actually why Edwin left not because of any of the other stuff Edwin left the community because of Augie's order that he made his silverback beaner blast <laughs> yeah I made that up by the way he never said that it, you know totally that did. I said uh, that that she was afraid that Katie was afraid to say something um, to me Katie should do a whole documentary on this called mostly clothed and afraid. Um. <laughs> <laughs> fully clothed hardly undressed and afraid <laughs> dude she couldn't wash off the fucking stench of his poopy ass hand or something <laughs> like what was Could on you his imagine, hand that made wait, her imagine if this was all because he didn't shower and he just smelled like shit so she was stunned like she was just so stunned that a person had such lack of hygiene that she was just like she didn't know what the fuck to do we I don't really have, uh, we don't have Whenever Something you, you don't understand is much like Wilbur's suit, all the Minecrafters wipe with their hands. That's oh, the other like thing. A... Yeah. Like a gorilla, they fling shit, they go gorilla mode. Yes. No, I think True. Wilbur's a dog. I think that the girl was like, <laughs> I am the first white woman in history that consensually gets to fuck a dog. But then Wilbur <laughs> bit too hard, and then she tried to take him to the pound. I think that's what happened. That's that's legitimately those allegations. Wilbur bit her too hard, so she tried to get him fucking euthanized. Um, and Wilbur's a dog name. Like my mom had a dog named Wilbur growing up. So I mean, I I'm putting these things together. This these are the these are the things that have been left out for me, and I am putting them together. I mean, she's a white woman, that hurts, so you know. The that's what I'm saying. Dog tendency is quite yeah, natural, isn't they're, it? Yeah. Um, they're bred for it. White women are bred for it. I would say. Sorry, just a bit of a quick tangent. Do you remember that woman on Twitter that was like, "Yeah, I fucked a dog." And was just completely open about it recently. Yeah. 
Oh, recently? Oh, no, I always think of um. Well, like Whitney, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Whitney, Wisconsin. Yeah. Whitney Wisconsin. Whitney Wisconsin. Was like, that was the first one. That was the first one. There's another one as well, though. She created a whole. Yeah, I saw her. Of, of, yeah, she of, was like a vegan who like doesn't yeah. like fucks dogs, right? That was her thing. Oh God, I'm back. Base. I'm back in this place again. All right. The fucking sunken place. All right, we gotta let this go. From get out. I that can't unpause this because I'm, I'm. And that is my fault my as well. Right so I am sorry, Katie. I am sorry that you felt that I was not approachable enough for you to express. What a fucking Jesus! I'm sorry that you felt that way, Katie. Or, um, what a riveter what apology. Happened. Um. Nothing happened. Anyway. Uh. So, uh, of course, just to share, I made a Reddit post. Um, I've taken it down now. Um, but that right. was, again, that was after I had talked to George. I, Look, dude, uh, yeah, he yeah. is making it about himself. And if there was a sexual assault here, I'd be really upset about that. Um, <laughs> if somebody got sexually assaulted, I would be really, I'd be really pissed that he just did that. Um, but, yeah. What were you going to say, Tom? I think you had a thing. I was just going to say, like... The giant Reddit post is always the sign. I think that Dream is about to fucking back down because that's what he did with the. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the like the like, war cry shit where he was like, "You fucking losers are fucking angry at me for doing fucking nothing." Everyone fucking does war cries in SpongeBob. It's not appropriate in culture. I'm one sixteenth Pocahontas, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> Dude, and, then, I and then the next day he's like, "Hey guys, so sorry. Whoa. I apologize for what I said. Like I was out of line. I fucking went silverback mode on stream. I'm sorry." I'm one fifteenth <laughs> Pocahontas, dude. I'm fucking, I'm so he was like, "I'm fucking Squanto in this bitch. You're gonna tell me what I can't do." Like he was, he was fucking mad. He was like, "I'm literally with Lewis and Clark right fucking now, and you're telling me I can't do a war cry." Like that was literally what he was saying, and then all of a sudden it's like backtracking. Like I'm probably blowing my opportunity at a dream interview right now, by the way, which I had locked in. But w honestly, just fuck it. This is just this is a horrible showing. Horrible. You yeah. can't defend these people. It's I I don't know. It's sad because I don't know. I, I mean, I thought he handled his last situation really well, and just this whole thing is really disappointing. I literally have an entire video written about the false allegations, and now this happens. Yeah. Like, awesome. Dude, my concurrent viewers, like the year everyone in this fucking chat was born. It's 2005, oh, guys. That's flex, <laughs> little flex from Nicholas there. <laughs> oh, uh, you seem to be above uh, Tom's numbers there, Nicholas. Any comment on that? I don't know if I am. I didn't. That's uh, that's that's the Palestinian media misrepresenting my. Oh, did I tell you guys I figured out the Palestinian conflict? Why hasn't Dream talked about Palestine yet? No, no, I figured it out, dude. Hold on, wait. I've gone through this like four times. Wait, why hasn't Dream talked about Palestine though? Like, I feel like we need his voice. Chad, did you hear how I figured out Palestine? Go on. What? What? How? Okay, check this out. Are you in my screen share? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do yeah, this real yeah. quick. All right. So there's a tweet that I saw from back in the olden days, and I thought this was just a simple joke. I was unaware that this was actually culturally relevant. So there's a tweet, uh, and it's an it's an article written by Marjorie Ingall, and it's called "The Jews of the Canine World." Pitbulls have been unfairly stereotyped as genetically dangerous monsters. Sound familiar? So this was written in 2016, shortly before there was any problems in the Middle East, right? But the issue is. Um, I'm reading this and I, that sounds crazy. This is obviously like a pro pit bull person making some absurd mm. fucking claim. But then I then I think about it. That makes the toddlers the Palestinians. So when the pit bulls maul and kill these fucking children, I mean, Defenseless. even if we even if we're the biggest dog lovers in the world, right? We have to look at these defenseless toddlers that are being mauled by these vicious pit bulls and think. I mean, where else in the world would the pit bulls go? If not, That's a good point, mate. If not here, where would they go, you know? They would go to the fucking nursery. Sometimes a few toddlers have to get run off the road so that these pit bulls can continue Dude. to thrive. <laughs> You know what the funniest thing is? Okay, so for fucking years, the Keemstar, the Keemstar Christmas dog tweet of 2016 has been tweeted out as a meme. Every year, everyone, Dolan Dar, Colossal's crazy, everybody tweets out, like, the tweet where Keemstar is like, just hit a dog going 85 five miles per hour in my truck, he ran up on the fucking highway. And now that tweet, which is like a meme tweet, which is like, I think he did kill a dog, but it's been like a meme to us for like years that he accidentally hit a dog in his car. Now... All of these fucking <laughs> Minecraft people, because he shit on the guy who was like, "You sexually assaulted my fucking friend." Oh yeah, those people are those people are pulling this tweet out and being like, "You killed a fucking dog, you piece of shit." 
<laughs> that is so epic. That is like the funniest possible. Out of anything you could try to get Keemstar on, like like the Tony thing is usually what gets brought up. Like Etika gets brought up. They go with the fucking dog. You killed the dog. The meme. The funny and meme. And little did we yeah. know the dog was a fucking pit bull. Yeah. What the fuck? No, I like bringing up this article because this woman who wrote this is like the most retarded person on the planet. That's like the most insane article I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. It's so I think funny. it's epic. It's like someone really was like, dude, they're just like the Jews. And someone was like, this is this yeah, is like the Gaijin Goomba that, Minecraft thing. Yeah, Gaijin Goomba where he's like, dude, the Minecraft villagers have more in common than you think with the Jewish people. And everyone's like, he was right. He was right. He was literally right. No, he wasn't. It was like their yes, he clothes was. look like tribal look wear at the, that were worn look in the at 1500s. The fuck, dude, look at the fucking pigment, bro. Oh, They're fucking up. Jews. Shut up. They're literally Netanyahu and Dude, he opened the video and he that. goes, and we're not talking about their noses or something like that. I was like, whoa! I'm talking about the fucking noses. I have a big nose. I feel like I have like a right to fucking speak on the nose allegations. Like... Obviously, I'm from fucking Israel. I'm Netanyahu and Ease. I'm fucking related to Lex Friedman and shit. Like, these are my fucking boys. Okay, clearly, look at the fucking pigment, bruh. And he saw the pigment, and he was fucking talking about it. And everybody's just like, oh, you fucking anti-Semitic racist. Like, no, dude, Gaijin Guma was fucking right. Okay? Sorry, he was the, based. Quick question. Do you think that there should be a systemic, um, you know, unending elimination of um, pit bulls? Um... Wait, hold on. In Nick's uh, trying to figure out what this is an wait, allegory wait, wait. for. Of pit bulls, or of, yeah. or of no, like, no, pit, of pit bulls. bulls. Of, of no, of, of pit bulls. If you know what I mean. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what are we putting down here, Chad? All I'm saying is we need a final solution to the question of the pit bull only. <laughs> I think we should all. get all the silverbacks in there and take them the fuck out. <laughs> if I'm being honest. The pit bulls only breed with themselves, so they're like really like. Mm. Oh, do you know what? Oh fuck! All right, hold on. Wait, wait a that minute. That sounded good. No, it didn't sound good. That sounded bad. I don't know how to respond to this now in a way that doesn't connect it to Jewish people. Um, I think. Talk about oh, what the, the silver fuck, <laughs> dude? That's, that's anti Semitic, bro. Dude, come on. So what you want about? I hate you guys so much. <laughs> I I support the right for the micro villagers to defend themselves from the fucking skeleton onslaught. Okay. I think that more. <laughs> I, Keep I, starving. More more fucking uh, toddlers need to get mowed down in the streets by pit bulls. I think that's the only that's the only solution that matters. <laughs> Dipshit toddlers. <laughs> these di if these dipshit toddlers are gonna keep running into the road, I think the pit bulls have it. They they have my support in stopping them. Keemstar has my support in hitting every dog that runs up on the highway in Buffalo. Honestly, dude, Keemstar. I think lives we should all buy Ford Raptors. Nowhere, they, like if there's a dog on the road, bro. I mean, I, why don't you just let them run free in your backyard? Why do they have to be on the street? Where did the dog even come from? Uh, I think, well, modern day uh, evolution says that they started out as probably fish, and over the course of hundreds of years, they grew legs, and then they started like being fucking raped and bred over and over again until they got retarded. Um, and now... Bro, can you believe that they expect us to think that dinosaurs are real? What? Can you fucking believe that? That's like, like a, a fucking triceratops a is a real thing? That's a Stardust-ass fucking argument. Stardust would say some uh -oh. shit like that. Yo! No, I'm Stardust friends with Stardust, problem. but Stardust would turn Yo. around and say some shit like that. Stardust would be like, did you know that Time dinosaurs... People think dinosaurs are real? That is literally a Stardust-era argument. It's a literal fucking dragon, dude. Like, it's not real. Oh my god, bro. There was never fucking dinosaurs, I'm sorry. Dude. And I'm supposed to believe they were fucking made by Pfizer or some shit? Like, Do you know how I got not... the nickname Dragon of the West? Having sex with Chinese women? I was dragging my nuts across your face. Let's keep going. Um, that was I've obvious. gone through everything about my recollection of everything. And of course, uh, uh, in hindsight, the perspective of... Um, let me just collect my thoughts quickly wait try. this is the part where he mentions yeah, this, this is the part where he mentions fucking candace isn't it that fucking slime ball dude wait, i candace fucking Owens? hate that candace dick fit in that ass <laughs> uh -huh. yo oh you're oh absolutely rape oh uh, <laughs> that was the first rape that happened in the story oh fuck dude that reminds you of the fucking the flamenco no. thing you guys remember uh when i was like have you heard about the d's allegations he's like the d's allegations what is that 
You remember that? Yeah. That was fucking epic, dude. Uh, Holy shit. Sorry, we can continue. I just had to own you back real quick, oh, dude. God. <laughs> scripted or anything. I don't have a I don't really have a plan of what I'm saying. I'm just trying to get everything that I have to say out there. We know. Um <clears throat> I guess I'll just kind of break it down. Uh, break he's down. He's gonna start peppers. dancing. Um, I don't. I don't he said he's gonna break down exactly it now, before but, he starts crying. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna just break it down. Imagine let me just break like, down real quick. Um, I didn't know what he did. Well, not, that's a foreshadow. That's an unfortunate foreshadow. Uh, I started off by saying that I thought that uh, from my <laughs> my my memory that um, George's uh, recollection of events was closer to um, the events than um, what Katie had said. Um, uh, I think now having, uh, seen her secondary post that I understand why that was, and that had nothing to do with, uh, and I never said it originally, I, I never accused any dishonesty or anything, but that had nothing to do with what, um, my, my, under, my thought process, again, being under the mindset that there was a lot of people, especially surrounding her that, that really did have very, very negative opinions of me. Um, and I had no and of course had expressed things negatively in the past and i was and i tried to have conversations with people about it and i never got any answers i was just under the assumption okay there's people they they hate me they have no reason why they hate me and they just you know they do things they do whatever they want and they they just hate me um and so I'm, i just understand that i'm operating under that assumption and so in seeing that uh, in, in in seeing the de you know listening to uh or reading the details of uh that night um uh there was, you know, certain things that um, that she left out, or there were certain things that she didn't mention. Um, that I understand now why she didn't, um, but at the time, okay. it felt fuck off, dude. Like, no, is he talking about uh, the cuddling thing being left out? There's no reason to leave that out unless you're maliciously lying about what happened. There's literally no reason. Don't kill no, me. No, not at all. Skeleton. Fuck this. Okay, there's literally zero reason. Like you, you have to be entirely malicious to leave that out, right? No. Am I, am I, is is there is there any reality in which you could not be malicious? I and died from a out? rock. I, yeah, no, so I agree. It seems so obviously a malicious move to like. Twist uh, will, he, will he will he even exp will he even explain here? Is there is he ever going to explain what reason she would have to leave that out? Like what reason could there possibly be other than wanting to lie? Like if we had dream in this call. Do you think we could like reason with him and be like, what the fuck are you saying? And he would like come around like if he wasn't in like a public spectacle and had nothing to lose and it would never get leaked or something. Like, do you think he would admit to us like, OK, yeah, clearly she lied. Like, there's no way a reasonable person could come away with any other conclusion. There's no way. He would have to. And we know Dream can be a reasonable person if you shake him enough. Like yeah. with the fucking pedophile shit where he had to defend his career against like life ruining allegations. Is that the position he has to be in where his career is about to be destroyed? Yeah, of course. He's <laughs> self interested, right? That's it. He doesn't, you know, he's willing to put his neck out to some degree, but only if it benefits him like it did initially against the UK people. But past that, he doesn't fucking care, right? It's all about it's just gonna fuck him up. It sucks, True. dude. It actually sucks. These people are disgusting. I, it's just, I, I know we've said it already, but fuck me, man. It, worthless. Worthless maggots, a lot of them. Right. Dream won't stand up for his friends. It's uh, yeah, un under it the sucks. The only person he's standing up for right now in this call is himself. It's not for Katie yeah, yeah. either, because Katie doesn't no. fucking care about his approval. She'll never care. She wants him to fucking rot in hell like the rest of these people do. They literally yeah. want him to die. They are tweeting out about how he should die. That is what the MCYT community is tweeting out. I I hope Dream starts coughing soon. One person tweeted out his address to like twenty thousand likes. Like, <laughs> these people are fucking crazy. Yeah, that's psychotic. Yeah, absolutely. Like the doxing on him is like comparable to what I'm seeing with like Stone Toss. <sighs> Bro, yeah, sorry, just a quick note on that, dude. All these lefties talk about how bad Kiwi Farms is, but then Stone Toss gets fucking doxxed and they're sharing it left, right, and center. These people are fucking shameless. Well, because their explanation is, well, he's a Nazi, so he deserves it. Yeah, it's fucking retarded, man. Impression I was under before, um, under that impression, it felt like, oh, well, this is this is someone that is surrounded by people that don't like me, don't like, you know, George, that are morphing things in a way that make it, you know, negative towards me because that's that's kind of what, what you do when you're, you know, you're around friends. If you're you're around friends that have this negative opinion, and you're saying, oh, sure, you're, you're, going, you're kind of going along with it. Um, now, that was a horrible assumption to make. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I made that assumption. Um, I hope that... That assumption was right. Anyone can understand. You were right after you know the the months of uh i guess uh negative 
press, I almost want to say, that, that I've received um, before any, any of this, obviously, um, that I was operating under that assumption. Um, uh, so that's why I said that. I don't agree with that now. I think that everything that Katie said in her most recent post, I, I, um, well, I don't know about everything. Uh, I said the Jesus them thing earlier that I, I, that I hope I can have clarification on. Um, but everything else in her post, I, I agree with. I think oh that uh, there, it seems like her, her recollection of things that she shared um, is very accurate. Um, and uh, yeah, but it's it not sexual a assault of gaps for my understanding before um <laughs> this is why i think they deserve it like I, honestly and i think when, when everyone heard me say like oh they deserve it he's probably talking no i think that dream and fucking and george deserve this a hundred percent there's not even a fucking a if they're chance. willing to do if they're willing to do this and like like they, they, they want it they're opening their fucking legs for it like it's literally like the yep. what are they wearing question like what are dream and george wearing oh they're wearing a fucking tube top okay well they look sick no i'm kidding they look like <laughs> sorry <laughs> they're fucking they're That's unwilling good. to go silver back mode on their own community they they just constantly yep. cower in fear at any at, at, at the soonest opportunity to apologize they apologize for fucking nothing her recollection of events. Her recollection of events is that she fucking cuddled him for an hour and she was fine with it. And she got up multiple times and came back and that's sexual assault. Somehow. Her recollection of events is fucking stupid. How can you as a 25-year-old fucking man justify in any fucking way this being sexual assault? It's not. It's not. You are lying to yourself. For who? I don't know. Fucking the Minecraft community who hates you anyway. <laughs> and the next time they found out, they find out you use the word lynch. Or say the word drugs out loud, they're going to say you're racist. Do you remember Fuck when he said people, drugs, man. drugs, drugs, and everyone said he hated black people? Insane. Insane. Because they, they and heard who do you drugs think... and they immediately tied that with black people. Who do you think was orchestrating all this shit, dude, behind the scenes? There has to have been John someone. Swan. Based. <laughs> New things well, I mean, that I had no idea oops, about sorry, at John. all. No, I was going to say, I mean, obviously, you know, Dream is the most influential guy from the US side of things, right? From my understanding. Um, yeah. and, and who is it in the UK? Like I say, it's Amesy, it's um, Wilbur no more. It's, it's not Amesy, it's really, Amesy is like a really small creator compared no, to... No, no, sure, people. sure, but I'm just listing the people. So you've got Amesy, you've got like Tommy in it, you've got that um, Tubbo guy. That guy's a fucking freak as well, by the way, but, you know. And who Tommy's is the most not have you seen, have you, with, with Dream anymore. Have you seen, um, have you seen Tubbo cry on stream, like literally have a mental breakdown after he lost in Minecraft? No, but I need to see like that. like literal literal mental breakdown, like crying, bawling his eyes out, like no, no, no bro, like it was crazy. How These people are kids. Thundering underground. This game is really bad. That's not even good physics, bro. So who is the dream equivalent on the other side then? It's really just got. I mean, Tommy N is probably the biggest. Yeah. My, minus what we're said, I guess. He's not really in the equation anymore, is he? Yeah. Well, no, no, he's not. But you know, I, I yeah, I do, if if any we had someone, well, could you not ask Dream? Can you not message Dream and be like, come on, man. One Let of the bigger be. people that we haven't mentioned yet is Quackity, who basically has stayed out of all this shit. Yeah, but, but Quackity's uh, got his own fucking issue. Yeah, yeah, he's got he's his like, own. He's got like going Minecraft right slave labor. All these people are being eaten alive right now. But like literally every week, there's a new allegation. Every day, every day, there's a new allegation. People are trying to fucking get them on. It's just crazy. But they they um, always bow to it, uh, and the thing is, Quackity used to be pretty edgy too. Have you? I watched old Quackity videos. I don't know if you guys have seen, but he used to make like pretty edgy like Roblox rating videos. He was a part of like that old like commentary community in like 2016 with like you know fucking Memeless and Dolan Dark. Like he was a big memer, <laughs> but uh, you know he's totally you know I I don't know if it's a totally cynical move. You know I think he wanted to grow his channel and get bigger and be a big Minecraft guy. Whatever, that's fine. <laughs> but uh, as a result, he's basically just you know, forfeit his, forfeited his ability to be his own person. He has to apologize to whatever these people want. It sucks. Yeah, but uh, like you said, the millions are probably worth it until, of course, the tax man comes. Until they're not. Yeah, until Phantom comes in the fucking room. Holy shit. I think we're good, guys. Oh! Oh my god! Okay. Do you have any food? That's funny. What? I said that's funny. Do you not have food? No. Are we gonna die? 
What yes. the f- bro? What are you wearing on your feet? What are those? I honestly don't remember what the skin is. So what I is that? About whatever it is. What is it? Dude, you're not even wearing your Yeezy pods. Have you seen the Yeezy ball sack slides? I hate those, dude. Oh, One of the guys I work with the wears fir- a fucking ball sack on his foot. It's insane. First thing that I want to so- talk about as well is that uh, one of the things that contributed to my um, thoughts that I put into my Reddit post, which involved, I mentioned, uh, I mentioned, ah! first of all, I mentioned a creator from the Dream SMP prior. I didn't mention them by name, um, but I did mention that that person was in the lobby when this happened and that uh, that was another reason that uh we had don't go down um, there perceived things slightly differently is because of that the, don't go down there having that person involved and i had a negative view of that person's opinion of me and of their intentions with me <clears throat> because they had in my from my perspective at that point had um, shared a lie about me to many people um now this person reached out to me and they clarified this um and it turns out to be a misunderstanding they uh, they they hadn't meant to spread any lie or anything or be malicious about anything there there's just like i guess somewhere along the lines some someone uh wait this is important he's talking about Ainsley right now i think spread that i sorry there was an enderman oh it's dead We're can good. we rewind it a bit i want to hear the Ainsley bit oh, yeah um and it turns out to be a misunderstanding they uh they they hadn't meant to spread any lie or anything or be malicious about anything there there was just like i guess somewhere along the lines some someone uh you know, misunderstood something and then it ended up being spread that I you did something that I didn't. Um, and so they cleared that up and um, yeah. that slightly, oh. that, that, that instant when that was happening, uh, when they reached out to me, I instantly had a bit of a perspective shift because uh, that was a big, that was contributed largely to why I was, um, why I had my mindset that I did. Um, and then secondly, you, the fact that she you had, to you hearing um, this? Yeah. you know, shared, so- so Amesy reaching out to Dream was fundamental in him changing his perspective on this, is what he's saying right now. But what the fuck oh. did she say to him? What, the, what did she I... say to him? Well, what so could she have possibly said that changed what he thought happened? Well, he's claiming it's because Amesy said, because this was to do with the part of his Reddit post he was talking about. Well, he didn't say Amesy, but everyone in reply saying it was Amesy getting kicked up the Discord or something. I can't remember the exact words, but it was to do with something. Oh, getting okay. Up yeah. The there was some. There was some situation where somebody claimed that they were kicked from Dream's Discord yes. because they asked about the grooming allegations, and Dream said, "Dream said that never happened. They left on their own, and he personally talked to them about it and clarified what happened." Yes, yeah, you so think that, that was, was Amesy? Amesy. That, 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 I don't know for sure, but in the replies, they were all saying it was Amesy. Um So she, so somewhere, somewhere along the line, somebody must have the impression that she said that on live stream or something or in some video, right? Yeah, exactly. But but I mean, if I'm understanding this correctly, I think he's saying that after the Reddit post, I believe Ames is the one that reached out to him and, like you say, said something that changed his perspective. <laughs> so what the fuck did she say? It's quite the disgusting. Idea- she was 18 <laughs> years freshly. She wasn't. <laughs> she wasn't. She, was, she, she wasn't crime. even ripe. She wasn't ripe. I was abused, and I see the signs, and I can see that George is an abuser. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I, I don't think it was over some disagreement about why they were bad from a Discord. I think something else is going on there that, uh, again, we don't have access to, so we can't say for sure. Embarrassing. What the fuck am I listening to? What the fuck is this, dude? That's Nicola, why... Trouble. That's what all the people say. Guys, I'm riding a horse. You're riding high in April. Shot okay. down in May. Who the fuck is saying this? Is that Tipster? It's, a- Vosh. it's AI Vosh. Vosh, AI Vosh. I'm riding yeah. a horse, guys. Oh. Sorry, I confused the lollicons. <laughs> My bad. I was, I was riding a horse in Minecraft. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, guys. No, it's fine. It's all good. Uh, her feelings of discomfort the next day um seeing that obviously massively shifted my thought process as well um because uh <clears throat> again i was under the i was under the impression of thinking there's a lot of people that don't like me for no reason she's friends with these people um and uh it's amesy no doubt it's got to be <clears throat> that's yep. why uh she could be being she's the heogen uh, of the east 
she could be recounting things differently. Well, the West um, again. I just want to clarify so I can repeat myself as much as I can. The origin uh, is of the East because she's none of Chinese. what I'm saying at all is in True. counter to anything Katie has said. Nothing that I've said is an argument or yeah, it sounds like he's been threatened in right? any way whatsoever. <laughs> Where he's clarifying, um, sounds scared. I think that Katie deserves all the support that you can give her. Um, everything that I'm talking about and that I will continue to talk about is just purely for perspective and understanding. And I think that it's very important for things like this that we discuss because I think that the, things like this need to be prevented in the future. And I think that this is part of that. Um, I think that I need to share mm. my full perspective. I need to share my understandings. That way everyone can have a better understanding. So please, 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 please do not take any of this as me trying to um, make excuses for anybody including myself. Um, this is just, this is just to understand each other. Um, so anyway, uh, so back to uh, that. Sorry, another thing as well, it's um, also worth noting. I mentioned in my post, like, I talk about. Um, yep. Since this kind of like um, conversation happened from the looks of it, Amesy hasn't really spoken much about any more allegations onwards. Um, Ooh, so, maybe it was like I don't know. the only way to make the stop is to cuck to AMZ. I want to believe this because maybe, I don't want maybe. these people to be this retarded. You know? They are. If you kill them, the baby animals, they lack like the, the sustenance. Like, cause nothing is yeah, they don't, they don't usually give you the good shit. They just fucking cry and fucking talk about Planned Parenthood or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think it might be AMZ. Man. I think it's, I think it's likely. I talk Got it. About non the thing is, like, who consent. else could it be? Who um, else could it be that's like simultaneously clear. friends with all the victims, quote unquote, has been like talking about the allegations constantly, yeah. is like tweeting out like in all caps, like silence is not consent. Well, nobody even said that silence is consent. Like they just said that <laughs> she clearly consented at the time. Like, come on, it's retarded. She Chats, was not assaulted. Chat's asking why I'm killing These... the baby sheep. I'm not killing them because I want to eat them. I'm killing them because I want them to die. It's for sport. Some men want money. Some men just want to watch the babies die. Oh, why don't you get them and start a farm and breed them? I want to wipe them out. Shout out Anthony Fauci. What? Yo, careful what I can talk on YouTube. Jesus. He's a fan. Clarify something. Um, consent must be explicit. Yes, you can have nonverbal consent, like I mentioned. Bro. Um, but. He he says that, and everyone was like, "He's a fucking rapist." Did you hear nonverbal? Yeah. Like, dude. it's like, oh, dude, oh my god, bro. Now, Nicholas, you don't really strike me as a sex haver, um, but what I will say <laughs> to educate you a bit is Please. that is true. That obviously, you know, you you do have non like verbal consent, constantly little moves, touches, etc., that move things forward. We were talking right? about this on stream. How many? Like, how often? Do you hear somebody go like permission to kiss you now at the end of a fucking day? <laughs> like that is just fucking crazy. This reminds because you know the drama we covered before this was the short haired girl who was saying that she was like giga raped. Um, by, Dude, only only a, by only a husband. fucking British only a British pedophile, which is an oxymoron, would fucking ask someone for a sex contract no, before fucking. But wait, this girl said she was sexually assaulted because a girl leaned in to kiss her, and then when she like wasn't into it, she pulled back. Yeah, I know. She and said that realistically, was sexual assault. That's insane. In, typi in, in, in typical sexual experiences, like the way it works is like, oh, you're flirting with someone. It's going well. Okay. You move to maybe you're touching hands or something. If you're both cool with that, then you move to like, I don't know, maybe you touch her thigh or something. She's cool with that. You move to kissing. Like they're cool with that. Like things just naturally progress with what happened with George. It's like, okay, they're sitting, they're flirting. Things are going well. They're both adults, by the way. They're, hey, they're flirting. Eventually, one of them starts touching the other. They're cool with that. Eventually, they end up cuddling for a fucking hour, for one hour, which, like, yeah. dude, if I'm cuddling with a girl, I'm not going to wait a fucking hour to touch her fucking boobs. Are you kidding me, dude? I'm getting in there within fucking 32 seconds, okay? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are we cuddling for? My dick is pressed against your fucking vagina, and I'm not going to touch your Like, what is going on? Like, you want to wait that fucking long? That's crazy, wait, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm going to fucking, of a hotel I'm gonna fucking shoot inside of... I'm going to shoot inside of my jeans. I mean... <laughs> Fair enough. That's a different. That's a different scenario. But you know, fucking go silverback mode now and then. Know what I'm saying? Like, always with consent. Says Wash. 
Yeah, of course. But like, <laughs> but it is, it is, it is crazy. Like these people's expectation. Like, wait, that's so they just true. Never... Can we call Minx? I feel like she's got dirt on all these people. I have her on Discord. Can you hit her up and ask her if she'll talk to us about this? I feel like we need to hear from like a, a level-headed, you know. I mean, it's, actually, let me. I have her on. I have her on drunk. Twitter. Let me shoot her. A hit message. up. Hit up Mink, saying like we're doing a stream right now. It's a. It's an interesting show called URR. Don't ask what it means. We're just trying to get to the <laughs> bottom of this. Um, I'm literally messaging her on Twitter right now. We really Thanks. need a loud Irish woman to call in. We need a woman's perspective. A womanly, a womanly idea. I messaged her. I literally just sent Mix a message. Based. Let's keep going. All ex all consent must be complicit, like explicit consent must be extremely <laughs> obvious consent. Guys, all consent must be implicit, guys. It's yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, I've got a message from chat here. Um, on LSF, apparently, Justin Mink seems seriously ill, almost as if overdosing. Um, oh, I don't know if you want well, to throw that up or not, but I'll just put it into chat there. Well, I literally just fucking sent her a message, asked her to come on URR. So thanks, dude. Holy shit! <laughs> She's gonna get out of the hospital and be like, the only person that messaged me that cares about me is fucking Turkey Tom, asking me to talk about Wilbur Soot. What the fuck? Also, we got an ultimate rape review. What the well, fuck? She's not even live. How could you know she's fucking gonna die? She's she's not live. There's an LSF post from three hours ago. She's IRL streaming from the fucking ward. What? She would be the one. To do okay, that. no, please, please, you gotta put this. Look, she, she's me. she's I'm she's, she's IRL. Oh, you put it. She's here. IRL oh. streaming herself at the Suboxone clinic. <laughs> here, Justin Mink said she's seriously ill, almost as if overdosing. Can someone get her help? Dude, she looks so cooked. What do you mean? <laughs> Look at that. Let me see. Open. Does she look cooked? Let Oops, me see. Something went wrong. Clip is you need to go to the Reddit and go to the um yeah. backup clip. Mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. Does she look fucked? No, she looks tired. Whoa. She's tired. Dude, she looks like she's on fentanyl. Oh, what do you mean? Fentanyl means like you can see the top of her head? Like what? Look at the top of her. Dude, she's going literally too mad mode right now. What the fuck? What? Damn. Please stop using wooden tools. I can't stop, dude. Time goes into gorilla mode when cuddling. Dude, based. I can't even hear her. This is based. More content tomorrow. Excellent. Just having to change your diaper? I will never fucking change my diaper, dude. dude. It's it's not fent for some. It's fent for all. Uh, get her well, I tried to message her, but I guess she's, she's gone. Uh, she's... She's got people on the way. He's gone. She's All right. It's extremely fucked up. She collapsed on the floor, and Andy Milanakis. Andy Milanakis. And was oh like, "What do God. I do?" Well, he came in. He's like, Andy "Wait, Andy Milanakis showed up and goes, chat. What do I do? I'm way too short to pick her up, guys. What do I do? Did you guys know I invented memes? That's what he said. Um, Justin Wang's a piece of shit. I invented memes. I don't know. I I'm too fucking small to lift this motherfucker up. Um, let me see." I mean, a simple way is if someone's concerned, we would be here for mods or someone to call emergency services. I feel bad for her. I met her in person. She was, I don't know, fine. She got up and walked off camera, and a mod in her chat said someone is going to get her. So many have tried to help her throughout the years, and she has just been the one. I mean, honestly, I think they should put her in the ring and make her fight again. I, I don't understand why they stopped <laughs> letting her fight. You know, I think punch the fentanyl anything, out of her head system. blows were really working in her favor. I, that was the thing is like she would have these mental breakdowns and people would be like, come on, Minx, you got to fight in two weeks. Get back up or whatever. And I'm sitting here. I'm like, what? what? Who? What commission is letting this fucking person fight? What is happening? That was like my biggest criticism of YouTube boxing is this woman would have like a mental breakdown, like a borderline fucking alcohol stomach pump situation where she's just fucking she would come on stream with two black eyes or whatever right and then she'd be like oi i'm gonna beat the shit out of some broad in like two weeks or something and i'm like why did she win i don't remember i don't know bro she's i think i saw her fight i think i was at the event she fought at. no I, wasn't at technique. I think she probably did quite well yeah, I think Based, she was supposed dude. to fight at the one that I was She's on some Uncle Ira shit. She was fentanyl bending. Zuko. <laughs> Zuko, we have to stop hunting the Avatar and help Palestine, Zuko. Oi, what the fuck are you talking about, laddie? Fucking Wilbur Schutz been fucking abusing women for 30 fucking years, mate. Get fucking Jayshla on the fucking call, mate. I've got to shoot up me fucking Adelwyn. Dude. Do you know Conor McGregor, the old man that he punched at the bar, was her dad? <laughs> 
No way. No, nah, I made that up. That would be hilarious, right? right? Oh my god. Dude. Could you imagine? Fake like, news. Beat the fuck out of Kanye. Yeah, that would be crazy. Um, let's keep going. Dude, my legal name is Colby tactical Covington. tactical misinformation. There's not a... Oh, well, I think that this person consented. No, it's it's either explicit consent or no consent. Um, now, when I was Wait, uh, writing this, of course, I'm... I'm he think- just said that it doesn't have to be verbal consent, but it's either explicit consent or no consent. So wait. Well, it definitely was explicit. What does that mean? Just, I wish I could just be in a call and ask someone a question like, if you're cuddling with a girl for an for hour, a fucking hour, and she gets up an and she hour. comes back and she sits on you again, and then she goes, "Well, the reason I couldn't leave him because then he would feel he'd be awkward," you know? <laughs> like, is it? Yeah, I don't want to embarrass him in embarrass front of him. his friends. It's such cope, man. That is the classic sign. The woman comes back. You're like, "Yeah, I'm on, I'm on one here. I'm in. I'm in. Let's go." It's like, there are situations. She hops off me fucking knob and yet like she this. comes right back to me fucking knob. I'm watching what the this fuck right is now. It? Who <laughs> the fuck would date this girl after this? She messaged me and said she want me to go fucking silverback mode. I'm like, like what the fuck? Okay, like how do, the date no, but how do people who the come fucking, off of situations The guy like who was screaming. The guy who was yeah. screaming like, she fucking cried in my eye. That guy. Like, what is her That guy's going to be her be fucking like? boyfriend. And then he's going to get accused of rape. The cycle goes on. I can't wait. God, this is insane. From my perspective of uh, my experiences with consent, um, I have experienced um, nonverbal consent. I would, I would, I would. Oh, Jesus Christ. My experiences with consent, dude. Dude, that's all. I'm going to make a a Twitter called My Experiences with Consent. Oh, great. Actually, I have a video for you guys. I have a stealth rape review, a story that neither of you know about. So if we get bored, we can pivot. Okay. Um, I have probably one of the most nuclear rape reviews that's ever been sent to me. It's been sourced by producer Smaggle. Um, but yeah. My experiences with consent. Um, I have experienced um, nonverbal consent uh, through people, you know, whether they're moving oh your hand to them or they're God. kissing you or they're doing something. Ex- Dude, now that he said now that, he's like, it's, oh, a matter of, guys, a matter of fucking, ju- it's a matter of fucking time before one of those people comes out again. No, him, you don't understand. Like, hey. No, he's saying that he's been sexually assaulted. He, no, he's not. No, that's he's what he mean. just said. He goes, I've like oh. I've been in situations where I've been non. Well, you know, sent by by sexually assaulted. He doesn't mean sexually assaulted. He means whatever happened to Katie happened to him previously. Listen, which is listen not again. sexual listen assault. They, are, is he even going to say what happened to her? Like these people are fucking like throwing their front of the bus. Are they going to like out openly say like it was sexual assault? Or are they just going to like not like like what Sapnaps ever? He was like, it's clear Katie was uncomfortable and George did something wrong, but you know like. You know, he didn't have bad intentions, but he also did something bad. So, like, <laughs> all that matters is how she feels. Can we not just like, openly say someone's feelings are invalid sometimes? My can we not? Can we not just say that? Based. Yeah, mate, I'm all for that. My abuser called himself the Tickle Monster. <laughs> Based. He said, "Does this feel good?" And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I ran. I was like. <laughs> I flushed him oh. right down the skibbity toilet. Dude, do you understand? Oh, do you remember five years ago, people would be like, dude, I'm going to touch your belly button and then it's rape. <laughs> okay, so let me blow this through. Let me blow your mind here, okay? He basically touched your belly button and said, and she said she was sexually assaulted. That's literally what just happened. Like, it's 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 the meme incarnate. It just happened. Dude, at this point, like, congrats to her. She played it really well. Like, she fucking owned them. She owned a bunch of, yeah. like, fucking almost 30-year-old men into, like, fucking destroying their own careers. Like, well, dude, I mean, good on her. She well, she did. played the, she she fucking played them like a fiddle. She played the fucking game. <laughs> GG, Katie. All right, Based, give me two seconds. Dude. I got to read some donuts. Catch up on girl your Girl boss. One second. She's literally girl boss. All right. Gamers. Gamers, 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 thank you guys so much for the support so far. We're going to keep going. Cats are flocking. Uh, you're like the fifth donation I'm going to read. I don't know why I started with you, but I'm going to get there. Trevor Iceberg, thanks for the new membership. Somebody, thank you for the membership. These Minecraft men are more feminine than the women. Stefan Corbino with five Canadian. With these allegations, I feel like COD Zombies gameplay in the background needs to make a comeback. Somebody, thank you for the five Minecraft YouTubers should be under permanent house arrest. They clearly can't handle social interactions without being accused of sexual abuse. Buzzsaw, thank you for the $2. Instead of the Dream SMP, we got the Diorio RMP. Uh, Mur- Murdapala, thank you for the five. You are March Madness. Big E, thanks for the new membership. Captain Poofer, thanks for the five dollars. I fully support the Minecraft Winks. James Dance, uh, Dance Jr., thank you for the one month. So somebody, two dollars, hit the Chud Logic soundboard. Drake Snake, two dollars. I tweeted pumpkin pumpkin at you, and I'm Larry's human. Thank you. 
Uh, Ulysses Spiv, $2. Weekly you are on Minecraft stream with this base trio. Somebody, $2. Amesy is the mango of the Minecraft Me Too allegations. Sponge... Sp Swag Bob Money Pants, thanks for the new membership. Dance Junior, three dollars in the chat for Turkey Tom. Somebody, thank you for the one gifted. Trevor Iceberg, five dollars. People on Twitter jumping the gun remind me of Uncle Ruckus from the Boondocks way he was on jury duty. Trud was right about the lynching comment. Somebody, thanks for the five dollars. Dream is weak. He should have kept the mask on and never left his house. Pragmatic Culture, five dollars. OG Minecraft the W. New Minecraft has always been cringe. Ma Max Max eighty seven five. Uh, my guess is Dream wanted to fight, but George couldn't deal with the pleasure. Wait, oh the pressure. Okay, Jesus. That's bad this week. Germ seventy five dollars. All Minecraft YouTubers shouldn't be allowed in your school. Though school zones changed my mind. AJ McRad, five Canadian. You need to sign Mama Max's NDA to find out more. Five from Jstock. Freshly eighteen is only cringe because she was lying about that too. Game which ten dollars. Uh, here is freshly printed on a ten dollar bill for legal reasons. This is a joke. Uh, Almond Almond City thanks for the membership. I'll say young women who had a similar issue first sexual experience. The feelings I see here are real, but social media and streaming has fucked up everything. Captain Poover's five dollars. These girls don't go to police yet to get justice. They go to social media to ruin someone. It's insane to me. Swag Bob Money Pants. Thank you for the one month. Minecraft Transmaggle five dollars. Guys, Nick played patty cake with my sack. What? No shower can clean that. Yeah, what the fuck? Spooky, thank you for $5. Did you see that YouTube, um, wait, did you see the YouTube ad that claims to have your docs info? I tagged you on Twitter and YouTube wonders why we used ad block. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Okay, cats are two Canadian. Dream needs to call their moms. Ulysses Spiv, $2. Chud Soundboard, Uber based Oreo. I'm 23 years young minor. Atlantis Pup, $2. I'm freshly 25, turned 25 in May. Rick runs records, $10. So which is it? Are minors old enough to consent to gender affirming surgery or 18 year olds uh, vulnerable to help just children? Uh, somebody one gifted, somebody five dollars. Dream ne uh, kneeled to the mob. I don't feel sorry for whatever happens in the future. Game in which five dollars. I come back and the first thing I hear is I want my beaner blast. L L Lol, God, thank you for the new membership. Toon dog, two dollars. What are you doing, dog? What, what the dog doing? Cats a flock and two Canadian. What about the deaf black artist? Can she consent? Toon dog, two dollars. Two mad moment. Frenchie is fried, two dollars. Nick Diorio, I wouldn't even three. I'm not gonna say that because that's gonna get me clipped. But I appreciate all the donations. Super super chat speed run. Um. Oh, I'm going to get canceled. I just did the thing. Hold on. I'm going to look that thing up. There's a YouTube ad that's saying I can dox Nick Diori. I don't believe that. Um, that's actually hilarious, if true. Uh, but I need to see. You added my main. Well, that's going to be kind of hard to see. Scr skibbity scrolling. Um, Jesus Christ. I'm getting a lot of ads. Um... Nothing is popping up. I'm going to hit media. Maybe. No, that was not the right. Whoa. Okay, that was a bad idea. I know all my tweets now. Um... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Someone just sent me like some fucking Tumblr blog that says sexual assault is unwanted touching. Yeah, unwanted sexual touching. Yeah, dude. When I grabbed your stomach, I was like, God, yes. That's, that's, that's the fucking part. That's what gets me off the stomach. I patted you on the stomach. That's practically rape. Jesus Christ, you fucking retards. Um, uh, let me see. Tommy uh, C. It used to be Joe is the best. Uh, on Team Shock on the point. Uh, what is point. it? No, no, no. All right, I'm not seeing anything about this ad thing. But that'd be really funny if that was real. If you are still here shoot me another tweet preferably on the bunty king account though because i might see it faster there because i'm just scrolling oh. there we go okay Oh, I'm not unmuted. Isn't technically like a territory of any other country? Could you just go there and like spew your shit and then come back and <laughs> like when you don't stream or something for the holidays and then be fine? Yeah. Like, could you? Is that like does do it, it matter like what country you're in when you say it or just what, do it what country you're a citizen of? That's the best thing to do. Just stream from a fucking boat and call everyone a pedophile even when they're not <laughs> one. Based. Nicholas. What's up? Bro, you're getting worse than Tipster with a soundboard, bro. Sort, Wait, I didn't get the out. soundboard. You did. The Tommy's What's voice came through. Oh no, that was a that was on Twitter. Sorry, I wasn't. I was deafened, so you, I couldn't have soundboarded. 
Okay, but... What the fuck? Who's killing me? Stop it, Tom. What the fuck? I got a dono. <laughs> oh, you got a bounty? We're not even playing in a... What the fuck? Did they get... Dude, they gave me five dollars, dude. Yeah. Can Wait, you be arrested in the Goblin, UK for being fat phobic? You just sent me a tweet that deleted. Can you um, be arrested for being fat phobic? There's no way. I don't think so. No, it's all around like um. Well, I mean, technically, I guess you could because it's all about like ca causing offense or something like that. It's very reductive take, but yeah, there's there's a rule around the online communications act or something, and uh, something that like alarms or causes offense or something like that. Maybe not arrested, but a knock on the door from the police, perhaps. <laughs> what the fuck? This is insane. This is the craziest shit that I've ever seen as a YouTube ad. Bro, look at this. <laughs> they what, found... what, what are we looking at, Nick? We can't even see whatever you're showing us. We're just looking at fucking dreams. Dude, this is hilarious. <laughs> Dude, she's got a visible Dude, What are, what are we looking up. at? It's not on the Dude. fucking screen, Nick. It's in the chat. I just put it in the chat. Oh, it's in the fucking chat, so now we have to open a new fucking window, dude. Oh, yeah, I've seen this, yeah. That's hilarious! I'm actually, fucking... one, I'm actually the one running those ads, Nick. Um, I thought people <laughs> should know. I thought people should know. Dude, anyone can advertise in this space now. That's great. All right, let's keep going. With consent. Um, I have experienced <laughs> um, nonverbal consent uh, through See, people. I have experienced nonverbal consent. So he's saying that he's also been not essayed. We found Nicholas Diorio. Dude, we found him. Well, is this like a Kiwi Farms ad? What is this? I don't know. I mean, you can just go there, I guess. Oh, but... Yeah, true. Everyone click the link. Let me know what you find. Yeah, how I'm many sure. pieces did he have delivered to his house much, in the last day? How much shit, like, how many viruses did you get for clicking whatever that link says? You know, whether they're moving your hand to them or they're kissing you or they're doing something um, without saying, hey, you know, can I do this? Um, but... Also, all those experiences have been with um, being in a relationship, um, you know, or being with somebody that you've you've already been with, um, you know, many times. Or um, and that okay, is I will say different. this is one point I do kind of agree on is that like these fellas need to learn to stop being so fucking handsy so quickly, right? I think that's probably worth anyone. Was it that quick mind. after an hour of cuddling? Is I that... don't think that was quick, but I think that they probably is that quick. Shouldn't... No, 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 not quick. Sorry, I don't mean quick as in I, I just mean like it's the first time you met them. Right, like probably uh, just but for like, your own self benefit, uh, just for your own self preservation. Just I guess, I guess, but like that's just such a stupid fucking standard. Nobody should have to actually adhere to in the real world. Like, well, no, I mean, for, the, for the sake person... of saving your own career, you should not have yeah, consensual yeah. sex with random. No, 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 I'm not meet. saying that. I, no, 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 no. If a normal person off the internet has done this, and it wouldn't matter because the woman would feel a bit shit about it and then go about a date. But it's the fact that these people have platforms they can use to fucking destroy you when their mind changes that you should be a lot more cautious. Like I said, it's only a self-preservation thing. Well, if they want to cater to their retarded audience, I guess they should, but that, I, I'm never doing that. That's well, I'm not saying you have to, mate. You can uh, rape away. Go crazy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's a big difference between rape and silverbacking, okay? Oh, my God, <laughs> So just bro. chill out. What the fuck? There is a difference. I did not think about that or um, really acknowledge that. And so this is just me acknowledging that um, and uh, recognizing that um, I didn't process that. Um, uh, someone for uh, that I was talking to about this uh, yesterday um, uh, before uh, Katie's second post, um, they asked me, they said, they said, oh, well, w well, would you have done what George did? And I said, no. Um, and then they, of course, the next logical question is, well, why? And um, me answering that question uh, very much changed my perspective as well um, because I thought about it and I thought, well, I think that for the same reason that I was in the room and I, you know, I didn't, I, I wasn't thinking about you know, sexual things or thinking about ages or thinking about anything because we were just all hanging out. I would not have at all expected, I, I don't know this person. I don't know this person's body language. I don't know this person's, uh, you know, relationship with, with me or with, with, um, you know, any, anything at all. Um, and I would have felt uncomfortable, um, doing anything. And I, I, I thought about it and I thought I, I would have, and why would I have felt uncomfortable? Why would have felt uncomfortable? Because I would have thought, 
what if this person doesn't like this? And I would never want to do that. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, unless I was 100% sure on what I knew, I wouldn't. And I wouldn't ever be 100% sure in Jesus that Christ. situation. Um, He's being so careful with this wording, so bro. I that know, it's like infuriating to listen to. Rethink how I was thinking about the specifics of the situation. Um, now, uh, sorry, I'm just collecting my thoughts. Oh crazy. my, he's thinking of the next um, fucking thing to say. He's trying to recognize and take accountability. I think perspective that, at the uh, same time. and just to be, again, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm being completely honest. Oh, I have no script. You've tricked I have out the no house. plan of what I'm saying. I'm just going to say what I'm genuinely thinking. Um, I do not think that George is a bad person. I do not think that George was sitting there thinking, oh, you know, let me, oh, I, she's not going to like this or, oh, you know, anything. I think that uh, he did something fucked up. I think that what happened no, he didn't. was fucked up. He, he I think wasn't. that it was terrible. And I think that it's terrible. I feel terrible. It's terrible. Any involvement that I had, and I feel terrible for Katie. It is a Why? terrible situation. It is a terrible. What was terrible about it? I pain, don't understand the pain that she feels, and there's nothing that I can do to change Wait, that. Wait, pause it. Nothing... I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Some of these women actually need to experience. Oh pain. no! <laughs> okay, sorry. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sorry. D -d -d -d. Okay. Dude. 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 Okay. Let's just calm you down. You experience okay. love and warmth from Let's get a bit gorilla. fucking. Let's calm down a little bit. Okay. All I'm saying is. Right. Now, let me put it a different way. Okay. The reality is, some of these women and girls are quite young. Okay. So I think it's like they don't really know what the fuck's going on. They don't know. They don't have much life experience. But then all these retards around them yas like them, right? They into thinking like that something them. terrible has happened. Did you say yas light? Yes, that's the term for it, right? I mean, it's yeah. like gaslighting. Gas no, yas gas like, lighting. Uh, yes, yes, queen. You definitely got raped, queen. Right. I have that's never heard that, but that is so fucking epic, dude. What the hell? Yes. New yeah. terminology. All right. Keep keep, keep going, ape shit. In that George can do to change that, and that's fucked up. That is incredibly fucked up. Um, and sad and terrible and scary. And that's something that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to speak for George, so I won't. I'm sure he has, he has what he wants to say, and I will. He has, he will say it. Um, Jesus. And you know he's still putting out that other response. But, um, I left that night thinking that oh. voices wavering. Everything was a great experience, and everything was. You know, we, I had so much fun with new friends and old friends. You're kidding. And it's he's terrible no. thinking about no, looking back he's not. and knowing that someone else left it with not the, that same experience. And I wish that I had known that. I wish that I knew that then, in that in that moment. Dude. Um, You're fucking kidding. <laughs> I think happening. that... You're joking. That's so fucking funny, dude. Does he keep crying? Yeah, for like five minutes. I'm sorry. Dude! <laughs> Guys, he's not on a script. <laughs> dude. I know there's... A lot of people that think that I'm so calculated and everything that I do is so... planned out they're just talking about himself bro uh, you know i'm just i think right now that i'm being manipulative and i'm trying to you know i care about just you're fucking joking. my image or i can't believe this I mean, men are allowed to cry dude 
so Sorry. this is rough. I care about but people. I care. Dude! Stop! And I want people to talk to me if they have Stop. anything, any problem. With anyone, including myself. This like, this is the kind of reaction you'd expect if someone got, like, gang raped at your party in the next room and you didn't realize. And that, do you know what I mean? It's like the level this of is emotion. the reaction you would insane. expect from, like, the David Dobrik shit with that girl or whatever. Not fucking cuddling. She literally got fucking tummy tickled. She got her funny bone fucking smacked. And in, in, in exchange, we get this blabbering. I care about people. I'm not calculated. I care about people. The dream interview's off. It's fucking, it's ruined. I've just fucking destroyed hey. the chance of that happening. Whatever. That's crazy. Dude. This is and not, okay, is this, is this a real, okay, do you guys think this is a real cry? Does he, is he actually convincing himself that this is real or is it just fucking fake? I, is he really that psychopathic? He can just fake crying like that? It sounds genuine. But I don't, I, mean... I don't think so. It sounds like a real cry, but I don't know. The, the stuff he's saying, just like, there's no reason you should be crying over this. No, of course not. It's crazy. The fact that someone else is sad and I'm happy makes me sad, too. Yeah, it's it's he's he's crying because of what he thinks is going to happen to his career. He's not crying for any other reason, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, man. Dark stuff, dude. We live in dark times. Truly. I'm so thankful to not Why be part of these people's fucking community. Because I didn't read through his whole fucking tweet about gender affirming surgery. I'll just ban you. That's fine. If that's what you want. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just a realization, yeah, that you've got nothing to do with any of these communities and you've got the freedom to say and do what you want. I mean, with the reason, obviously. Um, like, is the money they make, <laughs> like, really, is it really worth this? Like, is it really worth it? I feel uh, like it's it depends. probably not. I mean, you know how many pinball machines they could probably afford? By the way, thank you guys. Yeah, but so then you can never do you. URR ever. You can never do URR we ever. We could do ultimate craft reviews where we could review arts oh and crafts. God. At the end of the day, being you know open and doing the content you want to do and saying what you want to say is worth all the money, I think. <laughs> yeah, also, people, people, if you're part of this community, people start shipping you with your fucking friend and all like right. drawing pictures of you sucking Question. each other's dicks. Can we stop memeing this and just play Fortnite or something now? I need to keep listening, dude. <laughs> well, no, we can keep doing... It... No, I'm sorry. I want to keep listening to this. I just don't want to play the Minecraft part anymore. Oh. Can I just play Fortnite? You're tapping out? Yeah. It's upsetting you? Uh, dude, oh, yeah, I'm getting so emotional about the Minecraft stuff. I'm Do you feel the need to rape by playing Minecraft? I'll, well, I, will, I, I, I will play Fortnite with you, sure. Okay, because it is... Honestly, it is annoying that I have to keep tabbing out. I want to go back on my fucking Xbox. Holy shit, streaming on PC sucks balls. And also, the PC gets warmer, and it literally is like lighting me on fire right now. So Ugh. That's why I gotta buy a new Alienware. Only good PC brand on the market. Um, here we go. Oh, sorry. That's, that's not me pausing it. He's just been... He hasn't said anything. There he is. I never want to hurt anybody. I never want to do too bad. I, uh, I think it's worth noting that you'd probably have a different perspective if he stuck his hand down her pants. What do you, what does the panel think about that? Um, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, yeah, that quickly in front of the other people, especially you know, in front crazy. of other people. Yeah, but did yeah. he even? Did he? She didn't clarify. Did he grab her breast? I thought he just like touched her stomach. I believe that's what happened, Jay. I think it's not like it's not like he was fucking. Areas. He was going like bazonker mode on the bazoongas. You know what I'm saying? Like it was. It, was it felt like more like a kind of like a, a, a touch to establish if that was gonna progress further from there. You know. Yeah, he was just trying to feel her. He's just trying to check her BMI. You know, oh, like it's not a big deal. No, Going for the pulse. <laughs> the fucking capture card is doing the thing. Oh, I'm seething. I'm fucking seething, bro. I'm stuck. I should name Tom Dark, but you're not diverse, dude. I'm fucking. I'm I'm half Ukrainian. I'm half Palestinian, dude. I am diverse. I want to do evil. I never want to contribute to anyone's life in a negative way. And I'm sorry. Damn, that was deep. So Wait, are you on Fortnite? Reiterate. I can't go on Fortnite. My capture that... card's fucked. I'm back on Minecraft. 
And I okay, well, I'm gonna play fucking Fortnite. What I'm, Holy shit! Just to say, because I feel it necessary to say, because it is what I believe, and it is how I feel. I think that George left that night feeling the same way that I did. And I think that that's just as fucked up as the fact that I didn't know. Damn. All right. So he finally defends George. The problem lies in that. Um, no one even articulated to him that he George was a fucking know. sexually assaulter. And he should have known. Wait, sorry, did he say he should have known. known? No, he should have, like, someone should have notified him at some point that he was a sexual assaulter. And I think that's something that he has problem. to accept and oh, reflect no. on himself. Wait, whoa, uh, whoa, hold on, never mind, Chud was right. Um, Yeah. George didn't know, and he should have known. He should have known. But, but how can he have known when the woman went back to him and the messages and after he was like, not like hot to trot, but like friendly at least, right? Like she never said anything to suggest that she was completely uncomfortable and felt raped by what happened ever until recently. This is so. How could he fucking know? This is crazy. It's bro. fucking stupid, man. He has to accept and reflect on himself, um, and realize. I think that. He has stuff to say that he will. I don't know exactly what it will be or what he'll say. Um, I love George. I think that... Gay? <laughs> <laughs> He's been my best friend for a very long time. Oh. Wait, look at Willie Mac. Willie Mac in chat. He wants to see put his hand up. Friend for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Mac see. shows like, let me on, let me on. That's me. He's been my Dude, best he's try best Willie's friend. trying to give him the call right now on the bottom right. Tom, do you see that? Dude, at VidCon, I was cuddling with Willie Mac show for a fucking hour, and he put his hand on my fucking toe, and I instantly came, <laughs> and I got raped. Dude. <laughs> Dude, this is insane, though. I, how do, of all the fucking big YouTubers to fucking randomly show up in the middle of the dream thing on the fucking recording forever, Willie Mac show, it, like, while he's crying, he's like, Willie's like, come on, let me in! Let me in! Help! Let me help! A long time. Dude, he's, he's like a hound dog. Old school journalism. Yeah, Straight in there at the ground level. So Willie's he's trying to give the fire It's not from Hassan. Yeah, he's, dude, he's, <laughs> he's, he feels the Hassan blood coming right now. He sees the blood in the water. He's gonna debate the fuck out of him right now. And that doesn't matter. He's sending fucking laughing emojis. <laughs> in the context of the situation. Wait, what is that? Why, dude, why is he taunting him so hard? He's saying that to give perspective into. Dude, look at him spamming emojis. I'm just saying that. That's it. <sighs> dude, I wonder if Willie knows he's been immortalized. I guess I don't I probably missed things I didn't write anything down I probably should have uh, yeah I don't know what else I can really add this isn't about me this is about Katie um, All right. so I guess I'll reiterate I'm sorry Katie I really am That's it. I'm sorry. I really am. Ooh. Done. Old. He ends it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you guys want to keep talking about this a little bit more, or do you want to go into the secret rape? I'm easy, man. I think well, maybe we should give closing statements on this. <clears throat> I, um, this I think it's not clear. Be long. We can go back to it. I just, I really need, because I don't know when you guys are going to like leave. So I'm just, I'm just going to give a, a good closer, because I, I feel like we've probably said as much as we can say on this, apart yeah. from, I want to give a little closing statement. Wait, he took I think the video it's, down uh, while I've been live. Oh no. Who? Okay, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Dude, just. Yeah, sorry. Keep going. Okay, I think, uh, I think it's clear. Who is this fucking bald? Okay. I think, I think it's very clear. That uh, what happened in that room was not sexual assault. I think there's there's no two ways about it. From Katie's description after the fact of what happened, from the fact that she lied by omission, by not talking about the cuddling thing, I think it's extremely clear to everyone that she was not assaulted. 
Nothing bad happened in that room. Everyone was fine for it at the time. For some reason, she talked to some friends afterwards, like what basically happened with Slazo, where uh, Che started talking to Hyojin and people like that. Someone managed to convince her that she was assaulted, and that's why we're in the position we are now. There's no way, literally anything, resembling sexual assault happened between them. There's no way. Unless there's another incident we're not hearing about, which there definitely is not um, at this point. So I think it's clear that, and I think it's clear that, that their response is based on the fact that George caught her in multiple lies, and now has had to back down. Something happened behind the scenes we don't know about. And uh, it's disappointing to see, but ultimately, like, how can you, how can you defend these people? You can defend your own principles. You can defend how you feel about it. Yeah. But as Nick said, like, there's no point in sticking your neck out for these people because they will always fucking buckle under the pressure of these fucking losers. So, well, yeah, I had yeah. this play. This is uh, this was Destiny reacting to Pokemon after we were fighting with him a couple of years ago. And this is what instantly came to mind when I saw that George apologized. Wait, what is this Pokemon video? My overdue apology. You hear the silence right now? You hear that? Wait, is this real? Wait, hold on. No, oh, she cut. It's because she wants to be fucking. Oh my. Wait. That was every YouTuber who woke up to see George's tweet. Like they all did that exact same motion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, it was it was totally unnecessary. Like he'd won, as far as I could see. The tide was turning, and then completely. I mean, I mean, it, it wasn't like I don't know what if they'd expected like a complete decisive victory right away. That's never how it works, anyway. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's always more of a slow burn thing, but it was turning. Like you had stand accounts who were previously uh, calling them pieces of shit, coming yeah, on being like, "Yeah, Rick, they were." Why did Katie do this? Why did Katie do that? Hey, Morty, I'm gonna fucking rape this Mr. Will Gorilla mode. Um, but yeah, like clear, clearly, clearly, people smell blood in the water. They they bit, and uh, now these guys are just backing out because they're By the scared. Way, on screen scared. is George not found. Would your opinion change if he looked like that? If that what? guy touched your stomach. I mean, Dude, what? if George looked like that and he touched your stomach at a party, would it change your mind? Like the, the bald guy who looks like he's, he hasn't showered in a month. If that guy touched your stomach, would your opinion change? He's actually, he's got more of a skullet going on, which I actually respect. He's got like, there is hair. It's just, he's got just back there. gold going on there a little bit. Yeah, he's someone in chat's like, guilty, guilty, guilty. Asma gold, Asma gold isn't that bad. Come on. He just needs to get on keeps. He'll be fine. Oh no. All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Does anyone know what Eve Online is? Because I don't. Apparently, it's, it's like, like a space game. It's a space. It's the game, game that down the rabbit hole did like a six fucking hour video about. So Asher Tarathi, whatever the fuck his name is. All right, guys. Apparently, he's asking his audience if he should quit. And I was going through the comments here, and some of them are some fucking vandal savage. Okay, there's some crazy shit going on here. Uh, get the wood chipper is the first one that pops Ooh. up. Uh, Hello. Let's see. Nice. Um, he, oh, God. All right. Uh, oh, 72 hour news cycle. Everyone will forget. Works with politicians. So there's, it's it's down the middle. You know, people aren't sure. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Now, I'm a big fan of this content creator that I've never seen before. Asmund with the N64 controller haircut? Bro, don't do him like oh, that. No, bro. <laughs> don't do him Greetings, like that. Greetings, fellow Empyreans. I am <laughs> Empyreans? Oh, right. Guilty. Pedophile. <laughs> pedophile. 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 Greetings, fellow Empyreans. What the fuck Ashra. are you talking about? <laughs> Greetings, fellow Empyreans. I am Ashrathi, and this is simultaneous. Is this fucking ID. role play? I am Ashrathi. I'm I am the fucking king of the fifth guard of the fucking Azeroth spaceship, and I will be raining down on Zathura fucking mountain this Thursday. To apologize for fucking sticking it in. What the fuck is going on? Chad, I'm gonna where, the, where the where Nick? Where the fuck did you find this? Snaggle daggle. This has like poll. one view. I'm gonna start. A where poll. the fuck Guilty? am I? Yes or no? Okay. Well, he can just say, look, look, I was role playing in my my planet that I'm from. The age of consent's ten, so it's okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, he's from fucking Amozeville. Been <laughs> wanting to make for years, and simultaneously dreading it. The title is no clickbait. I am here what is the title? to ask you. Should I quit Eve Online? The simple question. Okay. Should I quit Eve Online? Should I quit playing the game? Should I quit making content? By the way, 92% of the people in the poll say this guy's guilty, and we are 29 seconds in, and we don't even know what he did yet, just to be clear. Right. 
I love EVE Online. I love making content for EVE. And I love the community that has... <laughs> Maybe you should be more ambitious in quitting. <laughs> ...grown around the content that I make and what I say about the game and elsewise. elsewise. However, details Illiterate. about my past continue to haunt me. And <laughs> at this uh -oh. point, I feel like it has become... I have become a detriment to the people that care about me and to people that support me, at least inside the game. So I wanted to come clear and clean. What did this guy do? Being... Who knows? What the well, fuck did he do? Whatever he did do, he's admitting he did it because of details from my past. That's a implicit suggestion. It happened, All right, well, right? we don't know that yet. Maybe he just misspoke. Let's give him some charitability. Okay. And said about One me. minute into the 10 minute video. Still don't know what the fuck you did. Just come out and say I raped or I didn't rape. Can it be two minutes, please? I don't have a fucking attention span for this. I watched Skibbity Toilet in Ohio fucking Zyli gets all real, on TikTok. says Burr. he was a Nazi, calling it now. So Zyli's one in the chat for Nazi, all right? Tom thinks he's a pedophile or a rapist. And, uh... No, I did not think anything. I'm just saying okay. what's going on. Yeah. Someone says he's got that DoorDash Riz. Check him out sometime. Someone oh, wait, said this we is a different should, person. Someone said we should put him oh, on quartering speed. They were talking about Nick speed. DiOrio. Wait, Jack Dittman wants me to put him on quartering speed. I'm not really sure why. That's an interesting request, but we'll try it. Truth. Look. Why are you doing this now? <laughs> he said he wanted quartering Four. speed, Sean. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's keep going. And Can we go on 1.25? Hold wait, just you got you got it. This hits. This hits. Just hold on. Dude. Hold just on. it's club shit out. Just get through it. No, we're good. I I appreciate all of your guys' understanding. And if at any point you've decided that you no longer want to support me, you can make that decision. You can let me know if you would like to. But I guess to get to the crux of it first, in 2004, I had, was returning from Iraq. and What the fuck? <laughs> How old is this fucking guy? He was in like Desert Storm and shit? What the? <laughs> Does he know Vega? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> yeah, you didn't think it was going to start like that, did you? <laughs> In fucking Iraq, did he kill someone? Did he did he like mow down dipshit Palestinians? What's going on? Ex wife had left me, and my ex wife had left me. Our house was trashed, and I had less than a hundred dollars in my name. I went home on leave, and a girl that I had known before, but not overly well. Uh, turns out that she had gained a bit of an obsession with me. She was underage. She was a teenager. But she knew about me and the war hero, quote unquote. <laughs> and Dude. after everything with my ex, uh, I found that she backed the blue. very intoxicating. After several days of she was just thanking him for his service. Together. We had sex uh, on one evening. Oh! oh. I... Chat, I gotta hit the button. I'm sorry. <laughs> Spam the logo. Oh. <clears throat> Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Dude, that's my favorite line. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> how way, old was she? By the way, uh, so we'll get to that. But so, if you want to know how this all went down, if you go to his channel right now, there is some good news. How do people even find out about this? Two thousand and four. <laughs> this woman's like forty. No, no, now. you don't understand. There's some good news. You can't stop the signal. Yo. <laughs> I'm not quitting. Let's go. Hello, Empyreans. I remain Ashtarothy, the voice of New Eden. Dude. 
This guy's based. Holy shit. He's he going to keep, keep plowing through. He's going to keep plowing into his life for long career and so, also underage teenagers. So, so on right. one hand, we've got a guy who fucked an underage girl because he was a war hero or something. And this guy is like uh, refusing to leave. And then we've got fucking George Not Found who fucking found some belly button shit. And he's fucking leaving or whatever. And he's gay. And like Wait, it's, fucking it's dream, is, so dream is it's having so gay sex. Like, what is what going on? No, it's so much worse than what you think. Do you know how they found out? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll Did he say it? Bit. No, it's even worse than that, dude. It was a mistake. I I should have been the adult in the situation and understood that... You were the adult in the situation. Young and impressionable <laughs> and being Ooh. likely very foolhardy at the time. And I should have been the responsible one. And I wasn't. And I regret that. Since then, uh, I was charged by the military and served my time. That's how they know. Uh, the age gap was oh. 21 and... Wait, let's guess. Show of hands, what do you guys think? Underage, 15. What do you think, Tom? Um, I'll go with on the border. I'll go with 17 and a half. 17 and 364 days. Okay, th <laughs> this is the quote. He proceeds to spin a story of a rape conviction on his cousin, who was 13 at the time, while he was 21. He got military oh, prison for five years and proceeded to try to contact his cousin again when she turned 18, with her making a Twitter post about having to block him and get a restraining order. His YouTube video she was, tries to spin the story and paint She was 13? Oh, God. Oh. Suppose she I, was 13? Now, keep in mind, as I say that, I am i haven't found the court documents yet, but the overwhelming thing that I'm seeing from other people who've reported this are saying that it was 21-13, yeah. Oh. I mean, that is pedo. That is full pedo. So, by the way, guys. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, fellow Empyreans. I remain Ashtarothi, the voice of New Eden. And this is not a video. Dude, about I would not expect a captain to leave his ship, no matter the fucking circumstances, okay? So, he goes know. down with the crew, dude. Captain Buttsex is staying on top. Yeah. Dude, so and he talks about it, but he goes into detail. Like he's he's really like, listen, hold on. In a military facility, um, I spent time on probation. I went through several classes and analysis, classes, and psychological testing, both as part of the case. Wait, how did I still don't understand period. how they found this out? So he's gonna tell you. He's gonna tell you after, and continue to see a therapist um, to this day, partially continue to make sure to assure myself that this is not a concern i've had no desire for anything like that and i can assure you her young age was not a factor in making me interested in the situation <laughs> if anything it was a detriment is this does that make it okay <laughs> absolutely not does that make me a pedophile no. now let me say uh, this in hmm. particular the reason why people have been wanting me to leave the community is because they think that i am a monster I understand that. Well, and I get why they would want a monster like that out of their community. Because of this, I have had to. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to steal Chud Logic's voice thing, but. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Uh oh. The panel, like the panel convicted appellant uh, inter alia of carnal knowledge with his 13 year old cousin and also of committing Wait, knowledge acts Car they, they convicted him of knowledge wait what is this uh carnal oh, knowledge <laughs> dude of knowledge uh this offense they occurred. convicted him of fucking knowing how to sell oh, like, why why man. knowledge does that just mean that he knew hold on no no i mean, no, I mean carnal knowledge it means you know had sexual in relations with the person right carnal knowledge Sexual intercourse between two people requires. Why some knowledge? Was it a book? It means penetration. That's what it means. It means penetration. N it, penetration it, is it, called it means, knowledge. It means yeah, that you're you gonna know what's very well. Dick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> it's so gross, bro. It's a thirteen-year-old. I you said it's a joking. Tom. Tom's twenty-one, bro. He's a twenty-one-year-old <laughs> child. Tom's Tom's of legal oh, God, age man. to drink at VidCon. Dude, this is the most legit one I've heard in ages. Because if anything, Minecraft, you should be more offended on. that it was gay. <laughs> wait what no i'm talking to what i'm talking to tom I was it was like wait it was comment. a guy no no i'm not kill not, him why are you guys talking about the 13 year old i'm talking about having sex with tom 
<laughs> what you're talking about was like Tom. What are you, you wrong with you? you? I, I'm talking about this, and you're just like, God. What about the 13 year old? What do they think? Who cares, bro? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he literally fucked Aiden Projects. No, this is oh. fucked. This is fucked beyond belief. Oh God! All right, where were we? He had sex with a kid. Dude, yeah, I need to hear the rest did. of his story. Yeah, I, oh, oh, give him a chance. him out. Dude, dude, pizza, dude this dude Chad Logic's like, it's a glob shit. Oh, let it keep going. And then I pull out the ages, and you're like, 13, 21? Let me hear more. I don't know why I just turned you into um, I turned you into the the guy from The Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> It doesn't Bane? matter who we are. All that matters is the fire is rises. <laughs> it was mature for her own. <laughs> Look at what she was wearing. I broke your body. Dude, Bane was a pedophile, and he was the only pedophile to escape the pit. Go to is that the military Bruce facility? And... <laughs> the military pit. No. Yeah, the only reason They're... to go to Gotham City was to lower the age of consent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is crazy. Hey. Herpes and other places with. Did he just say he got herpes? Some no studies. Truly. Oh. Uh, well, we looked at horrific, the data. Horrific, terrible th people, and I just wanted to make sure it is clear that I think that pedophilia is monstrous. More <laughs> than anything, I wanted to try to make that distinction. So why am I bringing this up now? You didn't make it very In clear, did you? 2016, I believe it was. I ran for the CSM. And then uh, a few years ago, it was shown or people figured out that if you knew how, you could use the old CSM pages in order to get everybody's real life information. And so from that, all of us were doxxed. And as a result of that, my background came to light and has been circulated amongst certain communities within EVE since then. Now, do you know what that means? Gary. At the time, this I did great. not address it. I mean, up until now, I did not address it publicly because I saw this as an attempt to dox me, which I found. So people were like, hey, why did you fuck your 13 year old cousin? He goes, dude, you're doxing me. You're, you're doxing me. You're doxing me. You sound kind of like a Kiwi farmer right now. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Jesus. That is the least charitable interpretation of everything Keffel's tweets. Uh, I, as a streamer and as a YouTuber, I found this very concerning and that I knew I saw this as a trick to attempt to dox myself further, right? They couldn't, they often they would not post the actual doxing information, but the, the having to address the allegations. Would... Dude, they wouldn't post the dox, just the fact that you fucked your 13 year old cousin <laughs> and that you were convicted by your fucking, by the, like of, of this crime. And they, they're like, they're not doxing me. They're not going to post my address. Just this one weird factoid. <laughs> like, you, you didn't, it didn't just like click that there was a reason why that was being like pushed forefront instead of, you know, your home address and your phone number. Like Involve having to dox myself. And uh, up until that point, I, I felt like that was uh, an additional concern. And that brings us to now, where, because I haven't said anything about this, uh, people have been able to kind of come to their own conclusions. Fuck. And it has continued to spread around the community. And many of you may have even... Well, thank God it. we haven't come to our own conclusions. We got it from the source, guys. We know what we're talking about. I wanted to tell you guys what is going on, what happened, uh, and be upfront about it. Do you it. know this guy fought my, alongside my Dead on Dave and Tommy C.? No, nah, I'm just making that up. Nicholas, I swear to God, up. okay, given a long enough time in your stream, every single commentary person, the orbiters, everyone gets mentioned. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't understand. You guys don't talk about other people in your streams? If I was in your community, I'd be dropping references to Fnatic and to fucking Prime Kai's and Dylan Burns, like once a tweet or once a stream. I don't know. I tend to focus on people that are relevant, to be honest. <laughs> Bro... But the Glub Shittos make this more fun. You never you never sit there and you just think, God. No, I agree. I what agree. What does Talk Jessica about Pizzle think person. about this? <laughs> you know? You ever been there? You're just like, God. I'll be back. I got to piss. What is Colton's okay. opinion on this hot button issue? <laughs> anyway, listen, I'm only fucking around. Listen, everyone makes it happen together, right? A, a very rich tapestry, uh, the YouTube scene, isn't it? Everyone's got it's their It's funny, place. some fucker on JSTOC stream, what's that bitch's name, Seven? Was Nick's elitist. He uh, fucking hates all small content creators or some shit like that. I don't know, I'm being super uncharitable, to be honest. But, um, 
yeah, no, I don't know. I talk about everybody. Now, most of the time I'm insulting them. Um, but yes, I'm a, I'm a big proponent in making fun of small creators. <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't, I don't, you know, I think everyone starts somewhere, right? And that's cool. But I just, I hate the way people act super like, like they know what the fuck's going on when they've got like 50 subs or something. It's like, you know, people need to understand that they need to grow a bit and get a bit of perspective. If you know. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Hold on. I, I can't read this. I need someone else to read this. Chud, stand back, buddy. There's a breaking news. Apparently, Ethan Klein threatened a lawsuit tonight. What? Ethan Klein wants to sue Reddit because there's too much harassment on the site. We're, we're getting the source from r slash YouTube drama right now. Jeez. Oh, yeah, I love that cool. subreddit. Here, we gotta... I just gotta... I, my, my, my buddy said he'll read it, but I just have to send him the script. Hold on. Um, two seconds. My piss was pure black, by the way, for those wondering in chat. Oh, it's like... That's the monster. Brilliant. Okay, oh. Dada, Dada, what's going on? Bro, come on. What's happening? Sorry, I'm just... My, my friend's reading it, and I'm just getting the recording. All right, here we go. Ready? Uh, yeah. I'll put right. it on screen so you guys can translate it with uh, glup speak. Here. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Good. Go Ethan ahead, Klein, co-host of the widely followed H3 podcast, has taken a public uh, stand against what he sees as a failure by Reddit to curb harassment targeting his team and their families, oh my God, originating from a specific subreddit. The H3 podcast is a significant player in the podcasting world, ranked 21st for its large weekly audience, according to Edison Research. During a Thank live you for the episode, fucking giant pretext about what h3 podcast is <laughs> as if the youtube drama subreddit doesn't already watch it every day so on march dude. they all needed that 13th klein addressed the subreddit r slash h3 snark why did it know how to say that correctly countering a viral post that falsely claimed the er slash h3 h3 productions moderators allegedly under klein's instruction were censoring posts mentioning ramadan klein clarified the situation by stating the logs of the subreddit show there is no record of the post in question, aiming to set the record straight. Klein's concerns go beyond correcting misinformation. He pointed out that the issue has escalated to brigading and harassing crew members and their family members. It, it needs to stop. And this harassment has not only affected the well-being of those involved, but has also impacted Klein's business as he expressed frustration over the spread of what he considers defamatory lies. Dude, what the fuck is that? On and off Reddit. Drama alert, dude. Despite presenting evidence of the harassment to Reddit, to Klein has been Nuda. dissatisfied with the platform's response. The controversial subreddit was briefly taken down, but quickly reinstated, which led to further complications. Wait, what the, the fuck does Ramadan have to do with of it? Of an H3 podcast sub. Oh. I don't know if you followed it, but basically, um, Ethan Klein has been in hot water recently for being anti-Palestine, even though he's not. And there's a video that surfaced when he was apparently being racist towards Muslims in some vlog from eight years ago. Dude, you're not going to oh, believe I saw this. That, yeah. Do you know who the yeah. first person to dig that up was? Who? Me. <laughs> but then, but then, but then, the, but then the Twitter that like Twitter account got it got like thirty thousand likes. No, no, no. Whatever. We did this four Sorry, years ago. Saw. Oh, yeah, but there's a Twitter account that like tweeted out and got a ton of likes being like they're clearly back yeah, then? Yeah. No, 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 recently, no, like oh, just I know, now. I know, I know. They, they, they dug it up again and people were acting like they'd seen it for the first time. I remember when that video was posted. I watched it when it came Whose out. Video it's the one where they go to the they go to the wall. They're like, look at all these Jews, dude. Was that in my video or your video? But we had this, yeah. Well, that was part uh, of the watch drama as well. They, they bring up old videos and act like it's new so they can further shit on him along their political lines, right? Well, that yeah. was the issue with Content Nuke. It was all old. Old shit. Um, but here we go. Sorry, I gotta just reset this. And... A Reddit moderator. A decision that has been criticized by the podcast team. After the moderator submitted several instances of site-wide rule-breaking, Klein is contemplating taking legal action against Reddit for what he sees as their failure to adequately address the harassment, stating... I've gone through every available channel, and if this doesn't get taken care of, then I'm going to have to start holding Reddit accountable. His stance reflects a broader concern for the impact of online behavior on individuals' lives and businesses. Klein's public comments, however, stop short of a definitive commitment to legal action. He expresses a hope that Reddit will proactively address and halt the abuse, thereby eliminating the need for any further action. 
I like that it's like an Klein's amazing, like, it's see. like a perfect narration, like, thereby eliminating the need for any further action. Like, he reads it with fucking passion. He reads it with fucking vigor. He reads it like he's actually interested into it, because he is. It's fucking tipster. He cares. The goal is to see an end to the harassment affecting his crew and their loved ones, relying on Reddit's cooperation before considering further steps. Klein's determination to combat online harassment is underscored by his history of engaging in legal battles, including a notable lawsuit with disgraced Hollywood executive Ryan Kavanaugh and a landmark fair use case. Through these challenges, Klein emphasizes the importance of legal measures in protecting individuals and entities from unfounded accusations and harassment online. Damn. Thank you, tipster. Um, that was an amazing narration, dude. Good read. Oh, then there was... <laughs> Wait, and did you see the Dark Viper like flipped out against Ethan? Today? Oh my! Did you see oh, that against show? Ethan? Yeah, it was so funny. He looked like a total for what, loser. dude? I read this and I'm like, oh, well, this guy sucks. Wait, um, because I was trying to remember the last time I talked freak. about Dark Viper, then I realized we're in the H3 call H3 with the fucking guy. made fun of this cringy fucking thing. Here, it's sad that Ethan Klein's announcement of taking an indefinite break from H3 was clickbait. <laughs> As someone who's been in incessantly harassed by him for years in front of thousands, oh God, he is dude. one of the tr who truly deserves being driven off the internet. A bully beloved by bullies. I'm not even kidding you. 14 pages. What do you say? <laughs> sex offender. The answer is 14. <laughs> okay. Well, they call him a sex a, offender? Okay, that painted a very different picture. Okay, that's, uh, that's a little, well, you know, I kind of disavow that. But yeah, uh, has he just put like a clip, has he just put a, a, a highlight reel of all the times he got owned by H3? <laughs> I think so. He put like an H3. That's H3. So funny, right? 14 pages what do you say? sex offender the answer is 14 it's 14 pages mm -hmm. um, it's 14 14 pages. words oh. 14 pages that's right 14 <laughs> 14 pages 14 pages divided by 14 it's 14 okay. pages <laughs> because one of my favorite oh, wait, people they're the clipping internet. every time this motherfucker played the sound bite on the show that is oh the most God, autistic man. thing that's it. I have ever seen. That Dark Viper, 14 pages! You remember this guy? It's Bro, 14 you pages! Just I wrote 14 <laughs> pages! I mean, this is fucking harassment. This is so retarded, Dude, man. He just put up, getting shit on. He just posted a highlight reel of himself getting bullied, and it's hilarious. Page 14. Well, he wrote 14 pages. It's but, a 14 okay, page if document. you want me to consider your thesis, I need another 14 pages on this. Wait, I want to take it seriously. 14 pages. How have you read his material? He's just a Fucking idiot, bro. He's 14 pages. That's what it's what? 14 pages. <laughs> 14 pages. 14. It's 14 pages. It's 14 pages. This is insane. Why does he say that? What what was he <laughs> referencing with the 14 pages? What is this even about? It's it's his research document that he made. Remember his 14 page document? On I thought it was contest? 1400. Like, no. I thought it was way more than no, that. No, it's 14 pages, and then, like, everyone's making- He's like, it's not hard to read, it's 14 pages or something. Yeah, it's so funny, bro. Oh, man. Well, the thing is, that the term harassment has been watered down so much. I don't think someone shitting on you on their stream is No, I think this is actually sexual right? assault. My bad. We've been using this term <laughs> yeah. wrong. I mean, this is Ethan assault. basically raped Dark Viper. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, God. That's um, great. But I mean, you know, it's difficult because I think going after the Reddit thing is cringe. But like that subreddit is fucking insane, and it's like if someone is just telling lies about you, like, what do you do about that? I mean, it's tough, isn't it? Fourteen pages and eighty-eight sentences. Jesus, my darling Keffels <laughs> never lies. About I knew that me. was coming. <laughs> I was just saying it. Okay, I Wait, wasn't going to say chad, it. Chad. But, uh... Someone in my chat. My chats. darling Keffels never lies about me. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's like fucking 20 tips to references at this point. I lost count, to be honest. Oh, no, me boys. You are <laughs> Do you like my new soundboard button? This is my new button, ready? Dude, I want to I wanna hear you guys' take on this fucking shit. I'm interested. Come on, Which speak take? up. On who? The fucking H3 lawsuit you claim. Well, I don't know. I haven't read it? the lawsuit, but it sounds gay. It sounds like he's going to lose. Bro, no. Uh, people are mean to me retard. online, so I'm suing Reddit to stop them. Okay, but there's a, okay, you fucking moron. It's not just being mean. It's like making shit up about you, right? Yeah, like you're gonna telling sue lies the about platform? you. Who the fuck? I mean, maybe Ethan has. No, I know. I one, said the like Reddit it's... thing is cringe, but what do you do when some anonymous retard is posting shit about you that has a detriment on your fucking, you know, your your, your perspective? Uh, uh, on to, your... to be honest, I just, I just fucking, 
I mean, I get taking it down as maybe like an avenue, but I usually just ignore it. People people say crazy shit about me every day. They say I'm a Nazi. Funny after just read the fucking 14 chat, but people say I'm a Nazi. People say all this crazy shit on that subreddit. Like oh, when yeah. I hang out yeah. with when I hang out with YouTubers, there's posts with thousands of likes. Like Wendigoon hang out with non racist <laughs> turkey time. Like I just fucking it's just like just meme it and move on. It's whatever. Oh. Because these, these people, if, if somebody is spewing falses, it doesn't stick. It just By the way, away. can we get a final verdict on him? I got I got a button for that. Final verdict on As a Thought. Who won? Who's there? Show the song! <laughs> but wait, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, obviously he's a fucking nonce. Done. Done deal. Okay? Full-blown I mean, nonce. Yeah. We use a different word, but yeah. What, pedo? <laughs> Yeah, dude. Well, that's his argument. His argument is that the person was thirteen, not twelve. So technically, by dictionary definition, he's an ebophile. He's a he's a, he's a file <laughs> not a nah, pedophile. <laughs> At that point, I don't think it's worth splitting hairs. I mean, I don't. Okay, I'm not going to say that. No, go on. Just uh, no. Listen, I don't think it's. Uh, Wait, uh, I'm hold on, Smaggle. Can you call in? Because I don't want to say that. Because I don't know the. I don't know the fucking. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Did, is that in here? Does he mention that? Where where did you get that? That's 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 not real. There's no way that's real. Um, sorry, I just want to say one thing quickly on the Ethan Klein thing, though, Tom. I get where you're coming from, and I tend to agree with you. But if like people are contacting your <gasps> business, like oh. where do we? Draw I mean, the if they're contacting there? sponsors, like I understand wanting to get it taken down. Like I don't I don't necessarily blame Ethan. I'm just saying like my general policy is just oh. to not. Yeah, yeah, sure. Them. Yeah, I guess what yeah, I mean. I mean you, I just, you just don't want to even validate these people. Yeah, of course you got to ignore as much as you can. But I guess it gets to a point where it's impossible to ignore. You know, if you've got an actual impact on your business. Yeah, if they're if they're affecting your income, I mean, at that point, just fuck it. Get the subreddit banned, whatever. Guys, guys, <laughs> a lot more to say on this topic. I don't want to come across as making any sort of defense or excuse or anything like that. I did what I did. It was 20 years ago. And now I am a, I am attempting to raise a 10 year old son. With autism. <laughs> and making ends meet. And Dude. making content on Oh boy. I, I think he probably just shouldn't have that child. Apparently he is a ten year old autistic son. His kid is his kid is within fucking. Alright, but in in, him, in, so in, think, in oh his defense, in his defense him away. he's being accused of being a pedophile, not a gay pedophile. The worst kind of pedophile. <laughs> a straight one? What? No, gay oh, one. Okay. No, so come on. <laughs> There's any okay? Go, look, stop, just dude. This guy's a nonce. Okay, it was a good, good little segment. What else is there to say about this guy? Like he's well. To be fair, he's fucking plowing through. I mean, what can you say? He's you know at least committed to Sound even line of a cad was one hundred percent correct. Whoa, dude! <laughs> I didn't take Why you as got... a, I didn't take you as a depends on the child type guy, but. Um... <laughs> That was in relation to him racist, to be clear. Okay? <laughs> I know, I know. I played a soundboard clip chat. Don't don't get on him for that. I did that the other night during the rape panel. I played the one where you're like, daddy, daddy, or whatever, over and over again. And you were saying that, like, while the person, like, the food shop's person was explaining their fucking pedo disease. Okay. <laughs> and the chat was like, what the fuck, Sean? This is really weird. And you didn't catch it? Oh. <laughs> uh. Dude, you are literally the worst for derailing. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what, what are we doing right now? Dude, half the content is the derail. <laughs> Not according to Tom's chat. Tom's chat is absolutely eviscerating you, mate. Tom is Tom's chat's death cringe, upon you. Bro. Oh, well, I mean, like, get in line, motherfucker. The Minecraft kids want me dead for years, bro. What did the guy say? He was going to, like, stab me with a rusty shovel or something like that today? Because I, I can't talk about his queen. Um, did you guys see... Uh, so the there's like a bunch of subreddit posts about George. We're going back to George. Okay. A bunch of subreddit posts about George. Did you see this shit? This is the, yeah. the, what the YouTube fuck? They're so small I can't even read them. Yeah, that's the I'll, I'll pull up ones that are bigger. But this is like 40 bands. Like any person who is not 100% on the side of um what's it called? Katie. Yeah. Well, Mrs. Bug. By the way, they unpinned the post about James Somerton being alive to put up a thing called Destiny George Not Found and the Myth of Being a Perfect Victim. Oh my god, man. But yeah, anybody it, who's it, even like slightly anti katie gets immediately banned from the subreddit. I mean, I mean that's it's, it's to be obviously, expected, right? They're harassing her. 
Yeah, I mean, it's obviously, you know, cringe um, echo chamber shit. But the most annoying thing about these people is they want to talk about drama. But if you put it on them, they freak the fuck out like this brainy biscuit. Well, they freak. only they only want to talk about drama from their perspective, like the YouTube drama subreddit, right? You can only talk about drama if it's from their like leftist fucking perspective. Yeah. Well, because they're all H bomber guy fans. They're all N bomber guys. Yeah. N bomber guys. Base. Yeah, he used to say the N word when he was based. <laughs> when he was yeah, he used to definitely. dox people with Haberman when he was based, dude. <laughs> Um, I mean, I mean, yeah, this is this brainy biscuit person is the most I mean, I've, I've said it there on the screen, but you know, it is the worst kind of like Reddit tyranny. I've got some power, so I'm going to use it because the rest of my life is fucking garbage. And, uh, you know, it, it, that's what this person is. I it's used, fucking typical. I used to say the N word all the time. And now I take estrogen. <laughs> Base. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Um, is there, do you want to go through, I, I, we're, we're jumping all around, but do you want to go through Katie's response and go through that? I can't have tips. Yes, please. It, but that's the one thing well, I haven't I've, got on stream yet, uh, just to uh, clear it up. I have gone through it, but if you want to recap, I'm fine with that. Well, I want to look at it after we've seen all this other shit and after we've like had Yeah, I want to see what she said that was so mind changing for George. Because I, I, maybe we could try to pinpoint where the, where the jump happened. <laughs> My poly. It must've been the bracelet. It must've, maybe the bracelet people. thing is what got them scared. How do you, what is Katie's Twitter name? Katie Bugs. Yeah, maybe, maybe something to do with the, the legal drinking shit. Maybe some, something along those lines. Did that freak them out? Maybe. That's just, gonna, they're gonna lose crazy. Their visa or something like oh, they're not gonna be able to come back to the country. J Stock made a point saying, "Well, she looks kind of young, and she does definitely does look young." Uh, I mean, there there are a lot of twenty one year olds who look like that. Yeah, but she's not twenty one, bro. Do you think oh, she's right. going to aggressively fucking age between in the next fucking two years she's to the point where she'll the just look like a fucking 20. hag? She's going to yeah, hit like, the this wall is, at 20. This is, just, <laughs> this is just how she looks. Do you think that's how Keemstar thinks? It's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, Keemstar's basically another character. What was Keemstar's made? tweet? He was like, if you're born, if you remember 9-11, don't talk to me. Keemstar's based, okay? <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my boy Keemstar. Um, all right, let's read this fucker. Let's kick this shit, guys. Uh, do we need, like, dramatic music? Or are we good to go? No, just fucking read it, bro. Hold on, hold on, wait. Oh. I got it, bro. I got. I have three songs. This is the one. We just sync what we'll like between them. Um, this is how we do it. No copyright. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> For now, this is what I have to say. He admitted to touching me, that I was drunk, that I verbally didn't consent. In my mind, the conversation is over. He said, silence does not equal consent, yet one, never got verbal confirmation from me. Two, chose to move to a sexual act on the couch where everyone was hanging out without asking. I don't know how those two facts coexist. How can I consent when there was no question? How can I consent when drunk? I prepared proof on the- He was drunk was. too, and the fucking, the fucking question is when you're cuddling with him for a fucking hour, which he does address, and she says something crazy in this, she says, cuddling is not inherently a sexual act, I don't understand this. I mean, not inherently, but if you're cuddling with someone you just fucking met for an hour, is it that crazy to think that maybe you're attracted to them a little bit? Is that Yo! that crazy of a fucking assumption? Mr. Fluffyton, thank you for the hundo, bro! I work at a public it's literally, school. It's, it's literally the most fucking normal thing that you would expect. <laughs> I work at a public school. I overheard two teachers talking about Karens and how it's a sexist term. <laughs> Do you have monkey pox? Oh, God. No. It's, it's Did your girlfriend the use a on and give you monkey Karen is a uh, anti-white no. woman. What? <laughs> I, I heard you're into some BDSM shit, so I'm just wondering if that's how okay. you got it. <laughs> um, Why are you Karen still here? Karen I work at a public second, school. I overheard thing. two teachers talking about Karen's and how it's a sexist I how. term. All right, guys, so I want you to let's view get into it. this. Where were we? <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta get into character. All right, picture someone who wasn't raped. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know how those two facts coexist. How can I consent when there was no question? How can I consent when drunk? I prepared proof on the idea that he wouldn't admit to it, that he would deny touching me or being there, but he admitted it, that I was drunk, 
and that he touched me in front of everyone, and that I never said yes, nor did he ask. And I'm still asked for a response? Proof? Explanations? Frankly, I think that's fucking insane. If you still need more after hearing from him admit those two simple facts, then nothing I could say is going to change your mind. But here it is. You're anyway. right. There's nothing you can say that will change my mind. You're right. There's literally nothing. At this point, there is nothing. You lied. You lied by omission by leaving out the cuddling thing. There's literally nothing you can say. Like, it's over. You fucking lost. Yeah. You're fucking blown out. You're destroyed. Your game, your, your game is done. Okay? So just fuck off. I don't want to hear from this person ever again. And the other thing as well is, like, the kind of incredulity with, like, proof? You want proof? Like, yeah, bitch. I want fucking proof of something. You know, you provided nothing. You've just cried and said, oh, he touched me a bit. It's pathetic, man. You say you don't want to show proof, and everyone loses their minds. <laughs> But you become the tickle monsters in a silverback in a silverback type mode for one minute. Everyone loses their minds. <laughs> I just want to put a little chaos, me. okay? A little chaos into the world. I grab your belly. We are tonight's and I tickle. entertainment. <laughs> you want to know how I got tickled? <laughs> you want to know how my stomach got this itchy? Um, all right, here we go. You want to know how I giggled this much? <laughs> You know, you want to know how I blue balled this guy so hard? <laughs> oh my god! He was cuddling me for an hour. He was hard behind me. His dick was against my vagina. <laughs> and when he put his dick against my ass, I lost my mind. <laughs> when he tried to go silver back on me, I lost. All right, my mind. stop. All right, here we go. As for the eye messages, he showed the outside of an Insta DM. All proof was him showing a group chat that he wasn't even in, showing messages from my friends which isn't me. The only message shown after a response from me was when we were asked about drinking of oh, the drinking game we were playing. That's after we played it the first night, the night where nothing happened. I liked the game and I wanted to play it with other friends at the convention. So I asked for the name. Don't know how that's relevant to anything. But now let's talk about why I went back because my friends wanted to and I went with them everywhere they went on the trip. I would also like to clear up that this all happened when I went back. Nothing happened the first night, something I also did not admit to at first because it's embarrassing. And I thought, irrelevant. But the second night, another reason why I was willing to go back was I heard there was another YouTuber with massive amounts of subscribers that I wanted to meet. But when I found out that they might have left an hour earlier, I was already in my Uber! I'd forgotten this until looking back. But at texts where I said this to a friend earlier in the day, I, that's a spelling mistake, but whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, this is small. How the fuck am I supposed to read this chat? Let me get it bigger. Oh, fuck. Dude, we're crescendoing right now. I'm not reading. Okay, here. But Blank brought me and ghosted me back to Dream's room to see him. Oh, I'm sorry, and ghosty back to Dream's room to see him. He said Blank was there too with some other people, so I was excited because I always wanted to get to know Blank. Left right before we showed up, so it was just Dream and George. And then we show up anyway, and I'm like, fuck, okay, drinking games. Ghosty leaves to throw up, and it's like four of us, and we're all drunk. And it was honestly really weird because I was just drunk. And, to, uh, and too tired to comprehend what was happening. And we were up till 6.30 a.m. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I went to VidCon. When I didn't want to be somewhere, I Ubered back. Like, these people are, like, they have... Yeah, I mean, she, she like, could have left at any point in time, right? Like, yeah, exactly. She, like, she literally at any point in time. People, she she did leave. She and had then she friends in the cuddling. hotel that she could have talked to. Like, I, I it's, it's fucking crazy, dude. All right. She had tons of options, tons of outs, didn't take any of them, and now wants to act like she was raped because she's got no fucking self-control or, you know, responsibility for actions. Stupid. Insta DMs. They were all fine. Like I said in my stream, I didn't have my age in my bio. Like it is to this day. The messages were nothing insane, just banter. Like I said, I admitted to those messages after. Wait, messages sorry, I think after. she said she did have her age in her bio. Oh, I did have my age in my bio. Okay, guys, I, I slandered her. Like it bio. is to this day. Yeah. I never hid the fact that I was still considering myself lucky for what happened to me. Even if I was uncomfortable and I didn't ask for it, I was hating myself around now. 
thinking I was ungrateful. But as you can see, nothing insane or proof-worthy being said. Just banter. Alright, do we have to read all those? They're small. Um, I think the DMs are literally good. just them being like, yo, what's up? Yeah, these are just messages. But, the, but long story short is that they had like a kind of like a friendly or amicable conversation afterwards, yeah. right? There was nothing to suggest that she didn't want it to happen. She posted, to happen. Yeah, she posted some like la di da di da tee hee lol stuff, right? And then all of a sudden, yeah, 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 the, yes. tone, the tone shifted back. Again, I felt lucky to be talking to a verified account. Someone famous. Someone I followed and watched for a while. It was uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable with what happened, but trying to swallow it and suck it up so I didn't have to acknowledge or accept it. Although, our text ended a month after. I can see why people find me at fault, but the thought process of someone who went through what I have gone through, a very unique experience, is why I understand why it seems so stupid. Only so many people have been there to understand. Again, like he said, at one point, he asked for my Snapchat. Are there any good ones? Also, IG messaging is lame. What's your Snap? But we did not Snapchat very much at all because I don't use Snapchat. I have it. Wait, so she gave the Snapchat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> this guy that raped me i gave him more ways to communicate with me and even sent me pictures if he wanted <laughs> this is nuts i gave him way to she was trying to farm a dick me. pic so when she did the response yeah. she'd have something to show <laughs> i gave him a way to send me countless dick pics that would be deleted <laughs> what the fuck bro this is crazy this is insane this is fucking mentally uh this is taxing all right let's keep going <clears throat> But we did not snap much at all because I don't use Snapchat. Haven't since middle school. So like last year. The most that happened were a few pictures of him with a quesadilla that he sent me. And then I resorted back to DMs, which didn't last long. The time we all stopped interacting was around Paris TwitchCon. I walked him out to the elevator. Yeah, we left at the same time. My room was on the other side of the floor in the hotel. You had a hallway of rooms on one side elevators connecting them, and the other hall. I was on the opposite side, therefore had to walk through the elevator room. I didn't walk him there. We both went in that direction. I said, well, bye. And that's when he did the whole elevator is broken bit. There was a man who was there that I left out. He wasn't there for long. He left early, which is why I don't mention him. I don't even know his name. But here's a message from this guy. I've never spoken to him. Simply a message he sent to someone who was in the room that night too. And it's all he really needed to add to this situation. He left before anything really happened. I'm currently watching George, 26, cuddle with Katie, 18. We cuddled. <laughs> a lot of the touch was initiated by him. A lot of the touch was initiated by him probably not even realizing it. I mean, he was literally spooning me from my left <laughs> as I faced Ghosty to my right. Dude, what woman lets a man spoon her if she's not into something? Like, you were sending that's, out- That's the biggest question, like, why, why, also, why leave that out? And yeah, why leave it out, exactly. If, if it doesn't yeah. change anything, why leave it out? Yeah. All right, let's see, do we have a, here we go, let's go back here. A lot of the cuddling. Wait, a lot of the cuddling he may have felt was personal, but it was just me being drunk. Everyone on the couch was doing the same thing, all drunk and close together, but I get it. I was drunk. I didn't think cuddling automatically meant it was going to turn sexual. I didn't know it was an invitation. I wasn't going to push him off in front of everyone. Well, I guess you thought but wrong. he took it a step further in front of everyone. All because he assumed things and he assumed that he had the right as a shy person, I couldn't speak up in front of him and everyone else, let alone- That's your fault! As a shy person, that just means you're dumb. That means it's your fucking fault. Let alone say yes. Even if you want to take a step forward sexually, why do it in the open? If you're cautious about consent, why not ask? That's usually the first step. And more important, why does everything have to get taken a step further? 
And might I reiterate, I was drunk. Yeah, I got up. And I sat in the same spot. To get a drink, etc. Mentally, I believe I was in a room on a sofa with people on it. Wait, with people on it. So you just sit back down where you were when you got up. Mentally, I was <laughs> drunk. And even if I were to move, would that be an obvious hit to his ego to him and everyone in the room? A bold move and I didn't need to make it. I could just deal with it till the night was over. I didn't want someone I'd watched for a this while or a large following to hate me for denying him the chance to sit next to me. I didn't <laughs> want to embarrass him or even myself. I know it was dumb. I acknowledge it. She stayed when her this friends left. I didn't make the conscious decision to choose to stay. My friend left throwing up in her hand and I didn't know she was You so always drunk. make a conscious decision though. Like every decision you make is conscious. <laughs> if I'm to believe that everything he did is completely demonstrable, how can you not be held accountable for the same? She was Every decision so... you make is conscious. You actively stay there. She was so drunk. Like she's her explanation is literally like I'm a retarded person. <laughs> I know. And that's why it happened to me. She was so drunk she couldn't even hold her vomit and passed out in our bathroom. The more the night went on, the drunker I was. Like I said before, I put up with it for the moment because I thought it was the price I had you to just pay stop for being around such big creators. You get you get drunker from drinking. So just stop drinking. Those last three points, may I remind you, are not an invitation to be sexual, or that I wanted it, and that he thought I did. He could have asked. We just met. Why did he think he knew me so well that he could assume how I felt? Assume he knew what my mannerisms meant. You don't know me. Apparently, you don't even know my age. But you know what I wanted? But wait, but you knew what I wanted? No. He assumed it's what I wanted. Because why wouldn't I want that from someone like him? Oh my god, And dude. remind me, since when was smiling an invitation? When was sitting next to someone an invitation? When was being drunk an invitation? Any laughing I did with your hand under my clothes was out of nerves. Because it's written so dramatic, dude. Because so I didn't fucking dramatic. think cuddling. When was cuddling with a guy for an hour an invitation? I had no knowledge that cuddling could lead to this. No, it's like, because I didn't think cuddling would result to that. My shock left me speechless because I would never been to a guy's hotel room. <clears throat> Fucking genius, dude. Where are we? I lost my spot. I By the bottom, last two lines. Oh, never done anything sexual. And I never expected that cuddling meant what it did. I didn't know if it was normal or not. You touched me for the first time. Look, the reality is, right, 18-year-old girl, wet behind the ears, has an experience like this, regrets it after. That's fine, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah, that's something you might speak to your friend about and go, oh, damn, I was really drunk last night. I shouldn't have done that, right? No problem. But the people she went to undoubtedly said, no, this is really bad. This is really serious. And did that fucking yes lighting shit I was talking about, right? And that's why it's become this enormous thing. And she's been, you know, somewhat used as a pawn in this, I think. But she's still the one that's saying the words. So she's obviously at fault there. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just such an insane telling of the situation. Yeah. It's, right? I mean, I, it doesn't help that I'm reading it like a fucking Hitler manifesto. But, I mean, it makes it much more palatable to the audience, I think. Uh, and, and you know, th there's probably a conversation to be had that there probably is an issue with yeah. these older guys, right, being fucking a bit too pushy and stuff. And that's fine. But the temperature's way higher than it should be, where it's like rape and sexual assault. Not were, they, just... were, they, were they really pushy, though, in this situation? Listen, like, I would right, get, okay, pushy why would, would you be, even risk this? First why time would meeting, you risk bit, just bit, meeting someone, drinking with them at VidCon and hooking up with them? You're a fucking dumb idiot if you're doing that. You can get a girl normally as a as a fucking millionaire mind i mean i mean stuff like that happens though stuff like that happens or a, or a fuck buddy or something you could use social media but stuff like that someone. stuff like that just like does happen like in these situations like people aren't thinking like i'm gonna be canceled tomorrow they're not thinking about that they're not the fucking commentary community they're thinking you know i'm gonna fuck this girl who's cute what and is into me okay. and is cuddling with me for an hour like the, the I, you can is, you really fault them for that well, yeah, but he's I'm not, not going to... What did he think was going to happen, Tom? Did he think that oh, he was going to touch her stomach and then she was going to give him the eye and he was going to go down lower and he was going to start fucking her right in the middle of the hotel room in Dream's hotel room not, in front of all his friends? Not there. 
Not there. I think he probably thought they would cuddle. They would be intimate a little well, bit. But that's but the point is he made people. the move there. Then, he made the move but he didn't, there okay, in front of someone's all of his stomach friends. making the move. Well, I, I think he's trying to move it. Move. Well, no, but moving move it under further. the clothes. And I'm, I'm sure I'm, this is my guess. I don't know what George is going to say, but I'm assuming. But if he was trying to move I'm it assuming, further, why wouldn't he have just moved it further in that fucking room? Because she didn't. Because she probably, probably didn't encourage it, and he probably didn't know better. He, well, not, he probably didn't know, and he wasn't sure, and he didn't want to risk accidentally doing something that would get. He, he didn't realize at this point he'd already jumped the shark and he'd gone too far. Why but would I he think there would be any risk? I think if she made some sort of acknowledgement, yeah, he might have. But I, who can know for sure? But, I'm, you know, I'm not even saying this is like this guy's a terrible person. I'm just saying in your 20s, you sometimes make a move, right, that might make feel someone, feel, someone feel uncomfortable afterwards, and you're not to know, and you learn from that. If they say to you, hey, you bit, moved a bit too fast last night, and then you're like, okay, shit, sorry. And you learn Dude, from it that, is, right? It's insane to think that they would have started, he would have started, like, fingering her there. That, that, that was no, never right. No, no, I, no, no. I don't think I'm saying that he was finger, fingering her, but he was kind of, like, chancing it a bit to see if he could get someone with this person, right? Like, he, he wanted it to progress further. Like, if she'd have turned around and gone, fuck me, he'd have taken her back to the hotel room and taken oh, her further, yeah, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. They probably would have okay. walked out. You know, and I think that... I mean, I don't even think anything should happen to him. This should have been a private conversation. You know, hey, it was a little bit fucking too much. You know, I didn't really like it. I was too drunk. And that would have been fine and everything could have moved forward. But it's got to be this big spectacle. Again, because these freaks have got in her fucking ear and told her, no, this is actually really bad. And probably, I would guess, manipulated her to come forward. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. All right. Because look at these messages. She had no problem before. She had no, no real issue before. She right? shows screenshots totally of her chill. being like, at, at best, yeah. neutral. Uh, at worst, yeah, neutral. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, it was a bit weird, and I was a bit drunk. But this is very typical stuff you hear from like a younger person who's like, "Fuck, I was a bit too drunk last night and did some stupid stuff." Yeah. Right? Like, Nick, I've actually just, uh, I just found a post from a. Uh, from fucking Gorgoth or whatever the Eve Online guy. Do you want to pull this up on stream? Sure. This is a, a this is a follow up post. I think it's important to bring Who's up. Who's Gorgoth? The guy we just covered who said he fucked a thirteen year old. Oh. This is an update. He he yeah. he he embraced the balding thing. You should take a look. Good one, buddy. Here we go. Everyone on stream needs to see this. This is important. <laughs> oh, my God, oh my chat's getting blue ball right now. Hold on, wait. I gotta show them. They can't see it. <laughs> this is base, dude. There we go. He He's moving on. Him. He's making strides in life, dude. Look at this guy. Look, at you. tell me you wouldn't hire this guy or let him take care of your kids, dude. He's Cupcake pill. Kids to worry about. Um, bugs. Here we go. You can take care of mine. All right, gamers. Let's jump back in. <laughs> to what? You're a fucking grown man who knows better. Okay. <laughs> Why do I have to be strong and pull away or say stop? It's my fault because I was asking for it. Hinting at it. I should have known. But never his for not being able to ask a simple question before doing it. At his age, silence can be consent. A head nod is silent confirmation. In order for confirmation to happen, it needs to follow a question. A question that was never asked. How was a drunk person supposed to consent? You think I was in the power to consent to a 26-year-old man to touch me because I laughed? But he was drunk too. Personally, when I'm drunk, I don't stick my hand under other people's clothing on a couch in a room full of other people without asking. This is probably the That's first fucking time you though. were drunk. I doubt that. Heavily doubt that. I also don't believe she's a virgin. But... Well, she said in the video, she said, at the time, I was a virgin, so... Yeah. My text the day after. Hi, I want to make sure you're okay. I didn't like the way that George was so touchy and told me about the shirt thing. I want to make sure you're all right. Yes, I'm okay. I was. It was definitely a bit weird, but I was drunk, so I didn't really feel like doing anything to stop it anyway. But it's over now, so... Hey, buddy. I just wanted to double-check with you that George didn't make you uncomfortable at all last night. I saw he was getting really touchy with you, so I wanted to double check and uh, smile. Maybe, bro, I have no clue. Like in the moment, I was chilling, but thinking back on it, I'm sweating a little bit. Like, damn. And especially after verifying he knew I was 18. And also, if I was chilling in the moment because I was drunk, I don't know. I have to ponder on it or just forget about it because it's over with. Lol. The fuck? There we go. 
The uh, after verifying it was 18 refers to a question I asked during a drinking game. I'll explain later. Of course, I played it down with my responses at the time. I was embarrassed. I wanted to seem cool because well, I'd never been sexual with someone before. How was I supposed to know? Was it supposed? To, uh, how was I supposed to know what it feels like emotionally? I was nervous and uncomfortable because I didn't want it, or because I was inexperienced, or because I was drunk. I didn't understand what I felt, but I knew it felt off. And the friends in the room were some of the last people uh, that I can't wait. Uh, uh, the friends in the room were some of the last people I came out about how it affected me, because I was embarrassed at my inexperience, embarrassed in the fact that it was out in the open, scared to react when it happened, because with an, uh, with any reaction I, sh uh, I showed had an audience, as he made his move in a room full of people. But let me remind you, their initial gut reaction, by simply being in the same room and seeing it, was them messaging me the next day worried, asking if I was okay, before they'd talk to me about how I felt, they felt gross. The wristband. I'd like to mention another girl. I didn't mention her because, like the other guy, she left really early into the night. I'm admitting I didn't mention her because she only tagged along one night and didn't do much. I also didn't know her too well, and she was friends with Clay and the girl talking to him. I haven't messaged her since that night until today when she reached out. Okay, I'm like watching his stream for the first time right now and I'm losing my mind because in this photo, he thinks this is you. This is my hand. Uh-oh. Bazinga chat. Whoa. It's clear that she sent me the message in the chat. Obviously it being her hand. No room for confusion on it being my hand. And once again, he was not even in this group chat. Only Clay. And even if he just assumed we were all 21 because one of us were. All of those assumptions could have been cleared up pretty quickly. With a question. Okay, did she ask his age? I, she probably knew did it, because he's a famous YouTube celebrity. And she's a who mega lol glup I mean, I guess, but like, don't you think it's important to ask? Maybe she's, maybe she thought she was famous, I don't know. Like, she, did, she didn't ask his fucking age. She didn't seem concerned with that at the time at all. If it would have bothered her that he was fucking 26, maybe she could have confirmed and just not done that with him. Like, I mean, if, if the, the mere implication yeah, I mean, of him being well, old no, would no, have bothered her, why, why don't I just ask? No, no, she was embarrassed that he would, she would embarrass him. So she didn't want to, like... Oh, right, him. she didn't want to embarrass him. So that's why she allowed herself, from her perspective, to be sexually assaulted. Genius, dude. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. The party we were at, and where the wrist, uh, wristband talk initiated, was an 18-plus party that you needed a band to enter. We'd ask people around us for a wristband to enter the party, not a 21 wristband to drink. As you see in the picture, a 21 wristband was given by staff after seeing ID and after entry. The wristbands were asked around for and searching for just entry to the party. Uh, the wristbands we were asking around for and searching was just for the entry to the party. Even if he, if he thought I was asking around for a 21... Actually, here's the deal. You want to hear something interesting? Uh, I think yeah, Dumpy yeah. snuck into this party. Didn't oh. Dumpy sneak into the Instagram party? Not this year. Was it Dumpy? I don't know who it was. Somebody snuck into the Instagram party. And I thought a Cheeto out. snuck in. A Cheeto snuck in or whatever, and then got thrown out when he ran into the wrong person, right? But I don't know if he was at that. Was that what, what year? What VidCon was this? That was like two years ago. So this is. Oh, wait. What big? What VidCon is this about? Is this about the most recent one in Anaheim or the one before? Wait, it's either. It's either. I don't know. Do you think Dumpy? Not. Do you think a Cheeto snuck into this party with this girl? He could have saved her. <laughs> he could have saved her from being on URR <laughs> he seven. He could have saved her from being on URR number seven. <laughs> from being this, from being the star. And instead, instead, all he was concerned with was fucking hang out with Idubs. Yeah, was that last year? Dude. I think that might have been last year because I think Augie went to that. I like, thought it was um, the year before. I thought Augie went to the. I thought it was the one. No, I swear it was the previous one. I swear it was the one where I had like the big party at, um, like Tro's Airbnb. I swear it was that one. I don't know. Let's fucking run through the rest of this. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, dude, the more I read her statement, the more I realize she's so fucking boring having yeah. to read this again. We didn't stay at the party. We couldn't get response for everybody. Can you make your fucking response enough. a little more like, can you like maybe turn it into like a short form content version, Katie? Put some more memes in at least. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like a, I mean, br like a bra or like a vine thud. 
Hold on. I'll just I'll just read it. Uh, I'll put something on the screen for you guys. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be better. Um, hold on. You get some subway servers up or something. Come on. Let's go with uh, for real. <laughs> hold on. Oh, come on. That is killing us all. I'm trying to pick a. Here we go. Does not fucking matter. At all. It's like a no, red herring. It literally totally does not matter. Herring. None of the the age never mattered. Um, Not even slightly. You're an adult. Um, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, my, my sincerest apologies. Uh, but like throwing you into the fire here. Your age does not fucking matter in this instance. It could matter um, in like maybe a different circumstance that has other factors that might play into it. Right? Maybe he's like, oh, let's get the... Maybe... Maybe if you had screenshots of of Clay Dream writing, can you get a bunch of eighteen year olds here? I want to flex my channel on it so we can f gang fuck them in the hotel room. Yeah, you know what? I think that might be important. That you know that might be an important thing uh, if we could find young stupid women or something like that uh, and flex our channels on them and get them to fuck. If you could find out that he was like Harvey Weinstein and that your age was intricate yeah. to it, then yeah, I would say that that's probably worth it. But like, I mean. I, what does it matter here? He touched your tummy, right? Like, like what happened? Like, what do you mean? All right, dude. It's what fucking, do you mean? I hear Peter. It's, I hear Peter not, Griffin every other fucking. Yeah, it's word. quite obnoxious, I must say. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little much. Oh god. Put on American Dad or something, <laughs> or like the Cleveland Show. Do we have any other options? Can okay, you just read the fucking statement to finish? It's been ten right, fucking years I'm, right, reading I'm, your shitty fucking right, response. I'm finishing. I'm finishing. I'm finishing. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. Let me fucking read it. Oh my These god. These situations dude, always end in victim blame. I didn't know being obese made you fucking talk at half speed. If I don't do this, she should have worn. That, wait. If I didn't do this, she shouldn't have worn that. She shouldn't have been drinking. She was asking for it. We are embedded into a society to cover for assault. That's what we're built on. It's easy to say what I should have done looking from the outside, <laughs> but not being the one in the situation. In the moment, it was also easier to think about how the I could have gotten out of the situation. One in the situation is like the, the dumbest person of all time we've ever heard of. <laughs> and now that I'm sober, I can make clearer choices. I want this to circle back to the original point, to make it aware that in reality, many girls face this in the community. So many people are forced into silence. It's not petty drama, Real people have been affected. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to make it clear that Nick has now replaced it with. <laughs> is that young Sheldon? <laughs> is that young That's Sheldon? That's one of the uh, 10 screen. Yeah, that is indeed young Sheldon. <laughs> and I see there's like some there's like some girl there's over here, and then there's like there's a there's the Mr. Hands video. There's... Okay, buddy. Anything else? The Simpsons, the <laughs> South Park. Is that the end of the fucking statement, dude? Oh my god. That statement was horrible. Dude, this video is called Ultimate Stims. We're gonna get a copyright claim, dude. Turn no, this you're not gonna get copyright off. claim. We're talking over it. It's uh, family it's guy. No, it's you, transformative. It's transformative. <laughs> yeah, it's fair use, my bad. It, dude, if Family <laughs> Guy claims forward. us, then the rape becomes canon to their show. No one says now is the time time you can kill Nick. Dude, I think the IHOP's gonna kill him first, dude. Holy <laughs> shit. I just don't want victims to feel like they have to prove themselves to people who want to be uh, be believed that they're only valid if they had proof. I believe you. My story was a bit different because I was <laughs> on a wide scale with a big audience. Yes, I know. I do not owe it. Victims do not owe anything to anyone. But with my unique situation, I wanted to give proof nonetheless, considering the circumstances. Okay, by the way, you need proof. Otherwise, it's really not even worth engaging with this stuff publicly. Um, I, that's the reality. Clearly. Oh, I, thought, I don't want to just regurgitate all of Destiny's talking points because I clearly just watched the video today, but the reason why Me Too was invented, okay, is because there were crazy fucking people running around Hollywood raping women and using their positions to employ and there them was nothing they could do against about them. It, yeah. There was nothing they can do about it. There's no one they could go to. There's no one they can talk to. So as a last-ditch effort, they went to social media. Yeah. This well, well, is not is well. that. Not even close. No. No, like Harvey Weinstein controlled the movie movie industry, not just because he's Jewish either. You know, they act like these fucking Minecraft guys are that level of influence, and they're not. It's like the Austin scene. People act like fucking people in the Austin scene are in the pocket of the police and vice versa. It's just not true, right? You can go to the police with this shit if you wanted. You get laughed out probably, but do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, that, yeah, I mean, imagine going to the police and being like, well, we were cuddling for an hour, and then he touched my stomach. Like imagine. Yeah, no, sure. Can I mean, you turn the Family Guy off now, Nick. <laughs> the fucking Family Guy is still there. There's no reason to have it there now. Dude, this is two hours long. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> All right, this is better. This is better. <laughs>
<laughs> Why are you hearing farting? <laughs> All right, let's get um, through this. <laughs> well, no, but no, the thing is, obviously, it's just absurd, like, to go to the police. But the point is, is, like, the police aren't going to be like, oh, hang on a sec, this is George Not Found, prominent Minecraft YouTuber. Fucking bury this one, chief. You know, we don't want any fucking, you know, he, he, he fucking, he's going to pay us our stipend at the end of the well, month. Well, this is you the thing I mean? with, like, they always, people always use buzzwords like power. Like, yeah. there, there's power, there's power imbalances that exist in a lot of different places. But what matters is if that power is specifically abused. That was never a part of their interaction. It was never abused in any way. It was only, if you want to argue it, her perception of his power, which really does not exist, which caused her to not want to embarrass him by not sitting next to him. I agree. Whatever the fuck that means. Like, you're fucking... Why do I still hear fucking Brian? <laughs> the dog! Can you at least turn it down, Nicholas? Wait, is that loud for you? It's on like one percent volume. <laughs> no, it's well, like faint, it. but I still just hear it, it interrupting it. my thoughts. Need, I, I already have gay it. demons in my head trying to get me to kiss guys <laughs> all day. I need to hear this. <laughs> I need to listen to this. Okay, it's, it's right. Dude, there's so much stem. He's just refusing to turn it off, dude. What he's do you just, mean? We're talking just about just this. He's just mute watching it. Family Guy. Just mute it. It's not mute. Just mute. No, you did not. I can see it, bro. What is your problem? All right, uh, I think that probably wraps up the Katie thing. I think we've probably said all we can say. Um, yeah, it's just just more yeah looping at this point. On that it's note, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here, but this has been a good stream. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm gonna I gotta I gotta go done. cover some other allegations. <laughs> the Family Guy the Family Guy allegations are pissing me the fuck off. So I don't believe, but um, no worries, yeah, check bro. out Nick and Shut if you guys want. I'm uh, I'm gonna stream new stuff. Hey, yeah. Who's there? Joe Dessa. <laughs> Nicholas, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? This is like... Dude, I run a real clean ship around here. Oh, God, dude. Oh, dude. Fucking ADHD moment. <laughs> so I out-zoomed the zoomer. You did, that's true. I agree. <laughs> what else are we going to talk about? What else have you got? Uh, I don't know. I'm winding down here. We don't do six-hour streams on the Nick DiOrio channel. Where are we at? Four hours? Okay. That's about me. No, no worries, man. No, it's all good. Listen, uh, I'll, I'll shoot as well then. Thanks for having me on, dude. It's been fun. Peace out, brother. Good chat. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Oh, we got to do that again soon. Um, All right. Let's... Uh... Whew. That was fun. That was a fun one, chat. I got to get through some donos. I don't know if I'm going to do much more. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Let me see what's around. Um, where are we? Uh, two dollars from Ban. Who else is getting oiled up right now? Uh, two dollars from D Wind. Here's two for the ultimate amazing Minecraft. Uh, sorry, amazing ultimate Minecraft review. Sora Trails. Two dollars. Tom Dark and Nick Diorio rap collab. When get Glorb. Uh, somebody five dollar. Go Jack the Ripper on Chud. Jess five dollars. Who wants bug shots? Connor Sween, new membership. James the Frog, two dollars. As an Alabama resident, they're defending Alariz. Uh, Mr. Fluffyton, one hundred dollars. They work at a public school. I overheard two teachers talking about Karens and how it's a sexist term, so I wanted you to view it. Uh, David Mudkips, ten dollars. Bro, George dodged a bullet. I ended up married in the same situation. Somebody five dollars. This girl's malicious. It's the only thing she convinced me of. Somebody five dollars. Why are you respons not responsible for your own actions? Um, if he assaulted you, why turn into a public spectacle instead of going to the cops? I hate this girl. Yeah, again, the thing is, right? Like, if he did like grab her fucking shit or whatever in front of everybody, like an act like an actual fucking sexual assault or whatever, we would be covering this totally differently. She t he he touched her stomach, dude. Give me a fucking break. Somebody five dollars. Katie shouldn't be near male content creators. She's a liability. I mean, I don't know. I would just hope the male content creators aren't fucking retarded and probably be a bit more i don't know dude i feel like you have there's like a it's not a it's not a responsibility i'm not saying this is if they have to do this or else they're like ultimate rapists or something but like you have to have some sort of self-preservation to know like these are risky situations you're putting yourself willingly into right like there's got to be something like dumb fuck content creators that are doing that david mudkips ten dollars hey peter remember that time you got caught in dreams hotel room cuddling with that 18 year old Z Hunter, two dollars. I found an X thread debunking the Alice Wilbur stuff. Really? I, I, that's interesting. I didn't know about that. Maybe I'll take a look at it. Um. Yeah. Press play. <laughs> so you deleted the comment of the press play on the stemming. Oh fuck, dude. That was a good stream. What do you guys think? You think we should do that again sometime? I'm gonna be honest though. I do think URRs should just be a me thing. Um, because.
we didn't really get as much done as I wanted to, but in general, I like collab streams every once in a while, and I think Chud and Tom are two of the best guys to do them with. I don't know if I'm going to do URR with other people again, um, but that's not really a knock on this stream. I just kind of like having more freedom, you know? Um, I, I get, dude, everyone always hates when Augie said he wanted to go solo, but I get it. I love running a solo ship. Running my own show, not having to rely on like any, anything else. Okay. I'm going to turn this off <laughs> running my own show and not having to rely on anyone else or whatever, uh, or anyone showing up or a guest or something like that is just such a nice, satisfying feeling, you know, uh, you know what I can do here? Let me go here and there. And here. Oh, perfect, dude. There we go. All right, guys. That's a lot better. Um, we got a little gameplay going on in the background right there. All right. Good. All right. Let's put some Fortnite on. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good stuff. I don't know why this does this. I don't really get it. I also don't know why it's not full. Okay. There we go. All right, guys. Um, yeah, so that's good. Check real Bunty King. Sent you a screenshot. Uh, that's just question marks. Let me see. By the way, thank you guys so much for the support this month. You guys have been really generous, as always. Um, yeah, let's see. Cute opinion. Did YouTube drama give it to you? <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing it. I don't know what it is. Every time someone sends me something, I'm not getting the fucking ads. Uh, and it's not like I have you guys muted, because you're sending it to Real Bunty King. Um, so I'm going to search Real Bunty King. Here. I'm sorry, what? Everything else beside what? In one case, he publicly read my mother's NSFW fan fiction and shared the details to me and others at the time. I didn't see anything wrong with it. I was 13? What? What the fuck did you send me? Hello, Buezo? Trigger warning. Someone anonymously reached out to point their story. Is this what you were sending me? What? What? I don't get this. Um, I don't really feel comfortable talking about it. We haven't covered that story. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let me see. Anything else I got tagged to stream? Someone sent me a rape bingo card. Let's see. Did we, did we get bingo chat? Let's see if we got bingo. Here. Um... Rate bingo, it's time. I didn't think much of it at the time. Yeah, that's an X. Uh, can we... Is there any way I can draw on this? Oh, you know what I can do? I know what I can do. Um, let me snip it. This is the last thing we're doing, then we're getting off for the night, boys. Um, here. Okay. Bang. Rape bingo. E-I-E-I-O. All right, didn't think much of it at the time. We definitely got that. Um, free space is URR, so obviously we have that. Uh, gaslighting. BPD we did not have. Random racism allegate accusations. I don't think we had that one. Clout reference. Yup. Love bombing. Someone said love bombing tonight, and I don't remember who it was, so I don't know if we can take that one. Um, didn't actually say no. Accountability. No. Uh, I'm getting hate. Yeah, she was complaining about having to give the statement. Crying on camera. We watched a little bit of that tonight. Uh, healing. Not final, final statement. I don't think we hit that one yet. Calling yourself a victim. That was on there. I was traumatized. I think we can count that based off of all of her other video things. Uh, I'll be taking a break now. It hits hard. Oh... Do we have bringing awareness? Apology not accepted. Made me feel uncomfortable. I was vulnerable. Ooh. Do we have it? I, oh, I just froze. Yep, we have I just froze. Um, So we don't have random racism, so we're not going to win that one. I think bringing aware, I, I think awareness makes sense because she, this whole last paragraph was like, um, the last paragraph is, let me see.
Thank you, somebody, for the gifted membership. No, the one allegation with no racism. Oh, it's called My Story? Is that what it's called? No, this one doesn't say My Story. Here. Um. Wait. Here it is. I don't want victims to feel like they have to prove themselves or people to be believed. My story is a bit different because it was such a wide scale. Okay, no, that is. Yeah. No, no, that is. All right, bring awareness. We hit bingo. Okay, we did it, boys. Um... All right, guys, we did it. Celebrate. We did it, boys. Nice. All right. Um. <laughs> Will this be live or be private? Uh, it'll probably be up in like a day or two. I just gotta wait till it gets monetized, boys. Um, W stream. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if we got any more that I have to read off because I don't want to fuck over anybody. Collabs are much needed. Base Oreo capture card. Yes. Thank you so much. Ulysses Spiv for $2. Somebody gifted one. And then David Mudkip gifted Fiverr at the very end. Thank you so much. All right. I'm glorbing. I'm glorbing my Gloober glob. Um, let's go. What are we going to glorb out with, guys? I'm glorbing, glubing, globbing. Um... Let's put on, yeah. All right, who are we raiding out to? Ultimate raid review? Let me just grab this. Yep, put that there, zap that. Grab this here little voice module, insert that, add the BBL, and oh my God, care baby, you're back. Back with a vengeance, a Mac got extended. More than an OS, I am snapping Avengers. Yo, sub J stock, sub J stock, sub J stock, sub J stock. Peace out, peace, 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 peace.